All right, there we go. Turn on YouTube. Basically, you get some you get some bonus melee footage. Also, bear with me. EQ, I don't know if you're going to snipe me, but I, I, I got two hours of sleep last night. Uh, I just want to get my fingers warm for a bit. Trying to trying to stay in a good mood, but um, I was I was really motivated after yesterday's um, yesterday's uh, what's it called session where I just kind of balled out with the fob. This felt really good. Of course, we are using it again. Tried and true. We'll see if uh, it keeps on being good. Melee for an hour, then switching over to ultimate. For coin box, of course. Oh, if I play the way I was yesterday, I think I win Genesis. Like, actually. But we will see. We shall see. Pivot. Oh man. Just what I want. Spots KH. First sub of the day. Thank you. My opponents will need it. Good ass bro. Aiden, thank you for the five dollar donation. Theo. Oh. I could have sang there, but it's fun. Intimidate them by existing. Do I want to win Genesis? Yes. Oh, yes, I do. Very much so. If you can't tell, it's probably because you're not. Watch me closely enough. Right. Mm Lie O two, thank you. The 
Ken's controller is so good, though. That's what makes me excited. It's so good, it makes it hard for me to tilt, you know? Like, I'm less prone to tilt because my inputs are actually what I want to do. That's a good thing. Those versus Marth. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he's got NILs. Of course he does. Who doesn't know it is? I'm of the opinion that Dreamland is like a top two stage against Bob for Mars. I don't know what's going on, but I do so much better on legitimately every other stage. I live in weird times. I think it was never like dies. That could be it. And there it is. Zoltan. Have fun today. Oh, he had me. Hook, line, and sinker. But he didn't commit to the bit. Sometimes you gotta just... Right there. In case I went for it again, I just help ledge. Thank you, Zoltan. And there it is. Let's go, h Keep up the run. Thank you, Attila. Swing. We're not coming in this time. Make it more court. Nice spot dodge. Yeah, fuck it. Good trade. I'm alive too. Maybe a three stock. If I deserve it. Let's see. He's trying to mix me up. Jab roll. Yeah. Ooh. No. Force smash, maybe. So yeah. Oh. Yeah. Up tilt rest. That's too hard to do. Can never do that. <laughs> almost, almost. First three stock. Hey. Yep. What are you doing? You had it. You were playing perfect. Ready? Playing literally perfect. Excellent. 
What a sick fucking setup. You don't like that? <laughs> That's so hot. Oh, thank you, Pop. I'm done with <laughs> Up till incoming. Up till incoming. Up till. Yeah. It's over there. Bowl. Kansas City because I think uh I think it's all scripted. <laughs> Are they gonna have Taylor Swift kiss her boyfriend when he gets the big ring? Last year with the, with the Niners? Who was it? It wasn't the Eagles. The Eagles was two years ago, I think. Oh, it's Chiefs last year. You're right. You're right. So Chiefs are going for the, the back to back. Perfect. And see, this controller, those tight little inputs. Walk in the park. I could arrest that. On God. Thank <laughs> you. 
The fair as guards are really good. Um, actually, alive, I think. Oh, a lot of nice. Three stock, maybe? My good boy. Oh! Oh, he's bleeding himself. Every game has been like JB3. Okay. Hey, man. You know, Seka, he's another Marth player that can take friendlies off me. Um, I'm being really consistent. Is my thumbstick area notched? Uh, yes. Wave dash notches. Is registration uh, over for Coinbox? Yes. That was a few hours ago. Jab lately too. I had the roll read too again. Paco's love rolling. It's actually crazy. Right there, you should honestly just up smash, but. TC so hot 
Do I want to team up Genesis? I haven't decided if I'm going to team with yet because Plup's not going. Just sad. Um. You know what will be great content? Because everything I do has to be content. What if we did like a bachelorette style? Where we... We uh... <laughs> we like put everyone against each other. Like bracket. Like Maher... Sorry, Mar, Zuppy, Zamu, and Triff. Who are, I think, the four ranked players who wanted to. And we just see who wins. What do you, who do you guys think would be, like, actually... I get the furthest way. Like, uh... I'm thinking, like, Peach Puff with Trip might actually go kind of crazy. I'm not too sure. I, I don't know how I performed in doubles. I was looking at the results, and I couldn't find any results for, like, Xander or Trip. I was trying to figure that out. Uh, I gotta... I gotta... Figure that one out. Ooh, close. What if I live? Grab there. Marth? Yeah, he's decent. Pretty good character. I could I could foresee Marth getting top eight window. For sure. I think I think he has the tools. If, they have, if you give him a little more range, like if you give him a, a better grab, maybe he'll go in tournament. Imagine. Mars could do some crazy stuff if he had better grab range. This guy is a fucking cheeser. How about that? How about that? Some Parmesan. Two stock? Do I deserve it? Am I, am I worthy? I'm not worthy. Let's see. This matchup is if you get the cross a cross up up air, it's a stock. Against most of the human characters like Marth, Sheik, Falcon, one cross up up air is all you need. It doesn't have to, but uh, easier said than done. Okay. It'd be like this guy who's like act actual crackhead. Okay, relax. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I have percent. Oh no, I don't have percent lead. 
Well, for the sake of time. Down tilt. <laughs> I could just kept going there. He wants this reverse up tilt so badly. You dead? You are, sir. Ooh. There it is, the stock. See? Oh, I, actually, I wanted to get hit by it on purpose and then tech it, but it's fine. Baby hits, and you're dead. Very nice. Oh, the up air came out. My C stick flickered up. Oh, one up air is it? Let's game. so often why does it work so often it's a good move on FD it's a good move don't 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 let the, the media deceive you thank you strong thanks for the five subs by the way I appreciate that Juan Santa Maria Sounds like a legend Got the good up air, but it's the good rest. Falcon could crouch cancel puff. I'm sorry. If Falcon could crouch grab puff like Mark does, I might just quit melee. Well, I don't know about quitting melee because let's be honest, Marth is more scared than Falcon any day of the week. But uh, it would be very annoying for sure. It would definitely wouldn't match with. Jeez. Guys, how many games in a row was that? That I won since I started the stream. Has everyone counting? Maybe like uh, 11? It was three against Sika. And we had the other Marth. And we had like, we'll call it 11. We'll call it 11. What's up, Archangel? Ah. 
That might be the perfect Falco Edge Guard. Because you can aim where that downer finishes. Sometimes they, they, they can, like, teeter to the ledge, but. The up air cross up to get around the down air to start a juggle. You do two up airs, you land your body on the top platform, lets you get that bigger jump for the kill. I'm gonna go for a forward smash mix up with that anyway. This might be a four stock, honestly. This might be. We got a good read here. It's my first spark fob, which is a hell of a drug, I gotta say. Basically, this controller was made by Spark with the recommendations from CPU Zero. So it's basically like the greatest controller a pop player could use. It's like, catered to me. <laughs> oh no. What if I lose here? What a reverse force talk? Am I crazy? <laughs> I'll live that down forever. Is there a tournament today? Depends. Is there a title today? Perhaps a title you can read? Coin boxes today. Leo told me he was playing. And there it is. So Leo and Steve Van Moonchild, what's up? God, my DI is so good. Later, nerd. Ah, come on. Why do I? Why do I give myself these perfect setups? The matchup where and the name of the game is up air. We get the up air. The game. Yo, little Avery with the 10 gifted. Thank you. Put some LAs for little Avery. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you for that. 
The humble host of anything but the three, which we've answered pretty often. Thanks for that. Thank you very, very much for the 10 gift. Yeah, y'all, we're in the coin box. Sorry, I'll reel. <laughs> like, I know those guys. Playing hot, man. The speed I can move as Puff with his controller is just so insane. Really, just my, my character got buffed. Hits and on the top. And there it is. Yo, Rapidox, thank you. Thank you for the 17 melee subs. I always love getting. I used to always think no one want to watch me like just practice melee. Like they want to watch like a challenge or a tournament or a bracket run or something. But uh, y'all been supporting the melee just grind a lot. Pretty, pretty cool. Thank you. Do a four stock? Oh my days. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Back here. Oh. Oh. There you go. A lot of my ultimate fans are probably not used to me winning this often. In a game. But, uh, here we are. The game that gave me my start, gave me everything. Feeling really more motivated now than ever. Great. Two. 
I think my best content ever was like my deep melee runs. Like win winning or getting like top two at a coin box. The that shit was so crazy. Like 5k viewers. Ooh, and we're getting those too. Follow up. It's crazy you can throw out those pounds like randomly and sometimes get a, a, a fucking entire stock out of it. An ultimate pound is like you should spam it. It's that good. In melee, it's good, but don't spam. You want to use it as a mix-up every once in a while. You never know what'll happen. Next thing you know, you get a stock off of it. Insane. You know how many sets I've won off a Randy Pound game five last fuck? I've just been playing insanely well ever since I got this uh, controller switch. Himmy Herner. Another mark. Wow, wow, wow. Praise the culprit and Popeye Miami. You know what Crunch told me that always stayed with me forever? He told me a lot of things. He was a phenomenal coach. The, great, the greatest... You could argue Crunch was the greatest FGC coach of all time, couldn't you? Like, I, I really thought about, like, who is the greatest fighting game coach of all time? And it's him. He was able to change the meta of one of the biggest fighting games of all time. So drastically. Anyways, one of the things that he taught me was... I'd get so angry when I lost, right? And that's expected if you're a competitor. I mean, I'd, I'd be like in shambles, like the worst news of my life. Fucking raging, taking long walks. I didn't want to talk to anyone. But he was like, would you rather be angry because you got outplayed because you were playing bad or because you got outplayed because you were playing good? In other words, in other words, he was like, the point of these tournaments shouldn't be to, to think you deserve every single one in the world. Shit's gonna happen. People are gonna have good days and bad days. But what you wanna do is maximize the number of good days you have. You wanna play good melee. That's the point. If you play your best melee and you still lost, that's much easier to, like, understand. That, that was just phenomenal competition then. Like, if you're playing bad and you lost, that sucks because you were in control of it, you know? You wanna... You wanna just make sure... You're playing good melee. That's the most important thing. It's gotta be good melee. If it's bad melee and you lose, like... Yeah, you gotta hold that. That was your fault. Does that make sense? And you can ask every single player in the world. Everyone knows when they're playing well. Everyone knows when they're playing bad. People even know when they're playing. Sometimes they win a match while playing bad. And that was the whole, like, you know, GG's will play bad sort of thing. Which happens. And the game is sloppy as melee, it happens. What made Crunch a great coach? Uh, it's very simple. He's just a great friend. And he's known me since I was 10 years old. And only someone who's known me since I was 10 years old and been through every other embarrassing phase of my life can understand my faults and understand what I need, I need to hear and what I need to be told to do things right. It's a hard job. 
I always commended him. Game plan. <laughs> and there it is. Oh no, I'm thank you. <laughs> Keyword had. He had a family. No longer. Dude, and I'm hitting RTCs. Like, am I? Am I just? I don't think you guys realize how lucky it is to not just find a new controller or realize that you had a good control all along, but to find a controller this good all along, and it was under your desk the whole time. Literally sitting under my nose the entire time while I was struggling. I'm like, man, what am I missing? Fucking Ferrari. It's a Ferrari. I can, I can drill fours on the 34 of this controller. This is nuts. Chat. Look at these catches. The subtleties. Oh, that full max angle wave dash back. Oh. FOB? It's an acronym. It stands for Provides Hungry Box Outrageous Bounties. Outrageous victories. <laughs> Benefits! Benefits, there we go. Controller is so good. Just even that right there, I can like break down. I can break down that. Tense. Oh, this guy is a fucking. You're you're a bully. Ah! This guy's a bully. All right, Hemi Herner. It would be a damn shame if I came back two stocks now, wouldn't it? That'd be a, that'd be a damn shame for the Fox Gang, wouldn't it? thing is only thing is I've been here once or twice give him one more
Okay, close, close, close. I actually went to pound there. We're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. I gotta let go of stick. Release the stick. Sing. I knew it was gonna go for it too. <laughs> Rest grabs ledge. I fucking wish, dude. Holy shit. chat oh, I thought I went down there <laughs> stay right on his body and I'm playing hot dude that's 20 wins pretty sure just about give or take Do a few more and then coin box. I'm down. 20 wins, 20 subs. It's a good time. It's a good time. Average of like two minutes a game. Ultimate coin boxes today. Yep, it's a Wednesday. There's Equilateral, right on time. Let's see if I can do it. Final boss. The final boss of every unranked Grand Devil.
Playing so well, dude. Let's give him the set. Rest. Fine, call him some. Three missed rests. Oh, oh, wait, imagine. Imagine all the people.
<laughs> hey, hey for, for three missed rests and almost winning, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Where's my down tilt? I don't know. Why can't I land a single hit? <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> All right, GG's, man. Still playing super well. Yeah, apparently if you don't miss rests, uh, you win. All right, it is coin box time, everyone. Uh, so let's get to it. I'm going to tweet it out. Thanks for watching the little bit of a melee grind. Uh, I will be right back. So let's get it.
it is. And we are so back. I think. Yo, yo, yo. Thank you, Gizmolo, and the 21 other subs today. Hi, guys. Welcome to the coin box number 89. We're at 89. Yes, we are. 89. $3,000 prize pool. And we are killing it. If you're here for the melee practice earlier, I also do appreciate that. Um, and, uh... Now it's ultimate time. So we gotta switch from one controller to the other. Which is uh, what we're gonna do. Hey Hungerbox, any advice at versus Sonics as a Ganon player? I'm not even gonna say a word to you. Just, just I'll, I'll, I'm praying for you. We're all, we're all here praying for you collectively. You know, you're not you're not alone. <laughs> just remember, you're not alone. In, in your plight, you know? Anyways. All right, let's turn off the melee. As much as I love the sound of the game, it's time to switch over. Press one if you can see me and hear me, or put a smiley face, or whatever you want to do. And uh, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Let's do it again. Do it again. Oh. Now, y'all went pretty berserk uh, last coin box uh, which means you already gave me an incredible January so we'll, we'll just see what happens here I have two minutes to warm up should I do it actually if I have a buy which I think I do I have, a buy? Do I have time for this I, I have time for one one on one tourney someone name me a character to use really quick because we have a buy and God willing, you put a bounty on it, I'll do it right here. Live on camera for you. Ten for Ganondorf? Everyone, press one for the run. I got a new mug, by the way, guys. He gave 10 anyway. I, th I thought I had to win first. I thought I had to win, but a TC for Table Cannon. Y'all always ball out on the coin box. You do. You do. TCs for our boy. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god, I'm ready. I, I, I am ready. But yeah, this mug right here, it was a gift, it was hand painted. Well, usually most things are hand- No, I guess most things are print- are printed. Or like, you know, made by a machine. This was handmade. Hand paint. Look at that gradient. Look at that gradient. It's like a sunset. You see that? I rate this mug, I think, a 10 out of 10. What do you guys think? I think it's a t Oh, and by the way, there's a cactus on the inside. See that? Oh shit, hold on. Alright. 10 subs! I, I give it 10 out of 10. One, go. I think if, if I tried to make a mug, it would look silly and childlike. It would have heart, but it would be uh, kind of messy, you know? I've never been much of a crafty arts and craft. Wow, already a stock. Damn. Make a Poth mug. Oh, we have a new emote. We have two new emotes. Everyone type in HBox Poth and HBox Roll. HBox Poth, P-O-F-F, -F, and HBox Roll. Capital P and capital R. <laughs> I drew that puff. <laughs> That's an emote that I drew. I am the author. And of course, JK Gray giving us the, uh, the digital file. But I am the author. You guys like it? That's my that's my interpretation of Puff. 
Oh my god. Basically, one of our viewers won a switch in the, in the giveaway, and the viewer asked for me to draw a Jigglypuff doodle on it. Alright? And it looked... Uh... Like this. That it, it, that was my interpretation of Jigglypuff, from memory, right? I did my best. That's that's why I did engineering in school and not anything else. Um, and now the best part about this is, believe it or not, the puff now rolls like this. She does this. So you're talking about HBox roll, it's there. And uh, yeah, that's my gift. We have a bunch of new emote slots. So if you, decide, if you decide to be a sub to this channel or get gifted by Table Cannon, you now have so many fun emotes plus the pop. You can't fail. Like you, you, you really can't, all right? Press one if you totally would invite Poff into your house to, in to eat potato chips. I would. That's free. Ah! I said that's for you! I stood still! That was in reverse! Table Cannon on top of this run, which I might win. We hit a Warlock Punch first try. First try? Oh my god. I'm just saying. Okay. Right, hold on, hold on. Up tilt. She's so shocked gets it. Ah! Uh! Full anger. Put all my heart into that forward smash. All right, I try, everyone remind me to announce the winners of the Coinbase Spread the Cheer. I gotta do that right after this. I keep forgetting to announce it. I gotta do it right now. So I can announce the Coinbase Spread the Cheer winners. Basically, I think like eight of you were given $500 for simply existing and making an account on Coinbase. So let's see who those winners are. Okay, here we go. Here we go.
Nice. Salute our 14 sub train, guys. And what if I get this crazy spike? Okay. Wait, a bomb? B -b 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 bomb oh, oh, I lived enough. Okay. Holy shit. Bro. They can't make a character this bad, can they? Can they? Please. And there it is. No way! Thank you, Leo. I fucking hate. <laughs> you know what? We did our best. We landed a warlock punch. And I think I have a match anyway, so. Bracket should be starting. Wasting my points. That's a gorgeous mug. It's quite beautiful. Oh, I forgot Riddles is in this. Michael Kim is in the mix. Oh, baby. Oh baby. You wanna you wanna hear a take? It's not even a hot take. I think Riddles wins tonight. I think Riddles wins tonight. I said it. I know his I know I know his his his, his opposition. I think he wins tonight. Alright. Sorry for believing in my boy. Surely it won't be a Sonic Spargo Grand. Spread the cheer. All right, the winners. Yeah, the winners. All right. Okay, timestamp 130. All right, your winners of the Coinbase Spread the Cheer contest are as follows. Each person will receive $500 in USDC coin on Coinbase. We got Bagel Heroi. Magical Sandwich 07. I'm not making this up. It's literally a bagel tag into a sandwich tag. Magical Sandwich 07. Bodegon 95. Tato underscore NV. I love Brooklyn 99. Nation 123. Brawl 83. Lil Big Bug. Trying to gimp you. Great tag. And Popeye underscore Miami. Congrats to our winners. I think I saw Popeye sub himself in chat today. Uh, congrats. Congrats to those winners. Uh, I did a post on Twitter. If you want to see what those are, thank you to Coinbase for, again, spreading the cheer. Appreciate it. Okay. I'm gonna go do this and do this and do that. Congrats, man. We like some winners. Okay. Oh, all right. Let's see what my run looks like. Salute our 15 sub train. Let's take a look at our bracket, shall we? Oh, please. 
Bro, I hope Leo is playing today because look. I, if I win two games, I fight him. Potentially. If he's if he's not here, then I make it into bracket, I think. Well no, I gotta win four games. God, I hope, I hope, I hope. That would be the best news ever. Looks like I'm fighting uh, a falcon. He's not live. Oh, Leo, please. He told me he was playing last week, but stuff happens. Stuff happens. All right, should we do one Gamba? One Gamba. Here we go. 1v1 Japan always. Ooh, 14 million versus 13.9 million. I believe in the Kazuya. I always do. Here we go. Let's do a bet. Aegis or Kazuya, who wins it? Banger Spectate. That's actually a really good Spectate. That's about, that's about, that's about as good as you can make it. Alright. I'm show that match pretty soon. Dude, you, you know what the whole Stanley Cup led controversy reminds me of? Wow, this cause is getting mixed! I chose the wrong option! I feel terrible. It reminds me of like power a little bit. I'm not sorry. She always says she's sorry, but she's I'm sorry, I was clicking something. Oh, let's go! Reverse three stock. Holy shit. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> Suck it, doubters. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you vote for the Kazuya, dude. You got you gotta do it. All right, I have a match. But there's something I wanted to try really quick. Kind of wanted to see, just in case, potentially, if this one program could indeed work today. Have one prage. I am not a robot.
Bro, my internet is so... F you remember, remember when downloading a file that was like a gig and a half would take like years? And now it takes like 20 seconds? How long... Everyone type in, how long would it take your internet right now to download a gigabyte file? How long would it take? Three seconds? It's amazing. But yeah, that's that's how crazy it's gotten. All right. So this is my first match. Fighting Michelle, who is a, I think a Canadian, or sorry, Mexican Falcon. Yes, indeed. Solid state drives are strictly better than the alternative, right? Yeah. I, I remember that there was one... I read an article that there was one downside to them. I'm trying to remember what it was. What was the downside? Not speed, obviously. Not size. Was it lifespan? Someone light me. Also, um, how long do you guys... Uh, how, press 1 if you guys, if anyone here, builds their own computer. Or not like not like builds. They, they choose their own parts, you know. Like they don't they don't buy pre builds. They, they choose their own parts at least. Um, how how often do you guys do um like an upgrade, like 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 a whole overhaul, you know? Like you open it up, you replace the graphics card and the the CPU every few years, five years, four years. Because you know what I have back there, guys. Who remembers? After, right after I won Evo, Big Bertha. You guys remember Big Bertha? If any of you guys are OGs to the stream, you'll remember Big Bertha. That that was my that was my my stream my my my. I went to Micro Center and I paid for all the really good expensive parts. I took my Evo prize winnings and I and I built the computer. Right before right or uh, before after, I think it was right after Evo. It was great. Bro, where's my opponent? Where did he go? There he is, okay. Is there gonna be something special for Coinbox 100? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? All right, here's the coin box schedule for the next few in case you guys live under a rock. Remember, today, Steve is banned. Next week is the first coin box of February, meaning Steve is... So answer my question, let's see who's paying attention. First coin box of the month. Steve is unbanned next week. Unbanned. Which I think everyone's liking this uh, cadence so far, right? And then, on the 14th, on Valentine's Day, we have the doubles coin box. Popeye Miami, HBox, I just saw th that I won spread the cheer. Put a PM in the chat, Popeye Miami. Uh, Popeye, it should be in your account. Your Coinbase account. All right, so we're playing against this guy. Congrats, buddy. Congrats on spreading the cheer. Against Falcon, I think he likes walls. And I think Battlefield, the, the vibes are bad on Battlefield. No, thank you, man. Let's ban the Battlefields. 
Because that Falcon up smash, it just... It catches you way off guard, you know? Meister DQ, oof. Surprised. That was pretty good. Crazy one last time. Here we go. Press one for the run! Thank you all for tuning in. Here we're like to kill. One of the reasons I like town is because, because of that. Is it me or am I actually really good on town? I always ban it, but I think it's actually a really good stage for me. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play more on town today. AKA Smash Town. No, the true name for this stage. Back throw. Carry rest. Oh, if he dashed like he was getting cooked. That's fine. Too close. He's pivoting. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, no, 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 no. Ha! Yep. Rolling. Oh, my God. Oh! Thank you. Okay. I am very, very happy he went for that. Yeah. He, he kind of kind of sold pretty, pretty hard. Against Mr. Falcon, I say we ban the bad vibes. PS2, terrible vibe. Kalos has the wall, but I also live a long time. I think, I think these two, PS2 Battlefield. Hollow Bastion. A great stage. Dare I say, one of my favorites. Ready? Let's stay in winners. Let's not, let's not go 0-2. You guys see that Twitter thread that someone's talking about how hype an 0-2 Invitational would be? Three, it's like the worst two, player from your region. One, you put them all in a room. See who the best of the worst is. Make ten thousand dollars for spamming forwards, man. Oh, okay. He's kind of trolling a little bit because why wouldn't you forge my uh, fucking what's that? Unless he's nervous.
You want, you want to know what it's what it's like, chat, to go from playing rollback melee on a fob with someone who lives two hours away from me and has six ping in melee to now going into ultimate, playing online with a U.S. Mexico connection with ultimate puff. It's not for the faint of heart, but I still hit those back ears. Still, after all this time. I did play with a fob, but it's different. It's a better fob. Roll. I'll take it too. I'll take it. One more. I am the worst. Okay. I can't. That was one of the one of the dumbest things I think it's ever happened to me in the game. That's okay. And that is game. Okay, we are not 0-2 today. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, good. Good. I'm down for that start. I'm down for that. Thank you for the 35 subs today so far. Won that game. All right. Now let me see if this program here works. I kind of. You guys want to watch Void play? It looks oh, like Leo is gonna DQ, unfortunately. Go oh. somewhere. Thank you. Basil, thank you. Okay. Also, apparently this little program here works now. So let me. It was a shot. Unless I downloaded a, a virus. What pool is Void in? I don't know. There it is. Thank you. Pool 15. Thank you, pizza. Hope everyone gets a pizza in their life. Very, very helpful. Damn, DQ City in this pool. Void, Void, where is Void? Void, there he is! Nice. And he's fighting Akazia. Nice. We're gonna watch his next match. We might get Void versus Hispanic at the disco, which is nice. Go to my next match. EB Reggie. Yeah, his span got the disco is still a legendary tag. All right, let's get him in here. <laughs> legendary tag. Oh, peanuts in this too? What the hell? We gotta watch Peanut. We gotta watch Peanut. Where's my play? I keep, I keep losing my own match. Here. All right, start the match. Oh. And there it is. 
Thank you, Lalon Silva. Hello. Hello, hello. All right. Here comes Reggie. EB Reggie. Okay. Let's do our strikes. I think it's going Mario, right? So, think so. really quick everyone hold is this thing actually working <gasps> oh my god Finally, it works. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Hold on. Can I put the logo? If I can put the logo. Refresh. Oh! And the seeds! Yes! Okay. I'm going to mess around with this chat, but this is a scoreboard one for a while. We have a lot of choices now for scoreboard. Just know it's going to look dope. And now um, I can do even more stuff. I can I can do more stuff like this. Can you all bear with me for one second? Watch this. I'm going to duplicate this screen. I'm going to call it versus screen. We're going to do this. Hold on. Let me, let me click for a second. Or I'm just experimenting really quick. Okay, that's me again. I don't know why I'm there again. No, that's... That's... What? Okay. Here we go. So we're going to get rid of this really quick. We're going to add this. Ready? We're going to add a browser. A local source. Call it versus. Here we go. We're cooking. Everyone, let me cook. Let me cook. Local file. Browse. Three. Two. One. Money. Oh. Okay, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's almost as nice as I want it to be. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, let me cook, let me cook, let me cook. Give me a second, hold on. Oh, but our looks so good. Oh, my God. And does that mean I can add this? Stage strike. Does this work too? If it works, I'm going to be so happy. And this all works. Hold. Now, when I choose my character, the stage strike should pop up. Three, two, one, go. Okay, we are so back in business. Hold on. Finally. God, I was waiting so long for this thing to get fixed. Oh, hold on. Oh, it looks so good. All right. Sorry, I'm getting excited because I get excited in this thing. Okay. Now all I got to do is move this camera. H can, I get, can I get an HBox Productions in the chat, please? Anyways, we're gonna. I'm gonna mess around with that more. 
We have a working versus screen. That's all I care about. It's a good thing. We used to have it, and then it got really annoying. But now it looks like we're good again. Okay. And all, all I really need is just like a background, like a cool... Didn't, oh, didn't I have this really cool like rotating image? What was it? It was like a... It was like a cool ass like infinite loop background. It looked so neat. Where would I have it though? It was like the coolest. I'll, I'll find it. Anyways, I gotta play the match before I lose time. It was like this cool blue rotating thing. All right, yeah, the vortex. It was the vortex. All right. Hey, Eb Reggie. Okay, let's get back on this. Okay, he's going Ness. So I'm gonna strike. I'll make this really small just for a second. I know it's a little scuff right now, just give it a second. Alright, so, uh, so now the strike should be real time. I'm gonna strike PS2. And then PS2, boom, see how it's striking? Isn't that nice? Isn't that cool? Let me get rid of the chat really quick. Make it a little more clean. He's, what's he gonna ban? Okay, wait, wait, guys. This is the coolest part. This is the coolest part. Ready for this? If I'm correct, if I'm correct, as soon as I strike small battlefield, the entire background is gonna turn into the stage. Ready? If this works, I'm gonna be so happy. All right, Town and City. Three, two, one. Swish. All right, productions, H box productions. Isn't that nice? That's uh, it's sexy. Come on, it's sexy. You gotta make it look sexy. That's the coin box, baby. Thank you to TSH. Shoutouts. If you guys want that program, it's called TSH, baby. That's clean. Isn't that so nice? Oh, we're just getting started. Here we go. We're so back. Got the scoreboard up there. Look at that. Oh, we're so back. Three, two, one, go! We get hit on purpose, and I tech it. Ooh! Chat press one. It looks and sounds nice. Are we good? Make sure. Blue counts on my camera. Too. Technology is pretty sick. And put an eye for a sadist, of course, for helping me out with that. She took a program called TSH. She made some tweaks, some modifications. The names are flipped. If only there was a button I could press to fix that. H-Box Productions! Oh. And look guys, player one is red, player two is blue. It's just so perfect. So beautiful. Also, it says, is this the scoreboard that you want us to use? Like the, the, the default ultimate one? That was like a default coin box we to use. I'll mess around with it. It's so nice. It's so nice. We got states. We got flags on here. You know what I'm going to do, chat? I'm going to make it so you guys can see the stage strikes. We don't even have to go to the other thing. I'm going to bring the stage strikes right here to this screen. You know why? Because we can. HBox Productions. Ready? So I go report the game. I click W. My score goes to one. Stage strike appears on the screen. Three, two, one. I love it. I I love this thing. 
God, it's so nice. It's so nice. Anyways, um... Okay. Use any scoreboard? I'm gonna mess around with it. It really is great. Back to our versus screen. You know, I do want, I do want, just because of my, my production brain, I, I do really want that, like, blue vortex background. I'm gonna find it really quick. It's here somewhere. What is production doing? Don't worry. Don't worry about it. What is this? Let me cook for one second. Let me just do the cool one. So bad. <laughs> it's so buggy. At least it got. At least it's something. <laughs> I'm gonna make it better later. Anyways, okay. <laughs> it's okay. At least it's something. All right. Uh, let's get rid of. Uh... Actually, what if I speed it up? Can I speed it up? Fix Puff's ear. That's the only thing. It's not a good loop, though. It's not a good loop. Sorry, Reggie. My bad. My bad. I'm making this guy wait so long. I thought, I'm just an absolute asshole. All right. I should not do productions mid game. I really shouldn't. All right. I'm banning PS2 and Battlefield. Looks pretty cool, though. And we're going to look, boom. Isn't that beautiful? Small battlefield. I love that. That's my favorite thing in this whole thing. Right. One for the run. Here we go. Yes, there we go.
I'll take it. One more. Are we staying winners? Are we staying winners? Oh, not like that. That's okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take those four, four hits. I'm not bitter. I am not bitter at all. from that win. Oh, it looks crazy. What's going on? Holy. Whoa. 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 Holy. God, we can slow it down a little bit. We're going to slow that bad boy down. All right. Uh, he banned Smashville and Kalos. I'm gonna ban. It is busy. We won on town. He won on small battlefield. Do we go hollow here, or do we do we go, do we go back to town? I said I would trust town today, right? I'm gonna do it. We're going back to town. Because Hollow, he can recover easily. Here we go. Ready? <sighs> Three, two, one, go! What's it like playing a character where you can just mash the A button and then you beat out anything I do? What's that like? Like gratifying? And then I hit the sickest combo of my life. For nothing. For barnacles. For barnacles! I have to try so hard. You're dead. 
You're dead. Holy shit. Do we close it out? Red your soul. There we go. Reggie, GG's. Nice little W for us. Ah, oh, nice. I think it's time for us to to vibe out a little bit. Which one is that? Karma? Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. All right. So we're still in this. Uh, I think Void is playing his whole run, even though I probably told him not to. All right. We're watching Void. Void's up after this break. Here we go. The Void. Let's get him in here. Void's fighting a K rule. Winners. The GSM Void. You guys want to, you guys want something cool? You want something neat? Something really, really swell? Hbox Productions, watch this. I give you the match. So cool. Now, the the only thing is the, the those graphics are supposed to like fade a little cooler. It looks like a cutoff right now. It's supposed to be like a fade into those cutoffs. Um, a stream queue overlay. Nice, thank you. What is going, Joker? Looks like an Hbox production. Thank you, thank you. But what if I did this? What if I went further beyond? And instead... Did this? Holy! Ye oh. It, it just, it's just the gift that keeps on giving. It's just the gift that keeps on giving. Look at those renders. Look at those stages. We are so back. God, we're so back. All right. That's more like it. When I find, and look at that, we're going to stadium. Incredible. Press one for the run, my friends. The banger playing. It's just the vibes are good. Now, if someone can find me, I like I like that background picture, but there's if someone can find me like a perfectly 60 frames per second, super high quality one, I would appreciate that. Having trouble finding that, but there was one, there was some website somewhere that I got it from before. I was going to find the website, and then we're upset. It wasn't deviant art. It was neat. Oh, the vaporwave sun always looks nice. go and 
And the even cooler part, you see how Void's playing that cool alt and and uh and Brain YT is playing the black K rule alt. There's no way I can switch the of course I can. Of course you can switch the Imagine if you couldn't. Which one is Void? At him go. And for my set. Uh, yes. Damn void! Oh! Oh! oh my god! Let him cook! Let him cook! What the hell? My bad, Reggie. Okay. Bro, Void's possessed, dude. My man's here to fight! JV3. JV3. With the power of technology, I summon the stage strike list. Ready? Come on, do the thing. Come on. Oh, wait, the void not selected to win yet. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Magic, magic. Where are we going, lads? Where are we going? That is the question. All right, he's banning Kalos, and we're going to Battlefield. There you go. Oh, and there it is. What did I miss? Oh, that was a YouTube alert. My bad. Whatever that was, thank you. What around this one? Was that a member? In the YouTube chat? Three, two, if it was, thank you. One, go! Uh, we're gonna get a peanut next on stream. My next match is where? Playing LOGZ. Reminder guys, if you're enjoying the stream, make sure you drop me a follow. If you're really enjoying it and you want to support it, you could always use a prime sub, whatever you see fit. If it pops off enough tonight, we will be doing some giveaways. We always do. Um, 
thank you for watching. Glad y'all enjoyed it. Uh, apparently I'm fighting, if I win one more, I fight Beast Mode, Paul. It's kind of cool. Last time I fought him was actually CEO. Oh my, oh, oh, dude, Void is so cool to watch. Get down south, thank you. And there it is. Thanks for the sub reminder. Thank you, Taco Bell. Wait, is that you voting for food? That's the rule. Oh God, here we go. What happened last night? Okay, let's see, ramen. Ramen won, no, actually, none of these won last night because someone wailed out and last night they canceled the whole bet. Someone dropped 80 tier twos. Cancel the whole bit. So we'll start with these. <laughs> Let's see what happens tonight. All right, uh, every sub between now and uh, 8 p.m. We'll call it 8 p.m. Yeah, it was 80 tier twos. I'm not even kidding. I, I even had the name tag. And there it is. Yep, here we go. For those of you guys that wanted a nice uninterrupted- MY GOD, VOID! Can you relax? That's a three stock. Alright, let's get Peanut in here. Dude, Void, uh, kinda good. Decent. He's decent. It really is. Alright. Alright. Now, am I... Do my eyes deceive me? Or am I seeing Roy on the peanut character select screen? Do my eyes deceive me? Apparently not. I'm down. Hey man. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. I'm giving it a chance. When is MKLeo playing? No one tell him. No one tell him the truth. You know, the Meister War, it goes insane. Taco Bell is. tonight. Oh my goodness. Y'all really... Y'all really want this, huh? Alright. I need, I, need, I need Peanut to get out of Elite Smash. And meanwhile, let's rally up these votes. Uh... Hey, if talk about wins tonight, I'm I'm very happy with that. That's a okay with me. Uh, let's look at the other parts of the bracket while we're waiting, shall we? And there it is. And 
There it is. Large. All oh, right, hold on. Uh, JT and Large Socks, you each get votes for food. Do not forget. Do not forget. Alright. We're going to Pokemon Stadium 2. Can you believe it? Let's see the Peanut Roy. Let's see what he's got. And Sabri and Kinora. All right, Large Socks wants Taco Bell. Zabri wants beer only. Okay, that's one more for Taco Bell. Beer only gets a vote on the board. On the board. And there it is. Uh, don't forget, JT. Taco Bell. Bell. And Ki okay, Kinora wants Taco Bell. Okay, so Taco Bell five. JT, you have a vote. Don't forget. Why do you have Steve banned for the coin box again? Um, do you remember Vietnam? <laughs> I'm kidding. Remember the war? Remember Dom? No, the reason we uh, have Steve banned is because online... It started with the PM PMLG controversy. Um, but then he, everyone said he was the best character. Uh, and I felt in the moment it was important to not have him be in the online tournament because he was overpowered. But now I'm experimenting with the ban unban uh Schrodinger box rule set. Which I think people are enjoying so far. We're we're gonna run this rule set for the first like season, like winter. I'm gonna revisit it in March. Or April rather. I'm gonna see I'm gonna see how people go. JT said ramen. Thank you. Sensing some lag here for sure. Yeah, wisdom. We're, we're we're definitely experimenting this year with a lot of rule sets and things and different games too. Close match, but Danny is running away with it now. Oof. If I'm Pino, I should call, I, I would call a lag test here. I would either lag test or switch to Little Mac. It looks like it's not... Not quite working out the way he wants it to. Okay. Ima imagine this. Oh, uh, you said one more for ramen? Wait, chun Chunky Kira Rash? Top 64, right? I cannot miss that. Or is that in pools? Alon's here, please let me know. One seventy one. <gasps> oh! Oh he with the grab! Damn. Yeah, I mean, I, I would tell me the lag tester 
Oh, we got our first high five. Fire, Evan, thank you. What pool is Chunky in, guys? What pool is Chunky in? Fire, Evan, thank you. Let's we'll see what he decides to do here. Fire, Evan, you get a vote for food, don't forget. Adam, you also get... And there it is. Pool six. All the good matches on here. Ready? Chunky K rushes in pools. All right, he's rocking the Roy again. No lag test. Wait, Chunky and K Rush are already playing? Please, no. No! Three, two, no! One, Do not start. Holy shit. Okay, dope. We are not gonna miss Chunky Kiarash. Fuck yes. We're not missing it. Let's go. Do uh, my match and then Chunky versus Kiarash. I cannot believe we are blessed enough to have that. Riddles versus Fighting Armadillo. Is that? Please tell me that's also on top of before. There's no edge pools, that, that, that make no sense. Damn, this wolf is cooking! Holy sh Yeah, I would, I would, I would have gone. I would have gone a little mech. Alright, um, yo, fire Evan 14. You get five votes for food, don't forget. And Adam, you as well get one vote. Make sure you use those subs to your advantage. And choose my dinner. That's it. That's a JV3. All right, time for my run. Here we go. I'm fighting L O G Z. Logs. We're doing my match and then Chunky. Fire Evan isn't going to vote, then I might vote for him. Every sub is a vote. Um, so Adam, just type in what you want. You want to talk about? You sure? Did I miss it? I might have missed it. Oh, it is Taco Bell. Never mind. Damn. Taco Bell at 10 already? Uh, how about you, Adam? What are you feeling? Plain butter toast? Okay. Plain toast. <laughs> oh, 
It all counts. Taco Bell oh, esports gift. Wow. You guys are passionate. Taco Bell at 11. Okay. Find the Zelda. I'll ban PS2 and I'll ban Small Battlefield. No, I'll ban Town. If I win two more games, we're in we're in bracket. It's actually a good sign for us. Like all things considered. Alright, go to Smashville. Thank oh, you, Talk about is. Rocks. Yeah. The double box and Shade Q. Whoa. Whoa. Shade, you gotta vote too. And the north. Smash feels just good for puffing almost every matchup. It's very, it, it's like the, the perfect amount of space, and it makes edge guards like pretty consistent. Press one for the run. Yeah, we're back to TSH, baby. Ready? <sighs> I say this fixed. Whatever was going on with it. So so far, so good. Killed me, damn. And there it is. Oh, I'm fucking up. Someone keep checking the votes for me. I can just crouch that, right?
All right, the, who's who's a uh, who's food votes that I miss? Crystal Light and Springer. I need your votes. Can I change my vote to Jelly Beans? And Springer wants beer. Okay. Wow, what a. Incredible selection of dishes. Oh, Rick Sanchez Bish. MCD for the three months. McDonald's. And McDonald's employee. Oh. And there it is. <laughs> um We lost on Smashville. Taco Bell is my bad. Holy is. shit. Let's go. Let's go hollow. All right. Oh! Damn! Now it's heating up. They get passionate. Claude. Ten? Ten votes for Jelly Beans? What? What the fuck? All right, we're going to Hollow Bastion. Put a C for Claude Master. Bro, this is a, there's so many votes today. Taco Bell versus Jelly Beans. How's that for a, a Super Bowl matchup? <laughs> I should have killed. go Chat, I think if, if I eat jelly beans for dinner I'm gonna get like four stock I'm gonna get four stock in ultimate
There it is. Oh, man. <sighs> Chipotle? Bro. All right. I'm going to be honest, chat. I had Chipotle for lunch. I, I can't. I can't do it twice. It, it'll... What the hell? So J-Lo, I need a vote from you. What the hell? All right, one for Mickey D. Put a C for CODIS. CODIS, who you got? Holy fuck. 10 more votes? CODIS, where are we going? This is game three, by the way. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need a restaurant. I need to know. Jelly beans at 21 votes. Chat, can we? You're, you're trying to kill me. You're, try, you're, you're trying to. Sorry, did I say I meant 26 votes? I meant it's now double. It's now double Taco Bell. I'm a I'm a simple guy, you know. All I all I want in life is is a uh, is a, a nice Dorito Loco Taco, you know. Maybe a cheesy gordita crunch. Someone give twenty five for sour Skittles. What is wrong with you guys? What 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 did I do to deserve this? Um, all right. So I'm down for Hollow. Down for Smashville. Where do I not want to? PS2. I don't want to fight her on PS2, and I don't want to fight her on. What's a good? What's what's Zelda's best stage, Chuck? <laughs> plain is. toast. Okay. The man wants plain toast. Plain toast making a great little comeback. All right, I'm gonna ban. Town. I'm actually gonna ban town because the up B kills me super early. No, we, we won on Kalos just now, so we'll, we'll win on Smashville. I thought I'm paying attention. If, if we go back to Smashville, I'm very done. Yeah, that's because I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to tally votes. I will win on Smashville. I'm letting you know right now. I will win. Yeah, what? Y'all, 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 y'all doubt me when I'm confident? Ready? Press one for the run. <laughs> Good luck, Sneeze. Taco <gasps> Bell. Ja oh, you think, you're, you think you're funny? I'm not counting that. I'm not counting that fucking vote. I don't know why that Twitch tag exists. We got a comedian in here. You were saying, chat? Really quick, I just want to see um, who was doubting me. And there it is. Don't.
Holy shit, we might be in winners. We might start the bracket in winners. Doubters, where are you at? And there it is. All right. Great. And now it's time for Kirash versus Chunky Kong. The rematch of ages. Let's get it. All right, we got to recount votes now. What did I miss? Um, okay, I missed. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. We and there it is. Okay. Whataburger 2. I don't think there's Whataburger in Florida or near me right now. So I'm going to put that for McDonald's. Then we had one sub for Taco Bell Wi-Fi. Okay. Then J Omega and Snake Man versus Arbok. You each get one vote. My vote goes Taco Bell. I can admit when I was wrong, I respect it. Twitch Prime counts. Yes, it does. J Omega, what's your vote? Okay, apparently there is Whataburger in Tunnel, Florida. So, in case there's a Texas Oiler in chat. Damn. Alter SS. And there it is. Chat, I don't want jelly beans for dinner. There's no nutrition. It's, it's solid sugar. I don't. Why? Egg, anything, anything else. As there's so many things on this earth to eat. We have two, 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 two viewers. Messiah's art. We got a vote. All right, let's get Chunky versus Kirash. Can't believe we're blessed enough to see this. Um, okay. So, what did I miss? Messiah's art, you get a vote. And Seraphim, you get a vote. And Taco Bell is my only friend. All right. There's really an anonymous whale who just insists on this being it. Seraphim and Messiah's, I need votes. Do not forget. This is a salt box from this is this this we're, we're, this is history. You understand? Jelly beans, high in protein. I hate you guys. Okay. Twenty eight. One more Taco Bell. And one more for Messiah's art. I need one. If mods want to run bets, go for it. I am in the middle of twenty things right now. Actually, no. I'm gonna run bets. Let's go. Taco Bell is. parking lot. All right, 30 second bets. Go, 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 go. I better see max bets. 30 seconds. Don't look at the score. Don't look at the stock count. Don't look at the percents. Just vote. And there it is. All right, I didn't see Messiah's art, but I see that uh, Taco Bell has three more votes now. So Jelly Beans voters, you better be afraid. That's all I'm gonna say. They are catching up quickly. My favorite home cooked meal, I think my mom's homemade empanadas are pretty great. World famous. Taco Bell restroom? Oh my god. Where were you for the Taco Bell versus Jelly Beans War of 2024? That's another one I'm talking about. 21 now. Oh, Kirash! 
future of Smash. This man's grooving. Damn! If I end up eating Taco Bell tacos that are full of jelly beans, I know I failed as, as a streamer. Another one. Jarlin Camacho, thank you for the super chat. That would truly be the point of no return. Uh, Jonathan, it's going to be a sub. I cannot give you 10 votes for $2, but I appreciate the, the donation. You're trying to play me like a fiddle. You think $2 give you 10 votes? TPK! Phantom Keith hold the... Oh! And Kirash takes game one. Put some TPKs, baby. Keith, what are you feeling? What are you feeling, Keith? Jelly beans? Oh my god. Alright, jelly beans is at literally 33 votes. Guys, what what are you What are you doing? Like, what are you You're, there's nothing to Alright. Can we type in some Hbox whales just so someone just like gives me some level of like nutrition tonight. Some level of sustenance. I'll have you know I'm. I'm being very good. About going to the Lately. Oh my god. Sonichu, ten dollars. Five votes, Taco Bell. I will not give you five votes for Taco Bell for ten dollars. I'm gonna give you two votes though. It's $5 a vote, so two more votes for Taco Bell from YouTube chat. Taco Bell catching up very quickly. Oh! Oh! What the fuck is going on? 20 votes! Oh! Shit! Oh my god. If you say jelly beans, I might actually just, I might just end it. I might end it all. I might, I might just throw, I might just end the stream. Put some ends for Neo, Steve. What are you voting for? Ramen. What? Oh my God. What a twist. What a twist. Ramen coming back with Neo, Steve, who's currently the MVP of the chat. Oh my god. Bro, bro. Neo Steve. If you change the Taco Bell, I think we're gonna have a war in here. Uh, I'm 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 Im I'm imploring you to reconsider. You don't have to, but I'm imploring you. Because the vote's being split. But it is your 20 subs. You did drop a big sub bomb for that. So I'll leave it up to you. Taco Bell gets one more vote. 17 minutes left for the poll, by the way. Oh! Yo! Game three, and we got a big set. But you know what? If a man wants ramen, he votes ramen. It's okay. I can't change his mind. Man wants what he wants. Wait, I like a good war. Do Taco Bell instead. We got a war. Ramen back to one. Taco Bell at 45. We officially have a war. And remember, I, n I always follow through with whatever chat votes we get it every single time. Taco Bell is better. See, here we go. Holy shit. And now, now it's war. Now it's, now it's war. 
ends one more time for Neo Steve. Taco Bell at TV. This man, this oh, man is pulling out every single possible. Oh, and Taco Bell now in a 14, 14 vote lead. It might be over. Uh, I said it's yes. Remind me after Taco Bell me sideways. Another one, 48. It might be over. 16 minutes left though. Thank you, Steve. Neo, Steve. I want to say you saved my life. You saved my behind tonight. This chat really thought I was gonna eat jelly bean. Thank God. Now, now we just have to. Wait for 15 minutes and hopefully nothing happens. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Jelly beans is just it's it's just gonna make it worse. All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a stomach. Ache. I'm gonna have to order Pepto Bismol, well, along with the beans because I'm 30 years old. I'd rather hear I'd rather drink beer only than jelly beans. I really would. All right, down B. Okay. Reversal? Dole Riath. Guys, like I said, no more votes for Jelly Beans. That's enough. You know, it was it was a good try. It was a valiant effort. We're, you know, maybe next time. Maybe next time. It's okay. Just 14 minutes left. All right. Oh. Dude, Chunky Kong winning this will put him in winner's brackets. Cloud. Okay. Look, it was funny for a bit. It's not. Oh shit, set point for Kirash. Hold on. Don't get grabbed, Chunky. Don't do it. Oh shit! Yo, game three last stock. Guys, one for Kirash, two for Chunky, who you got? Oh my god. Oh my god! Yo, wish call me. You gotta vote. Yo, this is so close! Oh no, he missed the setup! It's over. Oh, oh my god, up air reversal! Yo, chunky! Oh no! Brenji also. You both get votes. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Oh! Chucky wins it! Oh my god! Revenge! Revenge is a dish! Served cold. Ooh! <laughs> Let's go, man. 12 minutes left on our food poll. Brenji and Wish Kami, I need votes. All right. Damn, good shit, Chunky. Uh, I got DQ'd, apparently. Uh, psych. Three, seven, match. All right, everyone, I'm fighting my... If I win this, we're in winner's... Bracket. Holy crap. I'm excited. This is the best I've done in a coin box in a long time. And you know what I did to warm up? I played Melee. Let me get a hell yeah in chat. They both said beans? Where's my money? Hey, chat, can you all shut up? Don't be patient. Oh, y'all voted big money on this. Let's go, Chunky. Let me get a hell yeah. All right. I voted big money on this. Just say this.
Scoreboard Welly Smash. I'm going to switch it. Oh, Mirror's also Luigi. Jelly Belly official, thank you. Yeah, that one is all on the bottom, and I have a, I have a bunch of shit happening in the bottom of the screen, I said this, so I know it's cool, but Yeah. But, but if, if it was a clear screen, it would look really cool. And there it is. Um Okay, hold on. Did I I, I again I need votes. I need votes from Wish Kami, Brenji. And AKA Bavaro. Also, we have one more vote for Jelly Belly. 10 minutes left in this poll, by the way. And Taco Bell Fortnite, okay. Brenz, you wanted beans? Got gotcha. you. Also, AKA Bavaro and. Wish coming. Beans now within a 10 drop. Dude, imagine someone from the 1800s reading that sentence. <laughs> oh, that fucks me up, dude. Alright, hold on. Imagine someone drawing. Yeah, 50 for a beer would be the most Chad thing that's ever happened. I used to believe. And nothing now. I believe this chat makes him believe in everything. All right. Turn match. Anyone else having start GD problems? Apparently, it only happens to ugly people. Savant Cloud. I think we're all fine. Maybe it's just you having some problems. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm having no, uh, no problems at all today. <laughs> That's right. Put a frowning face. You just got bullied. <laughs> oh, why am I like this? Jonathan Camacho. I am not putting a vote for Long John Silvers for $2 in YouTube chat. It's <laughs> First of all, it's $5 for a vote. You couldn't pay me. Any vote for Long John Silver, I'm putting at the Jelly Beans. I, I swear to God, I am. I swear I am. That's actually, like, it'll actually kill me. Delivered Long John Silver is, is, is on God radioactive. Long John Silver is Don't cool. do it, Tubby Tank! This is not funny. Trust me. No, 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 no. All right. All right. Just got here. Don't know what's happening. But LJS is peak. That vinegar man. Y'all, y'all are. Oh. Oh. And there it is. Oh. Rotten mango, you get a vote. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm counting it for Long John Silver's. I'm not counting it. Rotten mango, get a vote though. All right, beans. There's six minutes left in this poll, by the way, guys. Six minutes left.
I'm banning PS2. Alright, so one, so one for the $3, so $2 for the vote. So that's one more for Long John Silvers. Long John Silvers actually have four votes. Kind of funny. Okay, five minutes left in this poll. Taco Bell at 49. Fucking Jelly Beans at 42. Please. Please, God. And there it is. Sloth, are you going to vote? Ron Mango Sloth, are you going to vote? Actually, no, I got Ron Mango. No slothro. All right, we're gonna go down. Ready? Press one for the run. I'm going to calculate all the votes at 8 p.m. sharp. So this might be your last chance. I think if I just get one more person to drop for Taco Bell, it'll be okay. And if not, I stay in winners, which is really good news. Every Luigi does the same. Oh shit! Thank you, Ryan. I'm gonna start and with Ryan is. C. And there it is. There, okay. This is. Ryan! Starting with Ryan! One minute left. Ryan, what are you voting for? Ryan, are you voting? Please tell me what I'm voting for. I gotta count these, I gotta count these. Holy fuck. Ryan wants T-Bell. All right, six for T-Bell. All right, then we have... One for Long John Silvers. I'm counting, I'm counting them all. 
Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Two more Taco Bell. And then Claude dropped 15 for jelly beans with one minute left. No way! What? what? There it is. 56 to 57! Wait, five more! Oh, wait, Taco Bell! Holy fuck! One more for Long John and five more. I think it's over. He got it. He dropped five. Brandy, what the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. It's still 8 p.m. Wait, 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 wait. Brenji, Brenji, wait, 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 wait. There it is. All right, all right, all right. Guys, guys, guys. I'm closing it. I think, I think, I think we got to close it. Brenji, you're the last one. And there it is. Brenji, you decide with 10 votes, Brenji, what we're eating. It's either Taco Bell or Jelly Beans. And there it is. Brenji. Wait, what the? Does, that, does this count? What is going on? Ryan dropped. Was it? Was it late? Was it? Member gifts are delayed by thirty seconds. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And there it is. Let me. And there it is. Let me let me, let me let me finish the set. Let me finish the set. Chat. Let me finish the set. I'm fighting a fucking Luigi. I have bigger fish to fry. And there it is. But certainly not Long John Silver's. We're not frying that fish. I'm gonna go to small battlefield. And there it is. Put an R for Ryan, though, for all those memberships. Thank you for that. And there it is. And Chat! There it is. This is too much. There's too many things going on. <laughs> and there it is. I, I already know what's going to happen. I already know what's going to happen. I, 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 know, I know where this goes. And there it is. Also, how many Taco Bell novelty accounts are there on Twitch? Holy crap. And there it is. Am I dead? Oh, see? I'm done. Oh, nice. Down B.
I'm so sick. I'm so sick. That jab lock, holy fuck. Okay. Okay. Yo. Oh my god. Guys, guys, if I get this game three. If I get this game three, we're in winner's bracket. It's already 8.05. And there it is. What do I ban against Luigi chat? I ban flats, right? We ban FD and Kalos or town. This is important. FD Kalos ban town. We lost on town. Bro, Ryan C still out here. Ryan. <laughs> you, you got you got you gotta appreciate it. Alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna ban Guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna ban Kalos and Town. And there it is. I actually think I can win on FD. Holy shit, what is going on? And there it is. I'm gonna go FD. I'll leave FD open. Put a V for volley guys. Damn, there's a lot going on right now. And there it is. RV dangerous. He see, good ban. He did not go FD. That was the correct ban. We did it. <sighs> Good job, Juan. Big brain. Put it for all the guys. Ready? Dude, I haven't started in Winner's Coin Box since like Melee. Since like in Ultimate, I think it's been over a year. Holy shit. Ryan, five more. Oh my god, Ryan. We got a YouTube whale. Ours for Ryan. Thank you. And there it is. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is it so in sync? Okay, that was. And there it is. And there it is. Yo, two frame. Okay. And there it is. One more stock for winner's bracket! Oh my god! Bounty, I dare you! And 
there it is. Shit, finally. Woo! Everyone, I'm ordering Taco Bell and I'm putting jelly beans inside the fucking tacos. Just shut up. Oh my god, Ryan, I love you! We're gonna put jelly beans inside the fucking tacos. Just stop. I get it. Just let me. I'm... Put an R for Ryan, who has been popping off. Holy sh guys, we're in winners. We're in winners. This is incredible. I don't I literally can't remember last time we, we did that. And there it is. Woo! Okay. Winners bracket, baby. And there it is. So boy Max, let's get it. There's so many alerts. And there it is. <laughs> There's so many alerts. Alright. I will place the order as soon as I lose, but I'm, I, this is a deep run for me, dude. All right. And it saves me a lot of time, which is nice, too. All right, let's go to our bracket. The, yeah, the YouTube memberships show individually, so it's kind of annoying. All right. Nothing like the company in the winner's run with some jelly beans. And there it is. Amen, brother. Amen. Great work, H4. There's there many is. boxes flying on the screen. It's a, it's a good problem to have. It is. I think it's the first time I beat Amir, too. And there it is. And there it is. Thank you. You're far too kind. And there it is. You are far too kind. All right. I'm fighting beast mode, Paul. Oh, but first oh, Riddles is. versus Chunky? Oh my god. Riddles versus Chunky? Oh, we're so blessed. We're so oh, blessed. <laughs> oh my god. This is the best coin box. What the? F Wait, has Ryan just dropped? Ryan, how many have you dropped? Ryan dropped like 55 YouTube memberships today. And there it is. Holy sh... Oh. R's for Ryan. Uh, our first ever YouTube whale. Thank you. And there it is. Thank you, Ryan. Making magic happen. All right. Let's get these gents in here. And there it is. R's for Ryan. 
You know what Ryan reminds me of? You know that that meme of the guy who's like still dancing even though everyone's out of the party? That's him. And there it is. So I have to fight beast mode Paul into Jazar. I think I think Chunky This will be a good set. And there it is. It'll, it'll go it'll go three games. For sure. It is. Oh, and Brujos versus Jackal is happening. Sen Jazo. There's so many great game one matches. And there it is. But of course, we can all put so many. All right, we are after. And there it is. And there it is. Uh, every every coin box is here is ultimate unless otherwise specified. There's no more melee coin box. Okay. Wow. What a... Ryan <laughs> is gifting the entire YouTube chat. If someone can please fix the YouTube alerts, I would appreciate that. Put an R for Ryan again. Good God. What a legend. What a legend. All right. Waiting for Chunky to get in here. And there it is. Where is Chunky? I see riddles. I don't see Chunky. And there it is. Yeah, it's going to be my match since Spargo Syrup than this one. And there it is. I have an idea. I'm ever Ryan, Ryan just popping off right now. Is Kiraflex in the bracket? There we go. Alright, let's run some bets. Shall we? I think we shall. I think we shall. All right, we're going to small battlefield. Ready? Let's get it. Running bets for one minute. I better see millions of points on this. Three, two, one, go. I better see it. This is a hot set alert. Oh my god. Thank you again, Ryan. Appreciate you, bud. Saving the YouTubers. Ooh. You say this matchup is unwinnable? You really think so? I, I disagree, respectfully. Actually, I disagree disrespectfully you idiot but riddles is the best cause yes so it, i don't think it's to remember that wait it's look even game i'm just saying Okay, that was weird. I think that was a delay moment. Certified ultimate moment. Okay. Salute our 150 sub train, by the way. You guys are crazy. Gonna be an easy stock for riddles there. Chunky though has that hope on the way his tag says. Wait. Nair into... Okay, I think he saved him. No, he killed him. He knows his angles. Last stock, even percents. 
Thank you for that amazing, amazing food boat, as usual. Uh, uh. Now I just gotta find out. Damn, Riddle's not gonna drop those. He's not gonna drop those, though. Kazuya this is Mishima very true. Wins. Kazuya wins. It was a valiant effort, I agree. Back. Three, Running it back to small battlefield. Again, I respect go. it. I think it is the right call. Pretty even game one. So uh, I'm guaranteed, what, 49th? Yo, I'm kind of popping off today. Oh! Okay, that was. It was a hit, but it wasn't the sweet spot. And that's going to be a kill, though. Oh, he went for the fancy fin- I thought he could just gonna kind of easy like it there. Up throw fair for the uh, percentage. Throws him down. 69%. Holding steady. Huge grab there. And I cost him the game. Gets out of it. Down B again. Only first hit. Again, down B. Can't find the connection. Oh. Moy. Cool. Oh! Jeez. Might be a three stock. Oh! He went for the suicide one. Didn't work. Side B. It's looking all but Jover Ryan. Gifting five more for the fans. As he does. Thank you, Ryan, for five more again. Chunky finally finding a kill, but look how long it took. He, he, Chunky has won this before. It, 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 it just gotta play perfect. Unless Riddles is perfect first. Good try. Good try. Kazuya Mishima. And I'll say it one more time, guys. Press one for my run. And there it is. Because I am fighting Beast Mode, Paul. Here we go. For the first time in a long time, I'm in winner's side. And there it is. Which saves me so much time. Now, Beast Mode, Paul is not going to go hero, by the way. And there it is. He is not going to go hero. Because he hates that matchup. Beast Mode Paul goes Sephiroth against me. So when you place your bets, take that into consideration. Contender for best player in Florida right now. It says Cloud there. I'm not sure how I could... Wait, is it going Cloud? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what we got. Uh, Skiff, Lu Luis is after this match. He has to wait one more. There's four Sonics and winners. I don't want, please don't tell me that's true. Is there actually... Oh my god. I, I don't want to look at it. No, I don't know. I'm not looking at that. I'm not looking at that. I'm going to go small battlefield versus Sephiroth. It might seem crazy, but I'm doing it to kill him earlier.
to gamble. Yo, chat. You want base mates to hop on for comms? My son? You want base mates to... Chunky Kong rating me with 54. Thank you, Chunky. Also, uh, if you want to hop into the room, uh, base mates, go for it. We'll have you cast the match while I play. Are you in the room right now? Or just hop into the um, caster voice channel. Hello, hello. Test one, two. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, we used to have the widget work, but um, maybe it's not working right now. Where was it? Anyways, the, 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 the room's open when, as soon as you want to go in. Oh, wait. Wrong. Hbox stream call. All right, that makes more sense. I knew that. Totally knew that. All right, there we go. Right when you are. <sighs> One for the run. of three. Three, two, one, go! This matchup sucks unless I hit some cheese. So I'm gonna go for cheese. Right. Base, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, go for it, buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. I just get in, it's just an instant kill at 40. You saw the problem for people that don't know, does not enjoy Hero Puff. He's not a solo main hero, people don't really like, think about. He goes Sephiroth for certain matchups, and Sephiroth has taken wins off of a lot of really good players. This is, this is not just some like fake like secondary. It's, it's a weird matchup because of how just light Sephiroth is. So like a lot of these rest combos that Hbox loves doing are going to work and it's been the fear factor of Puff is way crazier. You can see just like holding shield, waiting for back airs, forcing stuff up in the corner. Hbox is doing a great job at that. Ooh, I thought that rolling was gonna be something, but that's that's a good thing for the for the future. Yes! Three socks to one. Hbox still lives it. That's all that matters is, is living. So far, there's a weird time. Like killing Puff, only getting hit by the sour hits. That's what you want. Don't you never get hit by a strong hit. You like it. That's the five two stocks to one. And you have to remember in coin box, it's top eight. It's top eight best of five. This is best of three. You just gotta get one. You just gotta get a, like a rest kill here in Europe. One zero. -oh. It's just like that. It's way scary in best of three. Hbox doing a great job just going up, just going about the platforms. Except right there, Beastman's calling them out with four. It's not really the best Hbox right now. Gets an air grab, another buffered air dodge. The buffered air dodge. Destroyed. Holy fuck! Holy fucking shit! Okay, we're up on Beastman Paul. Okay, okay. What the fuck is going on? Uh, okay. What the fuck? Maybe, maybe today's the run. Uh, it might today might be the run. Might, might be, might be, might be the run. <laughs> this is really yeah. fucking. Cr yeah, he's probably gonna go. Yeah. He might go hero, like, because he's buffered. He he won with he you like you like won so much neutral, but he buffered air dodge twice off stage. But uh. What do you think I banned? Stuff, bro. What do you think I banned? Uh, I'm trying to think. I remember when you guys played offline. He um he like um you went hollow bash and he would just backer you over and over. 
But, uh, so maybe I, I ban. Ma- I ban. It's really annoying because of the like forward air hits like the wall jump or whatever. You're right. It's like the forward air hits wall. So maybe Do you, like town and city. Um, like the horizontals are way strong, like shorter. So if you want to get backer kills, you just keep that open. Maybe Kalos Hollow or Kalos Battlefield. I I I I, I feel Kalos Hollow is the play. And then do Kalos Hollow. All right. Yeah. And then just see what stage he goes here, because it might—it could just be PS2, because I know all Florida loves PS2. Yo, K Dara Fox saying mid set coaching whack AF. How the fuck do you enforce mid set coaching ban across everyone? You're gonna go into everyone's household, see if they're on the phone, see if they're chatting on Discord. You dummy! Of course it's allowed. Why wouldn't it be? What are we gonna do? Am I Santa Claus, motherfucker? No. Let's go. Let's go, Ryan. All right. PS2. Yeah, it was, it's PS2. 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 Good bands. Chat, we can do this. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Wait, remember, um, edgeguard into the stage. Unless you can edgeguard. He's going hero. He's going hero. Okay, okay. okay. No, we can actually do this. We can actually do this. Yeah, <sighs> focus, Bro, you focus, can crouch focus. under the side B. Like, just the first one. Two, one, go! It's just hero with many of these. It's a scary force for Puff. As you, as you can see with 80 right there, Kabuna is really good against Puff as well because Puff is a jump character and usually the counterplay to hero. Like um, Kabuna is a shield. Oh, just a little. That's right. He waits at a crit. I'll, 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 I prefer him. He waits. I prefer it. Yeah. Accelerate. Accelerate does make your way fast forward, so Drolls is actually easier. It's a funny, it's a funny factor. You can get way more combos in those situations. And then Heroes, it's, it's pretty easy to follow this jump weirdly enough with Buff. I don't know why, maybe it's just a me thing. Good wave. Getting center stage, another one of these things. Gary up smash. I always get scared when I see a smash attack with you. Did you just get a crit? Drolls happens! I don't know how that one hit, but you take it. How does HR approach the situation? Gets the pound. Fox wait, basically. What's gonna happen? Tries to get a jump call, but Hero's up here to shield really, really strong. Another accelerate, but oh, tries to call it. HBox just like doing nothing, getting hit by the whack. Tries to get black at 50 seconds. Let's see, up to one just like that. Just watching this in anticipation. There could just be one huge set of, that's what this matchup's about. It's one hit death sort of matchup for a hero. Like hero's goal is that if he gets hit once, what's gonna happen? Goes for up tilt scene, maybe a little bit closer. Or should've gone to the platform a bit more. That's a unfortunate, but I, I really respect the attempt. Great shield. Oh, it goes again. Yeah. Get the game out of the way. Yeah. It's alright. PS2 is not a real stage. Everyone knows yep, that. I agree. You have free counter pick. You have the band, the classic bands. Okay. He's gonna stay hero. Yeah, definitely staying hero, not trying to. I think we we'll go hollow here though, because we're staying hero. I mean, yeah. If, if yeah, if you like hollow on this, it's fine. It's scary because of the. It's he, it's really easy for him to circle camp on that stage. What do you What do you think? I was thinking if you want if you want to do it. I mean, if it's game three and you're and you're gonna if you're being really clutch, you could go like the smallest stage, small battlefield, and just go all in. Or you could do just hollow and just like play like a normal game plan. Uh, so he can't camp really on small battlefield. I I might just go it's, there. It's more annoying, like he can, but like compared to Hollow. I am going small. I think against yeah. top player, we gotta risk it. Yeah, I know the other thing is that uh, you don't like um, crouch instead of jump in the, in at low percent because you got hit by those side bees like four times. Right. A very weak shield is like that. That's the reason you lost that first stock so fast. All right, here we go. All right. This is for top uh, top twenty four. If I win this. Yep. Oh boy. Three, two, one, go! Right, 
game three is a VHBox's box's biggest coin box win in a while, so we're gonna see an, an instant grab at 10. This is the worst situation. You can see Beast Ball really going high, not trying to deal with that low recovery at all. Another grab. This is what I was talking about with the small battlefield. You go, it's so scary. One, so, like, Puff's Nair controls almost the entire stage on a stage like this. Uses all MP basically, it's 45 MP in like 30 seconds. You can see the small battlefield might be paying off. Doesn't get the neutral and gets hit by the back here. This is where Hero can shine. You're like holding in, you're trying to find a way in. He just has so many options. Oh, the food stores come out. What Oh, that was, that was definitely killed. All right, get Psych up. Psych up up tilt doesn't kill for like another 20%, but it's still a very scary force. You yeah. would jump a bad DI, maybe it kills. I don't know. Okay, Porter takes it. Okay, that's a great nair because you have a ledge trap and strong hit of bear kills. That's the dash attack. That's the two more stops. The small battlefield paying off. Diesel Ball is so nervous. You can see he's running away, but small battlefield's not allowing it. As HBox on here, he's jumping a little bit. Trying to wait for options. Only gets accelerate, doesn't go for any weapon. The play safe. Jumps above accelerate. Not all the characters can do that except Jigglypuff. Up tilt, but doesn't kill. Ooh, the, 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 the defense is so strong. Oh, he gets a forward air, like just beats out Hero's sword. Okay, gets hit by back air. But still a great spot. So it's, it's a deep in game. Pound there. As Yusuf Hall try and land. Back air. Beasel Ball goes jump. What's gonna happen? Forward air. Goes for save. What happens? Up smash doesn't crit. Both players know the win con of the situation. Hbox needs to get something crazy, Beast Ball needs to stay composed. Oh, does it- doesn't hit a grab? The up tilt doesn't hit? I don't know, this is- this is a crazy- this is a crazy set, I'll say. Four tilt doesn't kill. A really scary spot for Hbox. Let's see. Hbox is- He jumped just right above the fireball! It's only 8. Okay, it's 30 MP, but like, it's still very scary. You you get psych up, you have up tilt, but because of low MP, you know how he wants to kill you. Sizzle does damage, but it's not killing. Do we put strong hit back or just kills anywhere on the stage? Holy fuck! Two stocks to one. We're, we're going, it's mostly going to be a game three last stock. Does get hit by Kaboom. All Hbox needs is extra credit. The extra credit 24% gets up there, but you're at like a pound sing. A good, this is a good situation still. Doesn't no! Get no! Goes for Kaboom, 47 damage with the, only 4 MP. This is not a bad situation at all still. If you're a public touch of death character, anything is possible. Goes for accelerate again. Does get to find nerf care, but not gonna kill. Shields bang. The four hits. Shields block. A lot of just hero many things could kill. Psycho kills in. The four air, but Psycho's out. Does get by bang. The up tilt hit, but it, I feel like it was a soft hit. Just looking for menu right now. I was that shouldn't have hit me. Yeah, I don't. I was I behind him. I did not know what happened. What the? F What could have had Jolipo's shield is very, very terrible. A lot of people don't know this. It's one of her other weak it's, it's like a weakness of hers. You have to always make sure your like shield is like tilted in like set waves. That's why I always tilt my shield. But it's very annoying to consistently do. Can and someone it, it doesn't even matter. Can someone clip that last thing? What, what what the fuck just happened? What actually happened? <sighs> Okay.
Alright, we got Louis Money versus Vendetta. That's gonna be an, that's gonna be an insane set to watch. Yeah. Damn, dude. I'm yeah. I'm angry about that one. I I, I would I'd be angry too. I I understand. I fucking have that. Like really. Uh, I'm gonna see this clip really quick. Yeah. Uh, maybe freeze, like, just pause it on the frame or whatever. Yeah. Are you kidding me, dude? Uh, Are you actually kidding me? Looks like the last frame. Damn it, base. Yeah. Just when I had given up hope on Puff, I have like the best, best match. Run. Yeah, I've seen you've been so sad about Puff uh, lately. When me and Setup, we've been on our most high about Puff ever. Bro. <laughs> it's been a big, it's just a funny coincidence. Uh, the Buzz, Sonic's on stream. Yeah, we can have that on stream. Uh, Sonic's and the Buzz want to play off stream. Yeah, so, it's fine. Uh, they have like a stream at least, so you can like just go and watch that. Yeah. That's other matches too. Holy shit, guys! Do you know who I'm fighting next? Ooh. Addy. Oh, is that the DDD? I have to fight. My bracket is Addy the DDD into Jazar, Le the best oh. online DDD into the best online Dr. Oh, Mario. That, that's a crazy force. Holy <laughs> fuck! They're oh. also static teammates. I I, I remember. I, they were a team in Smash Factor. It was literally a low tier gauntlet. Yeah, skip that can play off stream. Jazar is the best doc, yeah. Yeah, I would say Jazar has to be best doc world. He's he's just too good. Yeah. For this matchup, it's like this matchup can be very frustrating for Palu because like even though Palu is so much like has can win so much neutral and it's hard for like Ken to commit because of like Palu's hurt box and that she's a bit tall, everything's just going to hit her over and over and things can shield poke in like weird ways and Palu isn't really an edge guarder too much. So Ken's just gonna make it back easier than most. Like you can see Luis has to work really hard to get a kill or like get an edge guard. Like 150, that is actually it's gonna be the average kill percent. Gets the force of like really good DI. You, you want to do that DI in a super weird way for some reason. Oh, isn't the up B? Isn't gonna try to ledge truck? No, just waits for an option. The up B doesn't hit, and I mean, at least it's like 8%. Yeah. It's pretty okay. Pretty okay percent. Warrior again. Tries to roll read and doesn't get anything off it. I, it's like when, you, when you're fighting. You, know, you saw that clip that I posted about Osimo or that, that perfect oh, clip. Yeah, yeah, I did. That like, guy is so good. Like you can tell exactly how these characters were meant to be played with, with yeah. just the hard reads and just like yeah. it's it's cool that it, it kind of holds the uh, tradition of like what a traditional fighter is like and yeah. Ken gets like a. He has so many kill confirms. Yeah, yeah, break. It's just like ridiculously explosive, like Ryu, in a way. Except like Ken, sometimes his moves just don't work, and he's just a little bit less consistent. But I mean, that's how they designed him. Right. That's like his purpose in a way. Oh, Jazar's down a game. I'm seeing from chat. 
Instead of playing against Dr. Mario, you might play against Cable. <laughs> yep. Uh, which I guess I wouldn't really mind. Yeah, I think that's fine. Both are scary forces. Both are scary forces on Wi-Fi, but I mean it's still okay. Sure, it could be much, much worse. I Hoshino is Chase. Wait, wh why does he keep chaining tags? I have, I have no idea. I think he just doesn't want people to know what his tag is. That's it's dumb like, though. He, no he, he gets a shitty seat every single time. Yeah, yeah, I think he knows that too. <laughs> He's like content with it or whatever, I don't know. This is a close game one. Goes high for the recovery. Yeah, this matchup is entirely like, um, you, you think this matchup is one way based off of how much percent the Ken main does. Right. Like how hard does the Ken hit in this matchup? That's like the biggest thing. Ooh. Not hard enough. Wait, he lives low key, high key. Okay. And now, oh! Now it's, now it's like Kill percent. Out, and now it's an even game. Even Stevens. Yeah. One heavy up tilt, like just up here, just one, like, one like just up e combo, one up air up e. So yeah. many things can just kill, and it's really nerve wracking for Palu. Could be all you need. You can see he's just waiting for him to fish or something, and he lost his resource, so has to air dodge and go to the ledge. Oh, just, that was the bravest teleport you could have done. All turn around doesn't like cover that spot, and that's gonna do it. And then it takes game one. Wow, the comeback. Yeah. Challenge me after some practice. The comeback. Like Ken's weaknesses aren't really that of shown in this sort of matchup. Yeah. It's like it gives him a fighting chance. It's probably still like losing, but like it's not bad. I wonder. I always feel like Lou Money has so many other characters. Like he has like six characters. Uh, he's like one of the best players in the world with random. So like, he could just go upset like if like three other characters and probably do equally as good. The best randoms player in the world, right? He he, he is. It, it, to me, it's him and Sen. Those two are like ridiculously good at randoms. I'm I'm trying to make my way up there, but they are they're so much better than me. Yep. Uh, coming up. We're gonna have Spargo Syrup and then my losers run and then quarters. Got it. Yeah, for them, it's to the point where, like, if they ask, you just dodge them for a lot of people because they know they're just gonna instantly lose money. You're right. If exactly. you put into either of them at randoms, it's for a lot of people, it's like that. Game two. Going town is an interesting pick. I mean, like, the back throw is going to kill, and Luis missed, like, got had two back throws that would have killed on town and city and not PS2. So it's a, I, I, get the, I get the stage pick, and your forwarders and backers are going to kill. But this is a really insane Ooh. stage for Ken. Oh! Because okay. he has so much room. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Whoops. Uh, Y'all oh, missed yeah. well, a bunch of nothing. Yes, there was there was a kill in the first 30 seconds. This is a bit of a <laughs> different game so far. <laughs> you missed uh, yeah, both of them off stage. The Vendetta oh, went for the upbeat spike, didn't work, and he just died. Oh, but he got that. Okay, yeah, good. It, you can just get a kill instantly like that. It doesn't matter what vertical your the blast zone is. You're still gonna die at like 80, 90. Fair, but then it does jump and okay, but it does make it back to center stage. Back throw, 50 50 edge guard. <gasps> oh, what a spike, what a gimp. It can like um, force you to get either jump air dodge and you die. What is going on? Okay, 8%, two stocks. Game three, city looks like. Yeah, this is gonna be. Simple game three, unless Vendetta lives to like 150 again, which is always possible. But I don't think Luis is gonna allow that. Well, the Town City platform also helps that out with a crazy town extension, but it doesn't happen. Dash attack doesn't hit. Oh, that was just to be a grab, but I mean, it doesn't matter too much. You would see Vendetta's Ooh. only Ooh. right now, and it almost works. Almost gets that forward error. Like, this is that moment where you're like, Vendetta's just thinking, God, I want to hit, I just need to hit Palu, I just need to hit Palu, I just need to hit Palu. 
And Luis is not gonna allow that. He does not give free hits. Unless, I guess, there. He just a grab and that a team fall out. If you don't fall out there, you just explode. And zero. And he, to me, it's an even game. I think this is even. Might be. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what it, that's what I always feel like when I see this. When I see Ken in any situation. Like when the stops are similar. Oh, the he gets one in there, but doesn't get like the focus cancel. Oh, doesn't get hit by any of these back airs. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah I was saying Luis is looking for that. He's fishing for an air up to, and you can see the oh. up happening right there. That kills even Ken there. Alright, going to yeah. game three. Bad for you. I think bands are gonna be like. I don't know what the bands would be. They're probably gonna be just small stages. Probably. I I just remembered for like Genesis. I just remember I get to see Guildhouse again. Yeah, dude. Oh, you're going. You're, no. you're, you're confirmed Genesis. Yeah, I'm all good. I, I got my flight in hotel a while ago, but I just wanted to save up some money to get the registration. Right. But yeah, I'm all good. For doubles, I'm teaming with T. It's going to be fun. That's a banger. One to yeah. one. Louis Money bans. Small Battlefield and FD. And Vendetta will probably look for the small ceiling. Yeah. PS2. Jazar lost? Jazar is I out? Guess, I guess so, there's no, no no Dr. Mario. Bro, my bracket no is DDD into K rule in, oh, for so losers top four. I'm just that saying. Guy gets, that guy's um, his Umabura bracket in pools was inkling Ganondorf Ganondorf. <laughs> yeah, that's actually one of the top yeah, it's, he gets insane character bracket draws. It's really funny. One of his worst runs yet. Jazar, dude, me and Jazar were like fated to never ever play. Mm -hmm. You guys never played ever? I'm shocked. I feel like I swear you guys have played like once or something. That is uh, cursed. So I feel like you're in the same Wi Fi brackets every single day. Yeah, I, I, I feel like we, we did it a while ago, but it was just like. It was like so long ago? Yeah, pretty much. Makes sense. Voids out too. Ooh. Classic, classic toy box. Yep. Usually how that's how it is every time. That's how it plays out. <laughs> I'll be again. Smash. Ooh, the buffered up smash Luis's. He always just goes for like really hard reads with smash dash. That's like his thing to me. He'll just like read you three seconds in the future. With the smash dunk, and you're like, wow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> that's always how, that's how Luis likes to play. He wants you to feel nice like you're an idiot. Nice tech. It's text, side B, no one has ever done that before. Yeah, that's actually like, an incredible team. awareness to know that. And look at that yeah. now. At credits, macking on 50%, 128, yeah. almost full rage. Full this rage might be a, oh, great kill percent low that. key. That SDI was ridiculous. <laughs> Hellback King. Kill. Yeah. And the explosive flame doesn't hit. You get the dash attack, that doesn't even kill. And now you have a full rage Ken. <gasps> oh, that's an okay. amazing Nary crackdown. The lucky 69 Hellbat King chips tune, thank you. And no rage. Down, the so oh, shield break, baby! Oh my god. Oh! It's like, no, but it's a forward till, and that's like 35 damage just from uh... the crazy cancels. 13% just like trying to get some auto reticle percent and gets in there, but nothing really Yo. happened. He did that in there and he just died for it, to be honest. He set tried to get point. something that wasn't going to happen. This is a set point for Vendetta over Lou Money again. This is for top 12? Uh, this is for top. Wait. No, I think this is top 48 winners because it's 1221. Oh, yeah. So glad I, I see that I'm so glad there's the seating part of that, so it makes yeah, it yeah. way easier to know things. That's true.
I, I saw your message. I, I just put my mic way closer to me. Oh, no, that, that, was, that was my bad cool. base, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the one thing I wish this scoreboard has that the original coin box one does, the original one, like the original mm -hmm. one says like the exact round, and it says which is like which qualifier, top twelve qualifier. I mm -hmm. love that about it. I, I wish that was the one yeah, thing. Same. If 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 the creator of the scoreboard is watching, that would be great because mm -hmm. winners round one, top ninety six, um, it like doesn't always translate. Okay, oh, last stock. That was the stock. He didn't have a jump. That would have been a backer. That could have just been a potential, just easy thing. But still has an advantage. Oh, it's 113. My. It goes all the way up. Louis Money with the clutch, dude. Did not lose neutral for a, like a minute. Did not want to lose that. Did not want to go into losers. For if you go into losers at coin box, you instantly lose unless you're three players. Chat, press one. Like Chat, press one if you want to watch Spargo versus Syrup. And there's no Steve. Ooh. So Syrup has to go I, Ness, I'm pretty sure. Has to go as Ness. And don't see his Ness is a, it's, it's real. It's nasty. He's got he's to earn it's the win. It's a crazy Ness. Let's I remember it. the Smash World Tour qualifiers. He got like second. Yeah, he did. And then he's gotten really. I remember he got top eight with Ness only at like Gommel, at a Gommel. Like he's definitely a Steve main now, but he's actually definitely one of the least carried Steves. I feel. Yeah. Like. He clearly has fun dudes. Definitely agree. Yeah. I remember playing him on on like Matchbox, and it was like, oh, okay, he's just doing all the correct things. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> this is it's pretty, creepy. Pretty much how it went down. Yeah. Other other updates for bracket. Uh, we have Armadillo waiting for winner of Ripco REM. J J J Send happening when it plays Ooh. Chag. Um, Chunky Kong is still in it fighting Abe. How Ooh, the Abe, uh, Abe's a so is a Game of Watch main from SoCal, but I mean Chunky Kong just two of Meister on Matchbox, so he's yeah. probably prepared for this matchup. Chunky is just the premier DK right now. Uh, Zap Moxort who beat Void in upset, and then. <laughs> J O oh, Goat versus Bro, I have the winner DD of... into K rule into Chase. <laughs> That's my bracket. <laughs> into Jackal or Zap. Oh my god. I hope it's Zap. I can beat Zap. Jackal, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. oh. Alright. Let's get it. Spargo time. It's gonna be I'm I am curious at this one. I'm also curious, is there gentlemaning allowed or not? You could like, yeah, I mean... Steve or whatever. I don't think Spargo I think Syrup just goes nuts. I was just thinking. Of like I, any possibility. Yeah, I think rule of thumb is that they don't. Uh, a lot of thanks to yeah. the They just want to stick more to the rules as they can. Corin versus Ness. Interesting matchup. Yep. Three, two, one, okay. go. There we go. I know Sparrow's been playing Corin a lot on Matchbox and just a lot just in general. Right. Like he is trying to make sure this character is very prepared for bracket. And this matchup is very annoying for Ness too, even those advantage states very strong. Just because long range, really easy ledge trapping. Ness is a weirdly easy character to combo once you get him out of that 10% window. But that, none of that is mattering to Syrup. He's played still Ness for so long. He is going to be ready for these sort of matchups. Yeah. He's content to... And there are some similarities like neutral wise between Ness and Steve, yeah. I feel. Like, yeah. Specifically just... their jump. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, their jump is very... It's not like... It's similar enough to where like... um. It's just like you can play it some way. And Steve Korn is not a bad matchup for Korn at all. So it's like, it's not like he's just playing a plus eight matchup into Korn now. Yeah. And just with that first stock. I think the similarities I feel is like they, they each have their own little houses, right? Whereas Steve yeah. builds an actual house. That's his house, yeah. like his crazy like hitboxes. Yeah. Like, fair and there. Just like you can't get too close to him. Yeah. Oh, that forwarder <laughs> gets low profile. That's so tragic. Yes, yeah, Syrup trying to. He's hoping Spargo swings and Spargo just hit him with the dragon shot. Oh, forward air. The, I thought that was going to be a nair down air, but Syrup gets footstooled at 1%. That's that's Ness life sometimes. That is really sad. It's not possible. I mean, like, Syrup's advantage state is very explosive. Gets a. And up air just like four two. I didn't even know that combo worked. It doesn't get the down smash on the neutral get up. I don't know why that why that did not hit. Okay. Regardless, this is still still possible. Even with that SD at zero, the PK Thunder doesn't hit, but 113 is very good. 
and the get up attack while Sparkle escapes that oh so well. God. And still doesn't spike. Super, Super could potentially win this with an, like a, I won't say an SD, but a kill at zero. Oh, punishes with pin, 90%. Oh! And just as an instant pin, Spargo so good at catching hesitation. Because Syrup was thinking how to land, and Spargo was like, I'm not even going to let you think. No time to think. Yep. We got fish that, to that's how That's how it feels like as someone who's like played him before. If you even think about landing, you just, you're gone. Yeah, that's what it feels like to chew five gum. Well, Spargo goes up. Let's see what bands he chooses. For the sake... Let's see. <laughs> I don't like the usual stages that you ban against us are like Battlefield. Oh, I like it's Smash FD. There it is. Spargo is like, uh, those are like, I always considered that like the cheese counter picks. Yeah. Because those are the, those are the stages where you get cheese the most on, on like a stage list like this. Back to PS2. I feel like Tri State and Florida, they don't do stage counter picks, they just do PS2. I remember seeing your See, your post about yeah, how there are like four PS2s. Is, really quick, this is two scoreboards to compare. Right now up there it says winners top twenty four. That's what I would love this score to say. Yeah. That's the one thing. See what I mean? Yeah. It says yeah, top twenty four, but over and it doesn't say it. That's what I want. Like that would be way better. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Agree. Yeah. So if we get that, it's, it does, it's perfect. Everything else is perfect. And maybe the flags are cool, but I think the, the state names are better because a lot of people don't have no idea what their state flag looks like. So we can make that note down, that'll be really awesome. There, oh, that doesn't send in a drag down, but that might. Oh, Sierra so doesn't get a. Tries to get a roll in call or a tech in. This is a scary spot. I like how Sierra just u is using PK Thunder against Corrin. Just, it just hits the up B and it's just is an annoying spot for Corrin. And you're taking like 12%. Up smash. Oh, just gets the up smash call out. Gets the kill. So. This is the same situation as last game, except we'll see if there's not a footstool kill at 0%. Oh, that's downer, that's downer, that's down! Oh, and the up doesn't even connect, that's tragic. The upper takes it, two stocks to two. Fourth throw. Sparrow does jump and puts himself in a really bad spot, but it doesn't matter too much. It's still like 45%. It's just like if you're Sparrow, you don't want to jump like that again. Just because of how good Syrup's advantage state is. But if you're on the ground, then you get hit by PK Fire. It's just... It's tough against someone like Syrup that's like using like... That's just covering all options of like approach. Which is crazy against a character like Corrin. Until Sparrow does a 70% advantage state. Gets the up tilt. I, I always forget that Korn's up tilt existed, and this is just a zero death advantage state potentially. It is a zero to death advantage state. Two sucks to one <laughs> instantly. Fair, fair. Up air. I thought it was going to be potentially an up B. I know Nail loves doing those up B's in that spot. Nair, no jump. Goes for just a greedy forward smash. Oh man, to oh, use that. shot to beat the PK Thunder. That's so smart. Not as the, that's the first time that's ever been done. There's no way anyone's even thought about that. It's a fair, air dodges out. Tries to get a grab call, it's a perfect time to. Don't blame him. The dragon shot would have broken shields, so good job by Syrup just getting out of there. Ooh. No grab. You can see, like, that is... Well, like, I always th say the weakness of Ness is that, like, you always know what he wants. Like, you know he wants a back throw kill, you know he wants like an up smash or like a fair. But that upper still kills and it's 0 0.99. But like the best win con here is like either a PK fire like down air kill or a PK thunder kill. And we'll see if Syrup wants to go for one of those until the tipper hits, but it doesn't kill. Yeah. That'll do it. That was so good. That will do right, it. I'm guessing your set's next. The H box loses run. <laughs> yeah, it fight starts Addy. now. We gotta find the big body. The, the DDDK rule bracket. I'm, I'm not the exactly sen the center of bracket about draw. This. Oh, no, this is still scary. If I can, if I can beat Addy, it's like the one of the biggest dubs I've ever done, in my opinion. Because this matchup is mm -hmm. hellish. I hate DDD mm -hmm. when it comes. Can to we? I, I can help out real fast. I'm yeah. really comfortable against DDD. Except Wi-Fi, it's a different. It's a different story. 
But uh, the same edge guard rules apply, luckily. I know I pa pound works to beat him two frame. Yeah, I love B, and I think Nair to beat the Gordos is good too. It's just, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I struggle, I, I struggle to kill him. Yeah. The the thing I notice is that uh, because DDD can't jump out of combos and he's like fast faller weight, you can just keep hitting him off stage regardless of if he air dodges. So if he air dodges and he's low, then he just dies. Yeah. He's forced to usually air dodge on like aerials of puff. Say that again. He's forced to air dodge on aerials. Like if if you're edge guarding DDD, he has to air dodge. He can't jump out of your combos. Yeah, yeah. Especially because he has some frame four air dodge. That's true. So like all your combos are gonna are work way better on DDD. Bro, I am running on right. fumes right now. I gotta order my jelly bean fucking Taco Bell. Jelly bean Taco Bell? Yeah, it's essentially we, had we once again had a, had a war run off tie, so now I have to eat jelly beans and Taco Bell for dinner. I was like, I thought it was gonna be like a hybrid. That sounds like a hybrid sort of hybrid, thing. And I'm yeah. like, that's 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 like psychotic. Yeah, that's you just what chat you wanted. Those two take combined. That's what this great that's chat wanted. <laughs> I and see. I love this this chat. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna try to cheese this man. Be careful about that, just because you have to remember DDD also wants to cheese you. It's a cheese. It's a cheese battle. What do you, What do you think about stage bands? Uh, hmm. I really dislike town and city against DDD, especially on Wi-Fi, because there's so he has so much room to like jump in camp. Yeah, it's really frustrating. And what then else? I'm trying to think. PS2. Smash is always good for Puff, so I mean it's always fine. It's just DDD's. So like huge, but if your combo game's on point, then it's fine. He probably goes battlefield if you ban PS2. Yeah, I'm down for that. If you ban town PS2, you get Smashville. Yeah, or you I'm down for or it's battlefield. Those. And that's Center's Center's favorite stage is Battlefield. See, it's, it's the same way that I love Smashville. I like it. I think I think it's dope. No, it's a it's a it's a really good stage for Center's strengths because he loves dare up tilt combos. And Battlefield's so good for that. And you live forever. Let's see where we go. Where is this beautiful background gonna transform into? Yep. Addy probably thought it was just gonna be a PS2 instantly. <laughs> He's probably just thinking. Yep, it, it was Battlefield. Yes. Everyone, press one for the run. Yes, we must hit those dare loops. Ready? Yep. Unforgivingly. Here we go! This is for top... Okay. I'm not sure what it's for because I don't... Again, the scoreboard doesn't say it. I I'm think this is for top 32. Top 32, right? Yeah, it's for it. So, we yeah. Winner gets to... We'll get to 25th. Oh, pounds, but goes to the... Okay, wait. Pound fair. So Addy has to air dodge or like you have to go high and it's scary because like if HBox does one call like that, DDD just dies. That's why this matchup is very frustrating for DDD, but it is frustrating for both sides because if you don't get like a rest kill early, DDD is living to like 180 realistically sometimes and Jigglypuff is the light character. So you could just be dying at 70 because of full rage. Especially with a Gordo hit like that where you take 30. It can, it can be annoying. Four there, two jumps left. Tries to get the Gordo call out. Goes for pound. How does Addy go? Okay, tries and um, like um, recovers the four there. Very interesting. Tries to get an upper call out. Right now both are at kill percent. This makes the matchup scary. If you don't get that edge guard or don't get that rest. It's a it's like 170 each stock. God damn. And Gordo is it killed? That was. Scary spot. It also kind of goes both ways. If, if DD doesn't get like an up tilt or like a potential Gordo, he's also not really dying. Bro! Pound. Oh, it gets the upper. Shit. Okay. 119. This is this is the average percent that you're gonna be seeing if there's if there's not like a huge like instant kill. And there it is. Great wave went down. Goes for the rest. Doesn't kill, but that's that's like eight at ninety percent. You're at least halfway there, depending on the stock, depending on how this goes. 
Yeah, 113, that's still very good extra credit. Do that. How much damage is this gonna be? 43 instantly. And Gordo just like that and goes for Jet Hammer? Only at 100%, the Jet Hammer percent doesn't happen. Like, because uh, usually you take percent with Jet Hammer, but that doesn't happen anymore. You're at 2 out of percent. The forward air again. Rolls into Gordo. Now it's an even game again, even with that extra credit. Another hit of Gordo. Goes for roll, hits the Gordo back, gets center stage. Forward air. Oh, gets hit by the Gordo again. The way you have to, you have to like wait right after the Gordo hit happens, but it's much harder on delay. You can see like, um, <laughs> it's, much, it's just much harder is all I can say. Goes for the roll and call out, doesn't get the punish. And he doesn't get the nair back air, dash attack. I thought maybe back air, but dash attack's still good. Fuck this fucking fat ass fucking the upper. Goes for the grab. Ooh, gets a weird trade that's 54%, but I mean, Puff gets combos just like that, but 71% is a is also a lot of extra credit, just like the 113. Goes for the dare loop, gets three, four? Oh no, it really went the other way, that could have been the stock. 78. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a potential grab there. 78, rest does kill anywhere. Even though DD's heavy, rest is still killing. Up air. Goes for the grab, fourth throw. Has to go high. Goes to the top platform, very smart, 86%. Up tilt's gonna start killing soon, maybe even just already. Backer kills 103 to 121. Strong hit backer would kill on the ledge, but that's it. I won't say center stage yet. Doesn't go for the inhale cheese. Great roll and call with four tilt. Oh, rolls in the four tilt still hits. I'm shocked at that. Wordo doesn't hit though. Is Addy gonna go off stage? No, goes for the forward air potential. Just like, you maybe get something. Tries to hit Gordo away. Oh, that was such a good Phantom Footstool. Goes to the platform to try and get center stage back. Zayshox gonna get by Gordo here. Doesn't get it by Gordo. Any one of these Gordos will take it. I think you have to, I think you should go for like down smash two frame at like a hundred and yeah. just like take the chance. I should. What's the fucking Gordos, dude? My fingers got so sweaty. It's very annoying. Where should we go? Mm. Smashville's open, so it's like the, the earliest one. Like you get kills the easiest, but DD also gets kills the easiest. You have FD, which are Kazuya on that stage. And then I guess like Addy's banning Battlefield, so I guess if you you can't go there, it's a hard one for sure because like Addy was using those platforms so well, so you can stop that altogether by just having FD. Because like I would see Phantom Footstool is just to get to the platform. Like he's not trying to scrap at all; he's trying to get on a platform. Where would but you it's go? Scary because Where would you go here? Uh, I always have, so when I see Smashville open, I go Smashville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, I agree. <sighs> just have to be careful about DD being able to kill so early. You can't, if you mess up a rest here, you could just die at zero. Especially if it's full rage. All right, this could be the run ending here, but I, I had yep. that first game, I really did. I, I agree. This is basically the best DD in North America in terms of online performance. Yeah. So, still a big win online. Ready? I'll say if you don't think you can edgeguard DD offstage, just hit the Gordo back at least. So that way it's easier to edgeguard the up B. Go. 
He's gonna punish on the inhale, but still get center stage. As like I said with the beast mode pulse set, with like small battlefield and like smash those stages, Puff's aerials just take over the stage. It's very annoying for most opponents. Like you can see, it's having a tough time just getting in. It's the jab. Like jab doesn't get anything off it. No Gordo hit. That Gordo situation can do 30% because all the hits will hit. The DDD hammer and then the two hits of Gordo. It's, a, it's an annoying situation. Also on Smashville, Ress is going to actually kill on, like, on Battlefield because it's so tall. Great rolling call out, 86%. Down till two. Gets the Gordo snipe, the Nair doesn't fully hit back. The double Nair goes for rest and maybe? No, doesn't get it. Forgets that when you hit Puff, when Puff hits the shield, it still has the same animation as if you hit the rest. Lucky draw, there's still a chance. The back air doesn't kill, but good spot. Oh, goes for the hold down and punishes that with rest. I've, 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 I gotta steal that. It's in there. I'm expecting Addy, like I said, Addy's so nervous using that platform on another level does not want to play the ground game. The up smash called on the air dodge. Great spot for Addy. Backer is going to kill on the ledge, but not anywhere else. It's going to happen. Forwarder hits. Expecting a Gordo snipe. It goes for the inhale Gordo snipe. The roll in gets caught with Gordo. Addy gets the roll read, but like no actual like call out. And the backer still hits regardless. The very hard situation to come back from. The best situation, you have to just get like a really crazy edge guard because in this situation, you've like, Aatrox just wants so much neutral that like, being in a stock down is very annoying. Goes for Sing, just goes for downer to play safe because you don't want to like, get hit by Sing like that on a reversal and just potentially lose the game for it. Goes for the hold down, just buffer his air dodge down, I know what he wanted, it's just, it can, it can be frustrating when you make, an, when you make so many errors. Goes for rest, but it's not even the star KO. Oh, shit. Goes for forwarder, doesn't want to go for up tilt just in case you miss, I guess. And forwarder's still gonna like be a good edge guard and up tilt takes he's, it. He's really good, but man, that's just so cringe. It's just such yeah. a cringe character online. I I agree. <laughs> he's, he's good though. I mean, what can you do? Yeah. All right, time for winner's quarters, and time for me to order my food. Good run. What did I get? Uh, thirty third. That's my best placing, like maybe ever. <laughs> It's it's been a while, yeah. But I mean, it's still good. You still made it there. I should have. You, you made it. You made it. You made it to winner's side. Yeah. I a DQ went over Leo. I should. I should have. I, I, I saw that. I should have beat. Uh, what's his name? Beast mode, Paul. Yeah. PB. I think I PB. Yeah. I was like, if when I saw that, if if I was like, if you won that, then you had to play uh, your bro, the Kazia. And I was like, that, that's a, that's definitely possible. Yeah. Cause you're talking about that I mean, you know, it's it's uh, what's it called? 33rd out of 606, that's top 5%, so yeah, we'll, we'll that's take still that. still very good. We'll take that. And the Wi-Fi Jigglypuff is very, very hard. I know Senra, like, has given up on Wi-Fi, basically. It's very funny. All right, Jackal beats Zap, I think. Um, all right, we're going to watch Shiny Mark versus Riddles, and then Spargo versus Beast Mode Paul. So Shiny Mark Riddles, let's go. <laughs> Put B if you're enjoying the base page commentary. Appreciate you hopping on, dude. Yeah, of course. I was like, I have no, I have nothing like better to do right now. I mean, I might as well. Right. I, I woke up a bit ago because like I've just been having bad sleep, so I, I wake up and I'm like, oh, why not? Yeah, I feel that. Uh, I'm gonna get some water if you wanna ch talk to chat. Oh, Fino, yeah, I, I got it. And there it is. <laughs> Goat box. Right, hello chat. How everyone's? How is everyone doing? I literally, I've been having like the worst sleep of my life, so I've been. It's been a weird streaming for me. It's like I'll, I'll wake up. I'll be three a.m. and it feels like it's five p.m. 
It's like that sort of sleep schedule right now. I think it's because of Japan, but it's also on me a little bit. You have a me and HBOX signed Puff Plush? It's pretty cool. I need to... I always, I always forget. I, I always like seeing like uh, when I, I'll you see the autographs and stuff like that, or and I'll see like HBOX is on it. And I was like, oh, it'll be me, me and HBOX on the same thing. It's pretty cool. Also, a new Smash being announced. My theory is still Ultimate Deluxe. Right, Ultimate Deluxe. We're gonna get Fortnite Jonesy. That's the first character. I'll, I'll, I'll call it out and I'll call it out forever. Reading Fortnite Jonesy instantly. My favorite color is purple. Can you tell us how this is? He's really, really good. I counted how many neutral wins I lost because of the menu. Very, very good. There's a very high chance I would have lost even like if I like could read the menu. He's very good. Japan, very great. There's this food place called Kokoichi Banya that's very, very good. Like, amazing. My friend Samuel was like, was just kept telling me how like it was overrated or how like it's not that good that you keep eating it every single day of your life. But I don't care. I love that place. I think it's because I don't get curry too much. Or I get I get curry, but there's no like curry places like, close to me because it's like one place. I don't know. I just or maybe it's just a different style of curry. How is it mid? It's incredible. Don't say that. That place is the greatest place I've ever had. I really like Matsuya too. I got a bit more food. Like I did actually eat at like a nice place, but I usually just ate at the convenience stores. I would get like the grilled rice. Like I forgot what it's called. Arizona cream must be pretty whack. It's not the worst. I mean, I'm 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 at like Middle Eastern, so it's like I've I've had curry before. I'm not gonna be like I've never had curry. Road rice times. It was it was really it was like 120 yen. Yeah, I, I I do do that way more. I just I don't know why I do that at this point. I said I said I I it's just how it is until I stop doing it and I do another weird thing. Would you rather fight Game Watch or Lucina? Lucina, that matchup is so fun. I'm doing good, Militia. I hope you're doing well. Ready? Next stream, we're getting into it instantly, okay. You're getting Kazuya Pikachu. I have no idea what this matchup is, I'm gonna be honest. I would just assume that Shiny Mark plays his regular game plan of timeout, 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 timeout until the end of time. One, we're gonna see go. if it goes like that. Oh, I guess there's gonna be a button check or the wrong stage. Wait, I guess nothing with Japan. I know zero Japanese. It's really bad. So I just like, <laughs> I would just hope there was an English menu and I would point at things. So that probably uh, made my experience not as great because you know, I didn't like, I would, I don't really want to go into it. Plays without like I just don't know anything, and I'm like, what if no one there even knows English? So it would just be like awkward. I would just point at things, or I would use like a translator app. But, yeah, I'm just guessing that was just wrong stage or probably not button check. I mean, they just. What's my background? Uh, I'm a bit uh, Arabic. I'm like a lot of things when I think about it. It's very funny. Like I remember I did like the ancestry thing or whatever. I forgot like the exact site. But like I have like 10 different like genetics or whatever. Like three main ones, but I have like a lot. What language can you speak? The one I'm speaking right now. I speak no other Englishes or no other languages. It's very embarrassing. I will one day do the Duolingo grind, but... Actually, I am doing that soon.
Well, I'm tired. I forgot. I always forget what words are. My English isn't even good, to be honest. I think about that a lot. Like, my English is low-key really bad. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know what I mean. Words are hard. But this matchup also could be pretty hard with the way Shiny Mark could play it. I'm like, already 40 seconds, 106. And this is, uh... This is, this is a very far, this is going to be infinite delay. Infinite delay <laughs> on this matchup. I feel like it's, you're just going to see a very baseline gameplay. Like you're going to see Shiny Mark play it like one way the entire game. And you're going to see Riddles look for a win combo. Doesn't get the up the, I don't, that was a jump scare. That was a scary jump scare. Just Shiny Mark, he like uh, camps for one minute and gets hit once. That's the sort of matchup that you're going to see. Especially with the delay. I don't know if Shiny Mark can play in any other play style. In the play, if it's like potentially how like big the delay is going to be. Great forward air. 171. Shiny Mark probably makes it. Doesn't get the edge guard either. 35%. Nothing. Rills is really good against this sort of like, arch like edge guard archetype. Because like something that's like when you're really used to playing against edge guard characters. You know how they want to hit you, like off stage, and usually their neutral game isn't as great. Like they like they have to scrap with you more. And Kazuya's scrap buttons are really really good. All of his moves probably do more than Pikachu's entire kit. There's like that like thing where it's like ZSS's a uh, bit like a uh, most percentage move is Kazuya's weakest percentage move. It's a funny stat where it's like it's really close to that. What's my record versus Rills? I think it's like one in three. I think. Something like that. I just know we've had only game five sets. I think. I had to, I had to fact check that. Go in here, you can see Shiny Mark it's still like because like his game plans worked it's just like he got hit if he doesn't get hit he's fine but he has to not get touched at all gets the up air that could have been potentially thunder no jump for riddles does he go high no goes on the town platform very smart trying mark puts himself in the corner quick attacks back to center stage forward smash does take it and now Shiny Mark has the lead, and you already know what he's going to be doing. You already know what he's going to be doing. He's not going to be dropping any quick attack setup at all. You can see Riddles is trying to get like a like a hit in, and he's going to get it. But that's kill. That's pivotal, actually. You're going to get more extra credit and Rage Pikachu. You're going to get more combo routes. For those who that voted beer only. It's not the case, but I do have this gigantic Japanese beer here, so I'm gonna have the. Holy shit, that's huge! Wow, we enjoy, and the Taco Bell is on the way. Enjoy. And I got, I got a. Oh shit, I spilled. Beer with Taco Bell and jelly beans. Part of this balanced <laughs> breakfast. That's, that's, that's like I've never heard that combo. Oh. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna hear about it today, but it's gonna be. First time for everything. Yeah, first time for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the first time that's ever been done. <laughs> Might be. Boom! That's also that's, that's gonna be the first rage with that with that second stock, and I feel like this is it's never over with Kazuya, especially on like town. Where like you can just get like a electric backer at 60. Oh, it doesn't get electric hit there. I don't know, I feel I feel like Shiny Mark's more nervous. Forward air, the trade's gonna happen. That's already at 32%. Oh, the electric, but Pikachu low profiles because it's small guy, and the dash attack's just gonna Ooh. take it. Yeah, again, the glitch that has uh, uh, Shiny Mark saying he's from Mexico is always there. I click update player, um, but it doesn't, mm -hmm. doesn't always save, save it, so yeah. hopefully it works there. <laughs> Let's see what the strike here is. I don't think it's, work, it's working now. And I was saying it was like, it's Guatemala to like, I believe Rills is from Ontario. 
Yeah, yeah, it's just so for it's some like, reason, Shiny Mark's uh, location on, on Tart G is always yeah. wrong, so. But yeah. um, I can try having it here, and, and I, cl I click update player, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see if there's a way to save it, so like whenever he comes back on, mm -hmm. uh, it's there. Why does Riddles have two flags? Because it turns out that within countries, there's provinces and states. There are provinces. <laughs> DK Bill, by fun fact. Yeah. I always feel like if you're from America, you just like, I think there's just like Canada is just one place that's like, like 50 giant square feet. country, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really huge. Like West Canada and East Canada are not interacting with each other ever. <laughs> Bro, yeah. I don't, most of Canada, like 90% of Canada is like uninhabited. Yeah. I know like the rules, like everyone's like right where the warmest areas are because it's just you can't. It would suck living in like minus 50 like <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit and that's still like. <laughs> It's really cold in a lot of areas in Canada. Remember when my flight got cancelled on like the most winter part of BC, which is a snowstorm? I was freaking out because I live in Arizona, so it's like... I remember getting stranded at Apex 2015 after it all said and mm -hmm. done. I had to stay yeah. in a hotel like two extra days and miss work because it was blizzard. Oh, that's a, yeah. mm -hmm. that, sounds, that sounds miserable. Right. Just because you just stay in your hotel the entire time, but... yeah. Oh, I, I think down oh, B there was the right option. Maybe. I don't think it was true because Pikachu was in the air. So I think Rills might have just wanted to play it safe. Plus, when you play it safe, you get your damage back. Except there. The timer runs out. But I mean, Electric Uppy is still going to kill, potentially. Yeah, Pikachu low profiles every time he, like, lands or, like, uh, does a hit. So you can't really do, like, Electrics as well. Or you can't whiff punish them with them as much. That's why, like, the Jigglypuff matchup is so frustrating for Kazuya. Dude, I cannot believe how like insanely consistent Sonic and Spargo are uh, online. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I like, also it's actually say wild. Also, like instead of like like Sonic, Sonic and Spargo be like first and second consistently. Shiny Mark's still getting like third and second consistently. He's right. also. I think he's up there too. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't know how they could ever be that consistent. It doesn't seem possible that they find a way. Let's say we're both like both played Wi-Fi forever. Oh, still. oh up air dare. This would be a, okay. Wait, let's trump up air dare. I was like maybe up air thunder, but couldn't get that. No games just yet. Chat, we are at 194 subs. If we hit 200, I'll reveal who my favorite viewer in chat is. Favorite viewer. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's, that's a big title. I'm I'm curious at this. I want to see the six. I want to see the six subs. I will, I will do it. Oh, so 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 many people are saying it's them. It's a lot of confidence. But at six subs, you'll truly know who it is. It can only be one person. It can only be one person. Oh. All right. Oh. And they're down smash. That's just gonna do it and. This is, well, it's weird, it says, it says best of five there. I know it isn't. It, oh, I get it, it's a top eight. It says top eight best of five qualifier. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. We just gotta, like the, the yeah, scoreboard's just, almost perfect. I just wanted to make that yeah. little top left thing just way more simple. I just wanted to yeah, say I top think, 12. Yeah. That's a three. But that, that could confuse some people because it like says best of five yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. However, how, yeah, it's, 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 however you program the original scoreboard, whatever you put there, just like cop, cop that line of code <laughs> for that little thing if possible. All right. Ooh. Oh, goes to dash tech back. Okay, electric does finally hit, and that's what happens when the electric finally hits Pikachu. I'm powering up riddles explodes. for Team Liquid. I need a game three here. There's a way, Shiny Mark's in the quarter. I mean, granted, he can't just go to the other side, but I mean, he'll still be in a disadvantaged spot. Like the wall jump, just getting like five, eight percent extra credit, like 10% extra credit just from being on the ledge. And you get back to center stage, like extra credit plus that stage control oh. until that. Oh. Bro, I just realized Kazuya, if he was a Pokemon, he'd be <laughs> electric type. It would be an electric type. Yeah, most it's an electric, certainly. electric type going Electric psychic, right? Maybe, maybe. Maybe just electric normal. Or electric fighting, electric, yeah. That's, that's true. That's yeah, true. electric fighting. Oh, hold on. 
Oh, oh my! Oh, wait, no way! I mean, if he down beat oh him God, and and, and, and sent him to the fucking gulags, would have been. Yeah. So oh, that's it. I think it's over. Yep. Yeah, Kazi oh. is not heavy enough still. Damn. Damn. Winner, winner semis. The seed three makes it to projected. And to no one's surprise, Wrath and Sonics have made it to winner side. Both winners top eight, both without dropping a single game. Holy shit! Mm, Gotta, I, 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 I need to see this bracket. Actually, I think they lost. So they're playing in winners semis. Oh uh, no, they're playing on the opposite sides. So oh, bo okay. both semis matches are gonna have a Sonic. <laughs> have a Sonic. Well, that's that's I'm gone. I don't have to worry. About <laughs> <that>. <laughs> uh, but you know what we got? You know what we got now? Before that. Spargo no. versus Beast Mode Ooh. Paul. Banger. Banger. Ooh. Spargo That's Beast Mode Paul. I'm looking at the ones down and in losers, and losers is going by really fast, actually. There are, a lot of them are almost in losers top 16. Yeah, this is actually the most on time bracket it's been in a while. I think, I, you know why? It's because I got winner set. <laughs> so, so, literally, it benefits me to play well. Can you believe that? I, I, gotta, I gotta coach you in those spots to make sure your the bracket goes faster. Bro. I had this controller right next to my beer, and my life yeah. flat. This fob right here, yeah, like my, that, that's my key to winning Genesis. Like I almost, mm -hmm. I just put it as far away as possible. Yeah, yes. that's always that. scary. I still remember at Summit, I accidentally like spilled. Like I didn't realize the sprite was open, and it hit my controller, and it just destroyed it. I'm never forgetting that. Yep. All right. And uh, I got lucky that. That Samuel, he had a he had a, like a really good like modded controller, everything like that for me at Summit. Chat, my Taco Bell arrives. My Taco Bell arrives in 13 minutes. Uh, Ashley in a Toyota Highlander is delivering it. And as soon as it gets here, we're gonna order the jelly beans, and we're gonna I'm not eating a single taco until the jelly beans get here, because I'm a man of my word. And um... yeah, <laughs> 57 and 61. Someone hey, really likes maybe, jelly what beans. If I, what if I create something? What if I create something insane? That's what I was saying. If you, I, that's why I was like, is it combined? What what hybrid is this? Yeah. You put jelly beans in the taco. Bro. One sub, one jelly bean. This is this is how like, amazing things like. How do you how do you think the the uh, Dorito Loco Taco was invented? You ever thought about that? Mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't think anyone I don't think anyone will ever think of the idea that that that's a it's an insane idea. I know, like the big example, like the chocolate chip cookie, like that was invented like by complete accident. Uh, it was. Yeah. Oh damn. Where yeah, it was go? like, or I'm not sure. If it was like it was like a mistake or something like that for like an original cookie, from what I remember. I just realized that HBox can't ban Sonic because Coinbox makes up 95% of Sonic's monthly income. Um. You want to ask something funny? I, I think Sonics is fine. <laughs> there's a yeah, play, there's a website called uh, esportsearnings.com. It's yeah. not fully accurate, but it's fascinating. It does the, it does the job enough. Yeah, you can just go here and pretty much just see. Sonics has made around sixty grand from competing, and look. 23 grand last, uh, 2022, 16 grand last year, and it's mainly from coin boxes. Actually, wait, does it even include coin box? Wait, I'm looking. I don't know if it does. I don't think it does. What? Oh, shit. Yo, Sonic. Literally full time gamer. Very ridiculously impressive. He is so consistent. So that, means he, and he, so that means he's made 60 grand off offline events since the uh, ultimate came out. And probably another easily, what, 40 grand off coin box? Yeah. Man. Good shit, Sonic. He's, he's one of the, he is still, highest, he's one of the, the highest earnings, grinder. yeah. Biggest grinder, in my opinion, in Smash Ult. No, I don't know who would even be close. Like, uh, I don't even feel like it's close to me. Yeah. Like, I don't know, I'll see Sonic's at like 3 a.m. grinding, like in her Yuga Corridor or whatever. That's why, that's why you have to respect it, like he literally, yeah. like usually in in the in the scope of Smash Bros, like you're supposed to, you know, stream and have your content, have other sources, have like multiple sources of mm -hmm. things feeding in, into your income. Sonic's like, he has a stream and stuff, but like he is one of the few people that like legitimately 
wouldn't have to do anything but compete and just literally be able to. He could do it. That, he's yeah. like the one that is able to. But he's impressive. still he's growing his content. He's like improving at that. Even if it's a bit slow, his Twitch has grown so much, and it's so much harder for him to grow, in my opinion, than most because it's really hard to get people to want to watch Sonic at first. Mm -hmm. Because like you know like the Sonic stereotype and all that. But he's he's figuring it out really well. It's really impressive. Sonic's and Spark could, also could, could, yeah, Sonic's and Spark could, could definitely just live off winnings. The Japanese players couldn't because there's no prize pools, right? So they yeah. have to get sponsorship. Yeah. Which they both have. I also remember there's like that uh, sponsor that just like they, um, like the, like the competitors, like they also work for them, like under like an actual job. Yeah. It's the most interesting one I've seen. What's up, Ryan C? Thank you for the... Counter is it? That's to Ryan C who actually... You know what? I think Ryan C has earned... Oh, sh what just happened? Yep. <laughs> I saw the downer a mile away. I'm like, this is the perfect time to hit it. No jump. Sephiroth air dodges. He most likely dies. And usually you, you don't want to air dodge off stage like that as Sephiroth because of potential like air dodge lag. So <laughs> I was like, GG's. Yo, put, do me a favor. Put some RCs for Ryan C. I just realized he's basically the MVP today. I think he dropped like 50 members in YouTube today, so for the first That's time... That's crazy. We got, a, we got a YouTube MVP, so there you go. That name tag is for you. I'm gonna wear it, unless someone else in Twitch balls out. Thank you for that. Thank you for the love on, uh, on YouTube. Appreciate it, dude. RCs, baby. Alright. Sparta takes game one. Beast Mode Paul is gonna go shocker. I oh, cannot. I never would have guessed. Base, you got it. We got. I can't believe this. We got to tweet about this. He's kind of picking do... Pokemon so... Stadium too. I really want to see like stats, on, like more stats on it. It's I saw just... my favorite one was the Invitational, where like they had a uh, Picto Chat and like wacky stages, and no one went on them. Wait, People Smash? Only gentlemen to PS2, no shame. Smash has a Pokemon I stage. But that much, you want consistency. You don't want Picto Chat. That's crazy. That's why, like, um, I think a lot of, like, the stage, like... No way! Okay. Oh, That's why a lot of, like, the uh, unique stage, like, people that want unique stages, like, gave up because not even the top, no top player even picked it. Yep. Marceline, thank you. The Vampire Queen, 36 months, 3 years for our VIP. And pin goes to the corner and dies for it. That was a pair. That was not a great pin. Went to the other side. Maybe that was a misinput or something. I mean, it happened. Still, like, not even a bad spot. Sephiroth dies on the ledge. Tries to get a neutral get up or, like, roll call out because that four smash covers two of four options. Maybe it can cover jump two. That's the grab. Back throw on the ledge. Corn has infinite ledge trapping tools. Another weird forward smash. Maybe a little bit of his inputs. Let's get some back. Two stock two. It's gotta be one of the most useful like moves. Any any like toolkit has just like that needle, the pin. It's just so good. The pin. It's a. I know a lot of core means actually really don't like the move. Like Neo hates. Like it gets annoyed by it more than likes it. It's a good two framing tool, but a lot of moves beat it out. That's why like they use it so like sparringly. Okay. Oh, it was a weird, weird interaction. Oh, the rapid jab also. In the, I, don't, I don't know if Spargo wanted that. Maybe he did. Oh man. <laughs> Spargo was looking for call Oh outs. my I god! <laughs> Dude, Corin's forward He's only is looking insane. for hard callouts in, in this game. How does he? How does he know? How does he see the game so differently? No idea. Lots of grinding. Sephiroth is tall. There's, there's a lot of factors. Is that going to hit? Oh, it's so well. A mid spot. It was a game of three. I, I, I want to say a game of three. Oh. I do too. Oh! Oh! Oh, the IB doesn't hit, but that's still like. It, it's a fear factor for sure. Forward air. Oh, that air dodge. I thought that was going to be a pre pin. Actually, that was almost a free pin there. There's the upbeat that almost killed. It's the back. Back throw, there, back air to Sparkle jump. No, goes to the, just does the pin like that. 
Dude, That's a jump scare move. Oh my god, the tech. screen most of the time. Oh There's god! the first match I was talking about. Is that gonna kill? Wow, no, it's not gonna it kill. Doesn't. Surprise. It's a it's it's a pretty like simple move to DI. Like if you like are ready for it or like know them like know how Ford Smash works. The thing is But I always die to that move, so I can't judge. He's so light. Yeah. One reversal up air, one like yeah, one short hop up air will just kill like seven. What? From under the stage! Yeah, that's you can't even you can't even be like you have to even be nervous when the ledge dropping point because of how big the up air is. Damn. He just knows. Like that's just Someone who's yeah. played this game inside and out, you know? That was a perfect time to do the up air. I can't imagine any other situation, and that's where Spargo will capitalize. Perfect. Yep, that's Winner's Quarters is all done. Yep, it was actually pretty on time. Um, we got Chase fighting the K rule. Jackal plays the winner. Elijah. Oh, yeah, and um, Chase is going Aegis for, right, for a lot of this tournament. Riddle send. All right, Riddle send for top eight losers. Oh, Ooh. damn. Oh, that's already in. The buzz you're playing right now, that's a Rosa. The game one was Rosalina Ness. Yes, that's it pretty was. Cool. Okay, have this in here. Riddles in set. I'm looking more at these brackets. That's unfortunate. I know Chunky Kong has a really bad nest problem right now. Not really him pers like personally, it's just the matchup's really annoying. Oh yeah. Like I always see him up against Ness and I just see him like lose. It's very annoying. For now. I think he'll figure it out eventually. I think so too. Yeah. I, I played him because on Matchbox I was going Steve and I played him in the Steve DK and I was like, I don't know how he's doing these matchups. Like, I'm playing him, and I'm like, I'm thinking so much less. He's working so hard. Right. Send, of course, one of the... One of the OG... Yeah, uh, he is one of the original Wi-Fi gods. He still is to me one of, like, he's still one of the best Wi-Fi players. For sure, and he's still a ridiculously good offline player. Like I like everyone remembers like Sen just destroying everyone on Wi-Fi. Like really back in the day. He's also I in my opinion one of like the best players against Sonic and in top eight when all the players are when like there's a lot of Sonic players to play Sonic's Wrath. That's a that's a good that's a good trait to have. Sen enters the room. Uh there's recent sets and map. Oh yeah, for the layouts. Yeah, there's some there's some cool features on this thing. Like, um, let me show you this. So this 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 toolkit has some really neat stuff. Like I can do a thing called map. And map would just be like this. Like, it really is a fancy tool in terms of what you can do with it. So, like watch this. The layout and we go map. What is Map World Fighters? <laughs> what? That's cool, man. That's a, such a funny glow. <laughs> I did not expect. That's the biggest. That's a jump. That's a jump scare. That's dope. It's it's, it's cool. If we, yeah, if we if if it wasn't region locked, it would be dope. <laughs> we, the, the world coin box. There's also this. This one's more accurate right here. I love yeah, this one. one's still, yeah. yeah. Way more. But sense. then it's not really that accurate because Riddles put, you know, Ontario, and he lives down in Toronto, so that's like not. Actually, if, if yeah. I update his, no, I I can only update his his region, so it's like not mm -hmm. super accurate. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, Doesn't anything of a world coin box. I wonder if it would have more entrance or less entrance. I feel like more, but that would be insane.
Oh, yeah, recent sets. Yeah. Nothing you can do. Uh, here. Another cool thing, right? I see. So, yeah. So, Rios has won the last Wi Fi set, last offline set, and the last Wi Fi set. Yeah, pretty much. But Sim's still taking a set. I mean. That, that one was a. I guess a lot of these were. Actually, they're not that long ago. Yeah, I know. I know auto adjusts. It's just with the stage strike and everything. It's just it's a lot of stuff. There was a really cool one which showed, like, had the. Like. Player one results. Like, you can do this too. Okay, so this one stuff. You, you can do. Um, tournament history, like, player one. I'm going to tie that on the side for riddles like this. Like, boom. All of riddles' is past results. Yeah, just one Frosty Faustings. I think he only had like, he had just three one sets. Exactly. But the only problem with this one is like it, it keeps changing size, so it's not like I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a cool tool. Alright, All right, Riddles and Sun. Yep. Yeah, this yeah this this loser's top twelve. I always feel like is like the most nerve wracking part because you spend all this time and it's like you either get to the actual prize pot and you get like money or you get zero dollars yeah. through all the work possible. You're either boned or you're not. Yeah, I have so many. I have a few ninth place like uh, moments in coin boxes, so like I I understand. It's of hell, that's so much damage, and send buffers air dodge, but Riddles messes up and dives for it, that's Yo, unfortunate. What? Rare miss, Riddles usually always hits those. It's a weird death. Gets the forwarder just like that, but, oh, good re good, just way gets the up smash. Bro, my Uber driver is on a motorcycle. Can you, can you? Do drive through the motorcycle? I guess I guess you could, right? You definitely could. I mean, you Ooh. can. You can ooh, another upbeat. Riddles has only died to getting reversaled off stage so far. Jeez, that is a, that is a nice classic, though. Yeah, I mean, you could technically just walk in a drive through, like oh, not nice. even have a car. Any Wait, is this the edge guard that Riddles is trying to do? But he still makes it back. This is there. I mean, okay, forty percent. I think it fired his damage. Oh my Down till just fast electrics electric. and get the. That's the classic. You like try and do a hit and the invincibility goes through it, or you just like stop doing a move and you get electric. Wait. Oh! No, you're still fine, but barely. Wait, it's Regal? Okay. Wow, oh I'm my god. That was didn't hit. I'm confused. Nothing is working for Riddles oh, this set. Wait, nothing one more chance? is working well. I think you're fine. Yeah, just absorb. Oh, damn. Side with game one. Riddles is tournament life on the line right here. Good God. Yeah, and in that game, it, it really was Riddles. He wasn't, he was losing to himself. <laughs> yep. Yes, he was. He was just trying to go off stage, get a hit, and then not get anything off it. Good bands too, small battlefield and FD are like usually the optimal bands. Alright, he bans FD and small battlefield, riddles goes to PS2. Some would say a some would say a classic. I, a, a stage everyone goes to. Is this, is this a is this a DLC stage? Like a new one? I would I would I would say so they they had, they they did they did add a stage similar. Like, you know, like a year a year or two years ago. I think like this must have been added like last month or something. I've never seen it before. Yeah, that's why everyone likes it so much. I think like the coin box is like a PS2 exclusive at yeah. one point. Much love. Push plot, thank you. Down smash. Oh, doesn't air dodge up? I just go for the down smash every time there, but I'm also really bad. Down tilt, down air. Follow up doesn't quite oh, it doesn't get it. Too much off it, ninety one percent. Oh, that's the spot that you want to try and edge guard like Kazuya in. On his upbeat, he has a good amount of end lag after, so if you're a character that can do it, you just go there. Nope, great DI by send. That move either kills at, at 40 or kills at like 100. I, it is what it feels like. P 
PS2 is PS2 is the McDonald's of Smash Ultimate. It's literally everywhere. It isn't that great. There's many better <laughs> options, and yet here we are. Look, man. I will say P oh, McDonald's is always I mean, where. It's no, there. It's there. It's like you're, you're, it's, your, it's your consistent mid tier that anywhere in the world you can go to in case you're hungry. And yep. it's just it's beautifully mid, beautifully mid. And I've always wondered how many sets you think have been like lost because you just run it back to PS2. I mean, there's probably just a better option. It has to be like it's endless. gotta be in the tens of thousands. Of yeah, it has to be in the tens of thousands. Like, it has to be. <laughs> if there was a way to visualize where what would have happened otherwise. Yeah. It has to be like endless or something. Like there's not, it can't even be counted. Oh, well, gets the jab grab for through. Also, is Israel's gonna edge guard? Nope, does not try to edge guard anymore. Yeah. Knows that he will probably just die if he goes off stage. But he, he can at least go for the down smash. Right? I don't think there's any risk in going for it. Down B. There is a risk. Oh, there's no. a risk for it. Is like you could just get punished for it and lose all your stage control. <gasps> Especially because you have like electric. Oh no way! Ooh. Didn't connect. This is this is this is it. This is potentially Riddle's last stock in the whole yep. tournament. Potentially out at ninth. Yeah, Sten's playing this correctly. You see, he's not going to center stage. He's staying on the platform, double jumping away, and only approaching if he gets a PK fire. Staying in the corner, knows because Riddle's has to approach. He doesn't have the lead. Great nair call and gets the jab block. Goes for a down it the. It's okay, Sen's styling a lot. He wanted to finish that in, in a great in a great way. Kazuya wins these. Does win these. Oh. A lot. In four okay, Rage Drive is on because his moves are stronger and he has his down B. If he gets, if he, oh man. Back air. He's gonna Oh air dodge is <gasps> down, but doesn't matter. Oh and Riddle's what out the at night. What the fuck just happened? What? I have no clue. Oh. But I do know that Sten makes it to top eight, loser side. Damn. Having to play the buzz. Send the buzz. I'll and, double check. Yep, he has to play the buzz, and it's gonna be the buzz. Want to play against another Ness? All right. Because he had to play syrup, so he's, he's in the Ness gauntlet. <laughs> I think we have time to watch Chase versus Jackal. Probably. Yeah, well, let's watch Chase Jackal. Yeah. Okay. Or I Hoshino. Unless they already started playing, I'm not, I'm not sure if they already started playing. I think I'm not sure either. I'll check this. I'll check Chase's stream. Yeah, they started playing. Let me just go ahead and. Try to update. They just started right now. Like, they just got into the. Like, oh, did like they? they just started game one. Like, they just. Like, three socks to three. Okay, I gotcha. Right. But Chase is streaming. Okay, I was probably hopping in Chase's room then just to watch it. Yeah. Well, this is another match I can watch. Candle, Elijah Man. That's, uh, yeah, 1 0 Elijah Man. Oh, wait. Try to get into Chase's match really quick. Hey, Elijah Man's on a crazy run. Oh, I, I gotta see this run. Oh, yep, I, I see it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Potentially 6. We actually know third seed, so lost in. Winners before making it to qualifiers. Wait, actually, no, that's not true. Never mind. Oh, lots of riddles. That's okay. Fair, fair enough. I, forgot, I can't hear this. I can't hear like the stream audio at all, except like he, the call here. So I, I don't, I don't get to hear Chase being annoyed by anything. I think he's he, he's just playing a bunch of gamer music, a bunch of anime music. That makes sense. I love muddy connection, man. <laughs> Okay, Across I can still hear it. Country, it's so loud, I can me. still hear it. Okay, good to know. And he good knows to know. it too. <laughs> I can still hear it. <laughs> oh, dude. He's just an angry guy. 
when he plays. But he's our angry guy. Yeah, <laughs> that, is, that is what it is. Whenever he hits something, regardless of if it's like cheesy, he he just thinks he's the greatest player to ever do it. Yeah, yeah. That is I just mean, his, that is just the way he is. And why, and why not? Right? Yeah, he like gets a kill at forty or thirty. He will think that he is the greatest player, and that you are terrible, and that you will never do anything. I would, I would always dap myself up. You gotta flex. He, he daps himself up, but it's like on a it, it's it's on a level that's. I don't think anyone can match. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. Yeah. Up there. A good air dodge by Jackal. I'm curious. I'm trying to gain. I, I know this matchup's annoying for Aegis. Or it's, it's just like a normal matchup for like Wolf. Like Wolf doesn't have to worry too much about like weird like cheese potential. Except yeah. like Pyra like oh, stuff. Fucker. Oh, gets the footstool. Oh, that would have been downer potential, which is up air. I don't think it would have killed. You can see Chase using the weakness of Wolf really well, which is at 140. You can just hold shield similar to how like you would against like Fox. Oh, doesn't get the down air again. He's gotten two footstool attempts and hasn't gotten anything off him. Great grab. Fourth throw. Jack lets a free ledge trap. Doesn't capitalize on it. Dash attack doesn't kill. I'm so shocked. Die. Up B doesn't kill, but 120%. So just up. Oh, switches to Pyra instantly and probably Fox Floyd. I feel like. Yeah, I might have been throw. Yeah, this is still a great spot for for Chase, especially. The only way like Wolf gets super kills is like a Wolf Flash setup, and that's not gonna work. Really, he, he's he's just. The, oh my god, how do I get myself? The, the man to oh, Riddle's taking for the raid! Riddle's taking him for the raid! W raid in the chat! W raid in the chat! You know, Riddles, you could also raid your liquid brethren, but you know, that's cool too. You know, that's W raid! That's cool. That's cool, Riddles. <laughs> nah, I love Chase. Let's go, Chase. I want Chase to get top eight. I think Ch Chase we'll is see. like one of the most entertaining players in the world. He is, he is, he is definitely entertaining. He's plays every single, like, he, I think he plays like every single top tier now. That's why his ad is top tiers only. Top tiers like only. Like, wants to win. It's like, Palu, Aegis, Sonic, Steve. Like, I know it was like big four. Nice combo, man. Oh, gets the upper wow. so much damage. Almost gets a backer from that too. I feel like Jackal is so patient that I would mm. I would rip my own hair out playing him. I'm, I, I thank the, the heavens. I thank the stars that I've never had to play him before. He's very he's very frustrating to play against. He's very he's very patient. Have you been Have you played him before? I think you didn't beat him. Yeah, I, I played him at major upset. I lost. I played him at rising grind. I won. All oh, right. Like you can see. Yeah, he's yeah, he's very yeah, he's very good, very patient. And how's the lead here? Down air. Another Ooh. down air. Oh, that's a way that's a way to get a kill. Double dip up air? Yeah. Up smash? Damn. If I get hit by that, I I don't I don't even know what my mo what like how I would feel. Like what would my momentum be? How would I get momentum back? You you just have to say it is what it is. Yeah, you do just have to say that. It's just like a philosophy. I agree. <laughs> I feel like so many things in this game is you just have to say it. it just, yeah. Otherwise, you're just gonna be stuck in a loop, like like a time loop. Like that's why what people have to do against me, or like ju like just like if you die at twenty, it is what it is. You get hit once. Well, my eyes like you got hit once. Yeah, rocket beans. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, waiting for the jelly beans as we speak. And the tacos. Tacos will be here in like two minutes. The jelly beans will be here in part 15. And Jacko is not approaching. <laughs> Even when he's down, he's 
He's gonna he's gonna stick by his game his playstyle until like Bro, just the game is over. It just gave me a notification. Your order is running behind with the sweating emo emoji face, and it said, "As an Uber One member, you get five dollars in Uber cash because your order was late." Holy, that pays Ooh. for the gummy bears. It's all coming together <laughs> or for the really for the cool. for jelly beans. It's all coming together. Incredible. What a deal. That is a crazy deal. Free jelly beans. Free jelly beans. Yeah, I was looking like Chase is just going to take this simple. Elijah and beat Candle. Oh, damn. we got a Shulkin top eight? Wait, no, that's, I think it's, wait, is it oh, one Oh, Peace Mode Paul, right? Yeah, it must be Peace Mode Paul. Chase, one more stock to get into top eight, I believe. Oh, Meyer, thank button. you. There it is. <laughs> or is this not top eight qualifier, I can't tell. I think it's one more for this one, too. And the winner of this plays Luis. In top eight or to get top eight? Uh, to get top eight. Okay. Oh, just one down air up smash. You can see Chase fishing. Oh, that was supposed to be, that's footstool down air until like an up air on the platform. It's a setup that Chase is really, really good at. Yeah, you can see him just fishing for down air. <laughs> down yeah. air, side B, footstool, footstool down air. Like just he's not treating Jackal with any respect. He is only looking for side B. He is only looking for two things. Yeah, he really is. Down air, ready for the side B. I'm ready for it. I think, I think we'll watch the win of this versus Louis Money and then uh, top it. You're down. Yeah, that's fine. Locked in syndrome, <laughs> let's fucking go! Yeah. We takes it. 186% on the syndrome. final stock. And no one can stop us! Oh shit. Jones in the chat for the run! This guy is, this is wild, dude. Alright, Chase yeah. versus Louis Money, top 8 qualify. Let's get it. He's been grinding. That's what I mean. I literally said anyone who's been grinding on Matchbox this week is gonna do amazingly. And that's exactly like what's been happening. He has one of the most amount of sets on a Matchbox, from what I know. Yeah, he's. There's a, a bona fide grind. Dude. Ryan C with five more. Put some RCs in the chat. Thank you, my friend. Hella yeah, memberships. Yeah, 127, 127 wins, 39 losses. Man's cooking. Like, that's, a ton of, that's a ton of there sets. There it is. Alright, I'll spec this match really quick. Thank you so much is. for the That's gifts the and members. Uh, Lu Luis versus Chase. Yes, sir. This is there a NorCal is. SoCal showdown, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. And there it is. I'm curious on who on who Chase is gonna go. Does Palus? Uh, does he just go Aegis? Yeah, just goes Aegis. It's a really annoying matchup for Palu because of how fast Mithra is. Like, Palu can't really whiff punish anything Mithra does. Yeah, I was looking at Matchbox, and it, it's been consistently like at sixty to seventy sets, like all the time. I noticed. Two years. Like peak one twenty sets in progress, and like average is like sixty seventy. In the morning, it's still like forty sets. Yeah. Arena.
And you really gotta be like a, a goblin, you know, like a true grinder. And Chase yeah, is. Especially I mean, for coin four, four, yeah, He yeah. is a like true grinder. Like, if I had to choose one person who's like fits that role, it'd be him because of like. I don't know, dude. Just the guy is willing to like just grind at like three in the morning, four in the morning. He will grind at three and four a.m. in the morning, and just be the be the most like the saltiest person of all time Pretty while much. playing twenty sets in a row. And 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 yeah, he'll just he'll just run it back and over and over and over yeah. and over. It's insane. He will never stop until he wins. Until he wins. And you know what? You just, you simply have to respect it. I agree. Yep. All right. Top eight qualifier. I'm feeling this is gonna be a very, maybe not slow matchup, but like it's gonna be just a game of waiting. Someone's gonna be approaching, or like the first person that approaches loses. That's what this matchup's gonna be. Aegis can approach a bit more than Palu, because like you know Palu's like the bait and like uh, like bait and punish character, like uses her like moves to like make you swing, or just like her like her, like her movement. But Aegis can do that too at times, and like usually, so honestly, better. And uh, especially in this matchup. Chat, should I get Jelly Belly Jelly Beans or the 7-Eleven Jelly Beans? I have never even heard of this. I feel like the 7-Eleven Jelly Beans are like. <laughs> That does not sound good. Jelly Bit. Well, I, I, we're, this is, we're, a, we're a name brand family. So, uh, okay. respectfully, though. Mm -hmm. Alright, CVS has Jelly Belly. Do we get the Sours, the Tropical, or the Original? I'm, I'm imagining Sour Jelly Beans with Taco Bell. That sounds. That doesn't feel right. I that feel like you have to be eliminated. So bad. It might be one of the, like, that doesn't, I, I want to, like, vomit when I hear that, you know. It doesn't feel, it does not feel great. We're doing sour. Sour? I feel like. <laughs> I, I'm just going to say good luck. I mean, I'm not probably going to, I don't know if I'll be part of that Jelly Bean Taco Bell adventure. All right, we're... 10 minute delivery. Sure. Have it your way. <laughs> you're just <laughs> it's so funny. You're just like getting just jelly. You're just asking them to get jelly beans only. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get a Dr Pepper too. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might as well. It makes it look at least a little bit better. All right, it's on the way, guys. It is on the way. Probably like 15, hear. 20 minutes. Not for the fan of heart. Oh, yeah. oh, well, y'all did a 150 sub train. Oh! Speaking of which, that's 200 subs daily. It's time for me to reveal who my favorite viewer is. Um, I'll do it after this match. Who do you think it is, Base Mage? I, I, my hard call is it's, you're going to say you. You're just going to say, like, you is just, it's just, just implied. It's <laughs> just everyone. You're all my favorite viewers. That would be pretty lame. I, I, that, that was my theory. But I'll, I'll see what you say. Theory. Oh! This is down there like that. So they are both not trying to like swing first. There's some there is a neutral being played. Some top tier ladies. Top tier only neutral. Swinging around. Big the side spike. B gets the down there. It's so scary doing that side B at the like at this point is like just like trying to get yourself hit. You only do it as all really hard mix up. Oh, okay, the upbeat still hits somehow. Okay. Ooh, up to upper, up there, and how's Luis gonna win? Does he just go to ledge? No, he makes it to center stage somehow. Oh my god. That's true. Oh, That's it good. doesn't, it doesn't, we connect, but it makes him to a better position, so it doesn't matter. It makes me forget that, like, Chase is 
basically the, pr the premier uh, Palu player for a while. Yeah, he still like plays Palu. Is just like he wants. He really wants Aegis on the lineup. Right. It's like it's very frustrating to play Palu in bracket. I feel like because you're you're you you have to win so much neutral constantly, and then in a game that's like very like touch of death like ultimate, it can be nerve wracking. Yeah, Louis wants that cheesy grab. Yeah. Wants a side B footstool. <laughs> I think Luis is what? recognizing that. Oh, Ooh, that could have been down or up air. Well, actually, no, it would have been 1 but down might have killed, but that up tilt does. What a character. Chat. My favorite viewer. Is you. You. You right there. You, you called it right, base mage. <laughs> you called it right. It's you. You. <laughs> yes, it's lame and it's beautiful. You it is beautiful. are my favorite viewer. <laughs> Toi. T O I. Good shit. I chat. shouldn't have said anything. Good shit. Yeah, you you ruined it you ruined it a little bit, but it's okay. I did ruin it a little <laughs> bit. I was like I, I was like I feel like I know what it is, but like if I say it it's a little a little a little messed up. It's okay. It's it's the most accurate <laughs> answer there is. It is the most accurate answer. Chat doesn't realize there's someone in chat named E W E M U, who's a really cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's so <laughs> funny. Yes. Why are you the Falco player? Because <laughs> I'm like I'm like very fond of that player. Like. <laughs> Actually, my favorite viewer is Ryan C today. Let's keep it a book. Ryan C. Five more. Ryan, how many have you dropped? I wish it said. I wish it said in chat. It's our first ever, our first ever YouTube whale. Yeah, that's, and there it is. That's how. That's not been the thing. This is only the first one that I know of. And he gifted a guy named Leo just by accident, which is pretty blessed. That is pretty blessed. And there it is. I'm wearing his name tag after all. Thank you, Ryan. Put some RCs in the chat. Those YouTube owners. And there it is. Oh, such a good grab. And that was a good that can edge guard Aegis. Run off with the neutral air. Do you go for explosive flame? No, you don't. He waits for it and just goes for like a safe neutral air, gets more damage. And there it is. Let's go for another neutral air, rolls in, but perfect DI. Okay. I'm drinking Hidden Ichiban. Ooh, that's how, that sounds really good. Some beer. Man, that move is crazy. <laughs> it really is just a nut. You just move. have to. You just have to. If your shield is low, you just have to run away or parry. Yeah. You can't even shield it. It's not worth it. Mithra down tilt is a war crime. That down tilt's also <laughs> insane. What is the frame that like, I shouldn't be thinking that move is that good because I play Jigglypuff and I still think that move's insane. It was like frame three. It feels that fast. Although I think Puff destroys Mithra, but Pyra is a scary one. I think it's the opposite. Really? A top, top level. Like, perfect, like, Mithra. I will destroy Mithra. I don't know. I just hit Pyra and she dies. Bro, Pyra hits so Puff and, and she dies. Well, I'm not getting hit. <laughs> Those moves are frame 500. I'm okay. Couldn't, couldn't be me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting hit all the time. I get hit, no, but I mean, you're not getting hit by Mithra. I'm not getting hit by Pyra. <laughs> Gets the four there. All right, another back there. What's the edge guard sequence? It's, oh, it is a flame. It doesn't kill, but yeah. it's still a great spot. Goes for the the classic. You chat to get up with grab. Why did Leo do Q? Leo do Q because like the Pope is a really big Smash fan and wanted to play Leo today. One v one. Vatican that. City to Tawana connection. So That's crazy. He was busy, unfortunately. 
But yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a good thing for the, for the scene. Okay. Dash attack releases once fraught wants to bring into a game three. You don't want to lose before the money. You do not want to spend all this time in the coin box playing Wi-Fi sets that destroy your mental health. Just to go down here. The back here goes in. Another back throw. I right. right hear Chase's perspective of this. I'm right, not as annoyed as I thought. Oh. Oh, great. Upbeat mix up. The backer just goes through the neutral area. No, we're, get, we're getting game three. Yeah, we're getting game three. I'm pretty unless, sure. Unless Chase just doesn't get hit with Mithra. Oh, tries to go for a forward smash call out. And it's invincible, so you can't even punish it. There was one turn where Lou made like, a, like an eight set losers run through losers, and every set was game five. Yeah, I remember there's people who always say game five Luis. Because he just would not lose that game. He would not lose game five. Yep, 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 yep. Ba, 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 ba. Luis is not a pro. He knows that the only way he the, the way he loses is by like just trying to like get a oh. risky center stage. And Why does everyone fall for that? Spin. I fall for that too. It's just like it's like a good setup. It's because like if you roll, then you just react dash attack. Yeah. Let me, let me, and uh, if you jump, you, you're jumping against Palu. That's true. She's so good. All right, let me get yeah. my Taco Bell downstairs. Oh. All right. All right, Chad. It's just me again. Just hanging out. One more game, I think, and then I'm leaving. And then you'll have the top eight casters. You will see goes to PS2. I'm guessing it's going to be Aegis Palu. Ready? We'll miss you. I appreciate it. I was thinking of uh, applying for the commentary. I'll think about it. Maybe I do it later. Three, two, one, go. We're on to game three. Just, uh, it's good. I feel like it's gonna be, I don't think they're gonna change their game plan up. There's not really a point. The, the biggest thing I noticed already is that Luis is taking center stage instantly. Instead of <laughs> just like waiting in the corner, he is trying to scrap right now. And it's, it is a gamble because like what he's doing is working. I have a good voice for it. I appreciate that. I have no idea if my voice is good for it or not. I've always usually do solo commentary because you know, I'm doing watch parties at 4 a.m. It's like, that's what I'm more used to. Or should I at least have? I you have the Taco Bell at least. The jelly beans are coming in like five minutes. Yeah. I'm gonna at least enjoy one taco before we, we ruin them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that a uh, that a uh, that thing. I don't even know what to call what you're gonna make. I think there shouldn't even be a word. <laughs> Jelly oh, no, bean that... taco combination. This right here, spice potato soft taco. Ooh. All I really need in life. That sounds very good right now. Oh, I thought Luis was just gonna go for like a grab or something, but I mean, this is still like a, a fine spot for Luis. He just needs like a back throw. Oh, another raid. Thank you, King Elijah Man with the 65. Good run, Elijah Man. Good run. Oh, goes too low and gets hit by the downer, but it's not the strong hit, so no spike. Some ease for Elijah Man. Chase is pressing a lot of buttons. Bro, he it's is. has been like six buttons pressed in like five seconds. He's probably and saying, only, and only one of them needs yeah. to hit. He's probably saying something like, "Why I'm won't this connect? Uh, oh my I'm god!" Uh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good impersonation. I think <laughs> that's pretty good. I, I can never do my. I don't know if my voice. I'd have to practice that. That's pretty good. So cringe. 
<laughs> Fucking love that kid. All right. I can do the voice of maybe I, maybe I need to be a bit more like awake to do the voice. I couldn't do it right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dash attack! What's gonna happen? Luis has got two dash attacks like that and a jump call out to chase neutral air dodge too. No, just as a neutral air, just as like a neutral air and instantly is anti-airing until the end of time. That's what you want to do in this matchup. Like, like Paulo's taking so much damage for just like existing in the air. Air backer, just chase jump again. No, just neutral air dodge is down. Very smart. Well, it's so random, but I'm on this bottle of Bi right here. And like, your voice is literally the resonant frequency of this bottle. It's vibrating in my hand. Like, as you speak. It's, it's just so crazy. That is really that's freaky. So if I just keep talking, it's just gonna keep vibrating. Pretty much, it, ha it happens when, when like when like you ever you ever like you ever like uh like blow on a bottle and it makes like a noise like a note. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a phenomenon. Whatever. I think that's that. That's funny. I'll, I'm gonna have to try that more with my voice. Apparently, everything in the world has has a resonant frequency, and <laughs> like you can like break anything if you're like loud enough. Like yeah, even, like, like even the walls in your house like vibrate. Yeah, that I heard about, but like that's like an unreasonable amount. I'm sure someone's done it. Someone's oh, like, yeah. just like destroyed a wall with their voice. My theory is that everyone has done everything that can be done, or eventually they will do that. Mm -hmm. Just are bored or curious enough. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this situation. Oh yeah, like you can see, Luis. He's trying to find anything to get a kill here. Oh, goes for the neutral air dodge down. It's the first time Chase has done that, at least in a while. Because I forgot that was even an option. Now you have to find a way to get center stage again. Like, oh, get a kill here. Yeah, you can see Luis is looking for a nair up tilt, a nair grab, just anything. Okay, Bro. finally gets something. It's an explosive flame. Game 3 last talk, the perfect NorCal SoCal showdown. Yep. Another like jump. I noticed every time Luis dash attacks, most of the time Chase is jumping, and Luis is calling that out really, really well. Another jump there. Like every time he's doing like one of those like simple 10% aerials, Chase has always been double jumping. This is what it feels like. I've seen like a like one neutral air dodge, grab, back throw, edge guard sequence. Luis potentially does a smash attack. Doesn't do it yet. You can see Chase is a bit nervous on the ledge because you know like Luis is ledge trapping so good. Oh, buffers air dodge down there. Drag down. What? What a that was a, what a weird sequence. What's Chase saying? <laughs> I'm so sad, dude. <laughs> I couldn't get a meaningful hit. I couldn't get a meaningful hit, and I this air dodge did kill me for it. He's gonna go fuck. I mean, how much? How, how many hours do you watch Chase for? You know all these things, bro. He probably got the win. No, he didn't, bro. He didn't, like, I, he didn't I've seen you in his voice. chat multiple, a few times <laughs> at like 2 a.m. because I'm grinder. there too. But yeah, Chase is a grinder, bro. He's a huge grinder. From Chase all the way back to base, everyone, please put a B in the chat for Base Mage for joining us today, volunteering his time to be our top 96 co-streamer. Base, anything you want to say to your adoring fans around the world? I appreciate everyone's liking my commentary. I think I'm slowly improving. I've always had like a strength is like I just improve like no regardless if as long as I'm like doing it. Like I'm never just like stagnating. It's just like a constant improvement. So I hope that's correct. I'm doing a, I'm going to be having a Metafy deal soon too. I'm going to be doing a Metafy group session. So look out for that. And nice. yeah, that's really it for me. I just hope everyone likes my commentary. I'm trying to improve that as well as my gameplay and my coaching. Gotcha. All right, man. Well, you take care, homie. Thank you. You as well. Peace Fun going. watching the top eight. I'll, All right. I'll be I'll be lurking a little bit. Dope. Let's get our let's get our co caches in here. We're gonna yep. kick it off with Spargo versus Wrath, and gonna get my co casters in here. Are my co casters here? I'm here. PJ. What's up, Hbox? 
Yo, PJ, let me put up your volume. Put up your mic a little bit. And I think I see. And Scabs, you hear too, Scabs? Scabs? I see him in the room. I don't think his microphone's working. Top eight time, though. I'm going to get Spargo and Wrath ready. I shall host. All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Good to see. Was good, PJ. I just, I literally just got back from Guatemala. You were in Guatemala? Yeah, I was in Guatemala for a week. For I go tournament? every. Uh, no, 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 no. I just go with my dad because my dad's uh, he was born in Guatemala, so we go every year just to like see family and stuff. Dope. Yeah. Well, I'm getting hello a voice call. With this. Testing. Hello. What's up, guys? We can hear you. Scabs, can you hear us? Oh, one second. You're good. All right, as, as everyone gets settled in, what's up, everybody? My name's PJ. I'm joined by Scabs. Scabs is working through his mic right now, but we are here with Coinbox number 89 uh, with another hype bracket here. Uh, I say hype. The winner side for the first couple rounds, I think the first side is going to be really hype. We're going to be seeing the Corrin from Spargo, um, a character that he's been picking up for the Sonic matchup. And then on the other side, we're getting Shiny Mark Sonic, so another classic. So it's going to be very exciting stuff. Um, how's everyone doing tonight? Usually I'm on for top 64, but tonight um, the team at uh, the coin box team picked me and Scabs again to commentate together for another coin uh, box, which is really exciting. Me and Scabs commentating uh, the om opening block uh, for coin box IRL. So it's good to be back here. Can you hear me now, PJ? Yeah, we can. Let's have scabs. All right, there we go. Finally got right. that little technical issue. For some reason, I have no idea why. On occasion, my Discord just refuses to recognize my mic. I have, I have been, I've been doing like six years of IT. I still can't figure it out. I've uninstalled my drivers like a dozen times. Scabs, PJ, it's gonna have you here. I want you to know that before this all happened, the chat <gasps> give me a there challenge or like a vote on what I'm eating for dinner, and uh, for it was Taco Bell tied with jelly beans. Oh. oh no. I love jelly beans. I, nice. I figured where this was going and I cannot imagine this being a great idea. Uh, here, so you're about to see me uh, combine those and eat it. So, that's so if I'm if I'm right here, at around losers finals, Hbox is gonna disappear from the stream because he's gonna have to <laughs> Bro, I, that's, that's if I'm not on the screen, you, you know exactly why, all right? Yeah. <laughs> it, this doesn't take a, a rocket scientist to figure that one out. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we're going to try one now while Wrath and Spargo are striking stages. And uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, God. Oh, my hand sanitizer. Yeah, um... Before before we get into this, Hbox, um, what's your favorite jelly bean flavor, bro? You know what my favorite one is, and it might be Which a weird one? it might be a weird take. You know, Starburst makes jelly beans. Yeah, I do. Yeah, those are my favorite ones, and they have like the the, nice. the dragon fruit ones. Those are fire. Oh uh, yeah, that one's pretty good. I, don't know, I, I ate a bunch of them when I was younger. And those are great, but uh, I don't think most places have them. But so. Some some weird fact about me. Jelly beans, like, I didn't like them, but during the pandemic, I, like, the last purchase I made in person was, like, a big bag of jelly beans. Just randomly, I was like, oh, I want jelly beans. So, like, I have all of them, like, ranked in my head. I think that there's two separate rankings of jelly beans. It's the jelly beans that you can eat, like, a handful of them. And those are, like, the fruit ones, right? But then there's the jelly beans that you can only eat one of. And it's, like, licorice, coffee popcorn coconut like th they don't go with anything else so i really like pear um like the sour pear, pear is really one. good, yeah. That good. <laughs> yeah yeah that one is like it doesn't really taste like a jelly bean it almost has the texture of a pear i don't know if anyone else gets that but texture of pear for me I, I, I could see it yeah 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 and then um i like the i like the popcorn ones but oh yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> the, i like that interesting there was like uh, a I think it was it was in Jelly Belly. It comes with like a little uh -huh. notebook or a little paper, and it lets you combine flavors and for other things. Like if you combine popcorn and blueberry, you get a blueberry muffin flavor. Oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah. I, I forget if a, that's there's them. a website for that now. Yeah, dude, I love that. Yeah. All right, so these um aren't too bad. They're sour. 
Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with no drink, <laughs> I can't. 150 subs for this bullshit, PJ. Anyways. <laughs> Wait, there's sour jelly beans too. What's the detail to make and, this and even worse? And the best worse. part is, I didn't, I didn't just buy any taco. I'm a man of culture. I bought the Dorito Loco taco. Okay. Um. So. Bottoms up, I guess. I'm gonna pour a handful of jelly beans. Into oh my the god. Into the taco. Oh my god. I'm making a mess. This is the most cursed I thing. I, I, I can't do that. I can't watch this. <laughs> All right. If you want, if you need proof, that is a taco <laughs> with jelly bean inside of it. I feel like you're gonna get a letter from Taco Bell in a few minutes, just saying, "Listen, we have that talk." No, I'm gonna get a letter from my doctor telling me six months. Just give me a second. Right. Oh, no. Yeah, I was going to make a joke that this uh, top eight could be a little hard to watch with all the Sonics and floaties, but I think the hardest thing to watch on the screen is what HBox is about to do. Um, this is the result, ladies and gentlemen, when you sub goal dinner. This is what I gave up engineering for. <laughs> and you know, it might taste good. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Shoot nice. He went in for the talk. I noticed. We're, we're waiting with bated breath. We, we have to get the. We have to get the reaction. Taking a moment to consider the choices that led us down this road. You think about it. If Hbox didn't hit the rest in Armada, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> Every rest, every rest he's ever hit, every every backer he's caught, every side B he's caught on his facey, every turnip he's caught, every stitch that got thrown away, it's all led to this moment. Hi, PJ. Certainly is a moment in Smash history, and I, I gotta admit, like the, the dedication to the bit, going back in for second and third bites, with no comments. One simply doesn't give an evaluation on a culinary masterpiece in one bite. Oh my god. I mean, wait a minute. No. <laughs> no, dude. Don't do this to me, man. You, you can't. Chat, this is. Fuck. This is. This is orange chicken. What? Have you guys ever had sweet and sour chicken from a Chinese place? This is it. This tastes like orange chicken. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Or is I am beef? not kidding. You saw how I didn't like it? My brain hit like a memory. I'm like, what? I've tasted this. I've tasted this exact thing before. Holy fuck. That's insane. That is actually edible. If anyone here in chat is willing to test out my theory, <clears throat> jelly beans in your house, sour, with a Dorito Loco Taco. It's sweet and sour. That's insane. I'm sorry. You continue. <laughs> oh my god. You can't you cannot you cannot eat sour jelly beans and a Doritos Locos taco and say it tastes like orange chicken and then say continue. How are we supposed to function after that news? Continue. No. <laughs> now we actually have to commentate the game. That's gonna be the hard part. Um <laughs> Okay, bringing this back together. Um, I'm going for seconds, I, by the way. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is crazy. I'm, I'm going. I'm actually going for a second. Holy fuck. Um, okay. We get a blank slate. Uh, Spargo taking game number one. Um, Spargo um, taking game number one at about the same time it takes H boxes to take all of our collective sanity down at Packer two. Wow. Yeah, if. Uh, <laughs> this is this is the most what a way to start the acid. block yeah there's hey, no uh, acid. how you guys doing you guys good i'm just pouring some jelly beans in my taco it's so At this much point, it, it's just so many it's not so much it's like five hundred it's, it's like, 20 it's like five least. dozen 
I think I mean, you have more jelly beans than you have lettuce on that taco. Bro, to be fair, who needs lettuce, shrimp? I don't. Fair, fair. Constitutive element of the taco now. You're over 30% jelly beans. <laughs> it's a jelly bean taco. Like, this is where, this is where yeah. we, we are. Yeah, I guess if you're going for it, you gotta commit to the bit, right? Okay, I put too many. Of course. <laughs> yeah, it, lo it looked like too many, yeah. <laughs> Flew too close to the sun. We Some, learned a little bit off. of Some, this experiment. I got too excited. Something's off. Something is very off. Um, but when I was scared at first, I put half as many, and it was actually a nice balance. It's, it's, it, it, it's gone from, it's actually edible to nice balance. I can't believe what I'm hearing. This is ridiculous. <laughs> um, all right. Well, uh, no better way to transition into what's going on this set, but uh, Sparrow sporting the corn most recently for uh, this matchup in particular and taking game number one, but Wrath bringing it back, he was actually down like two stocks to one. Uh, and he was able to bring it all the way back to last stock. Spargo at 137%. Uh, it's getting a lot closer now for Wrath. I think Spargo's played Wrath at least once with the corn, so it's good to see Wrath uh, coming up with some counterplay. We've been seeing so uh, Sonics on Twitter, like, labbing this matchup in particular, so it's exciting to see. Oh, that was almost a crazy setup. Get it to landing forward or into a paralyzer, but doesn't fully connect there. Might be a frame data thing. I, I don't know, but that was interesting. Very true. I'm really interested to see how this matchup develops, too. Like, this is one of those where it catches the roll in. First off, great read right there by Wrath. We've seen that Sonic, like, had the idea to go ahead and break it out in this matchup specifically for Corrin. Thought that this was going to be something to actually turn the tides against both Wrath and Sonics. It worked to start off, but now the Sonic players have had a chance to adapt. They started to understand the kind of trick Spargo is going for. So I am really excited to see that next level here from Spargo if we're going to commit to this character the whole night through. Nice catch, Rafa able to cover the double jump there, knowing that Spargo doesn't have the double jump and Korn's recovery being a little bit more linear and you have to use the air drift to position under the ledge and just chases off of the backer. Having that killer instinct in, in moments like that is exactly what you need to take a game off of Spargo as Rath is running away with a lead, 143%, but the skewer, just so good at catching those burst options, uh, is able to close out that stock there. See, I I'm a little bit distracted right there because I saw that HBox hit a, a very bad flavor jelly bean at that last one. The beer, the beer, the beer did not mix well. <laughs> oh, no. Beer plus the sweetness of that plus the savoriness. I can imagine that being a nightmare. Speaking of nightmares right here, we're trying to get out of that forward air combo for Rat's side here, trying to just break away from Korn's combo game. Really, landing is going to be the problem on this small stage with a centered platform. Good God, can Korn cover some space on here? Yeah, it's... As you said, covering some space, the whiff from Wrath gets perfectly punished by Spargo. Ryan, oh, see again. Um, I will say, I will say, that was nowhere near the nastiest thing my chat ever made me eat. Um, the worst thing my chat has ever ordered was when we did a chat chooses the pizza challenge. So we got a pizza as a goal, and then chat chose the toppings. And they decided to get me an everything pizza with chocolate and there anchovies on top. Um, oh no. I actually Wait. couldn't, I couldn't eat a single, like I, I took one bite and I actually had to like take a walk. I, I had to like Wait. throw it away. I, 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 was, I was about to vomit on stream. It was like, it was, it was the worst thing I've ever tasted. It was just, every the slice was like collapsing it upon itself because of the weight of the toppings. It was soggy, it was moist. It was it just horrible, horrible. It was like combining every color at once and you get like shitty gray brown. <laughs> you know what I mean? But via flavors. How you save that? How do you yeah. save fish with chocolate? There's no. I think that's just the cardinal sin. I'm, there's not a single. The only time a fish is appropriate with chocolate is the Taiyaki pancake, fish shaped pancake stuff in Nutella. That's the only time it's ever appropriate. And that's because it's a fish shape. But never, never. Are those two flavors ever going to go together? It just doesn't make any sense. I don't think. Unless I'm wrong. If someone has a, a way to... A way okay. to yeah. Um, it's like I'm theorizing a matchup. The, the real thing that I think you could, <laughs> you could do is like... Um, like if you do mole with a white fish, I don't think it'll be bad. Like you, you want a mole with like a lot mole, of smokiness. I guess mole counts. But mole yeah, is mole more... Mole kind of yeah. counts, yeah. It is chocolate. It's like savory chocolate though. 
Yeah, exactly. So I, I, I don't think you could just eat chocolate and fish, but if you did, anchovy is too oily, it's too pungent. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it sounds just sound great. <laughs> I get some water. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, you just earned it after that little culinary exploration. Yeah, and then revisiting all bad memories. You you never really know what you're gonna get when you start commentating a coin box with H box. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chad, for that. I'm a I, I'm a big jelly bean fan, but I might not even eat jelly beans after watching what just happened on our screen. Nonetheless, we're here. Um, yeah, it's so hard to... I, I haven't been watching this game, I'll be honest. I've just been watching HBox suffer. <laughs> I mean, it's a very compelling thing to watch, that's for sure. But yeah. so far, it's kind of like the tale of the Sonic matchup where Rat has managed to seize that early lead and playing a little bit more defensively. And Spargo falls off stage and appears to buffer an aerial. So that's an early exit on that stock. Now you're given a full stock lead and more to a Sonic. Yeah, this is, this is a rough spot. Yeah. Uh, we saw a similar situation here in the last game. Is so okay, yeah, Spargo able to get back there. We saw a similar situation where Wrath uh, took a lead on Spargo with uh, Spargo kind of making a mishap off stage, and it's exactly what happens in this game. We're going to see if Spargo has what it takes to make another comeback on Smashville here. It's a big Nair, and I like that Spargo. I mean, you, the utilization of Nair to just start the juggle game is so important versus a uh, character like Sonic, and oh, that great. trade going in his favor. And, oh, I like that. Crosses up, jumps up, and then gets the homing attack to punish the out-of-shield option. Goes for a forward smash, and that's going to be a great punish from the forward smash on shield with that side B as we get a potential Spargo comeback once again. Yeah, this is always the problem, is that you can never count Spargo out. And with Corrin, you can just kind of toss out a lot of these safe aerials. It's up to Wrath right now to play incredibly safe. We get the parry, and now we're reeling back with a forward smash ever so slightly misspaced. I mean, if you were going to go ahead and try to challenge that rapid jab with anything, the forward smash was the right choice. Yeah, and it's good there, too. You don't get punished for it. Like, sometimes... It, I mean, obviously, you want to try to find a way to punish with the game there, but it's sometimes better to go for a punish that you know is not going to be able to get punished. So good stuff from Wrath just holding on and saying, I don't need to find a kill off here with Rapid Jab. I can close this out the old-fashioned way, but the uppy comes through, and now 28%. The Nair catches the forward air attempt from Wrath. Wrath swinging out of disadvantage, once again gets punished, and now the juggle comes through. The up air now, and he's in the spiral, but the back air connects on the Nair. Wrath takes a game. All right. My only input is... Not about the set, but I will. I, I will say, I, I we did we definitely flew too close to the sun. I would not recommend this to anyone. Maybe two jelly beans max on a taco, just for the subtlety of it. The aftertaste is really bad, and with Kieran beer, it's a very bad aftertaste. So I'm washing it down with some some diet Dr Pepper. Uh, now I'm just gonna. Do I have permission? Can I just eat Taco Bell by itself now? Um, my stomach is actually pretty upset. Um, it's actually... It's not doing well. Mercy, please, chat. I, I understand now why those don't mix. Uh, anyways. <clears throat> that was... Awful. Oh, is just... <laughs> I, I'm like... Man. I don't Listen, know how you're doing, man. Let it never be said that HBox isn't a man of the people. If somebody in chat ever asked me to go ahead and do any nonsense like that, I would, I would ban them. It's like, you need to go ahead and take a time out right here. But HBox, not only listening, but going back for seconds. Going back doing for seconds, for giving detailed analysis as well. I mean, truly just covering all the bases. You got, you love to see that, honestly. I bought w also pro Taco Bell Strat, emergency quesadilla. You always buy an emergency oh, chicken yeah. quesadilla. Just in case shit goes south, like the order's not right. Because this one, you can't fuck it up. So. It's one of the only things that you can save for the next day, too. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, it's just, if you don't need it, you could eat it tomorrow on your phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> That's the tag, it's, man. It's, <laughs> what doesn't this stream have, you know? <laughs> oh, I, I've been around the block. <laughs> oh, okay. No, not able to kill there. Yeah, I was I was going to say that I think a majority of the, not the majority, but a good portion of the stocks that Wrath has been taking has been on Spargo's miscues on the ledge. I'm not sure if Spargo's like kind of limit testing what Corrin can get away with punishing while Sonic's, or Sonic is off stage. Uh, but it's interesting to see, and it's also good to see that Wrath is like really on top of that punish because it's uh, in matchups like this where you're not playing it often, uh, it really shows that, uh, you know, somebody takes the extra care to learn like, okay, if they miss a pin like that, I can punish with a back air uh, and then follow through with another one. 
uh, little optimizations like that really make this matchup really interesting. I'm really excited to see kind of how far this one goes. Rats also starting to find gaps in between Spargo's hitboxes. Oftentimes, Corn will be able to toss out one to two hitboxes, but right there, we're underneath the back air, and then you're able to intercept, forcing Spargo into a really awkward position. The up B is just such a good tool for Corn in this match in particular. How do you intercept that? The, the wings are so disjointed that Sonic has, or Sonic rather, excuse me, has a lot of trouble intercepting it. And then also, you have a little bit of involvement on startup. Yeah, exactly. It's one of those things where it's like, you know, I'm sure if you are somebody that plays this matchup a lot, or if you're a corn main that really knows the limits of your character, you can find ways to poke it out. But in the heat of a moment set where you're fighting someone at the caliber of Spargo, it's so difficult to make that mental calculus and say, okay, this is where I can position for this forward and backer, making it just absolutely so safe. And there's so many moves in Smash that things happen so fast that even though on paper there might be an option, it's just a good option because, hey, like, are you really going to be able to cover that uh, in this moment? And it's pretty cool to see Spargo, like, finding a character that I think presents those challenges with Sonic a lot. And it's what makes it such a lethal, um, a lethal solution to this, uh, to this hedgehog. Beast Mode Paul defeats Lou Money 3-1. The nice. Buzz also in top five. I like that there's always, like, one liquid rep even when the other falls. That's dope. Yeah, good stuff, and really diverse character cast for the top five as well. So now we're on that do or die situation here. Wrath definitely trying to extend this set, force a game five situation, and at 93, in a solid position to do so, but all of a sudden, trying to rush in and kind of catching blow after blow from Spargo. This is getting a little bit, a little bit disconcerting here. Spargo's landing these hits really well. We gotta get Spargo in disadvantage. That's finally what we're seeing. Can Rat guard the landing? Not particularly well. All of a sudden, one hit the back what? air. What? Platform, what coverage? Oh my god. You know, if, if, if Spargo loses this, I think I'd rather... I would love to watch Spargo versus the Buzz. If uh, Sonic's and Shinemark don't mind. There it is. I'm gonna ask him. Because that would be, be dope. One of those matchups you don't get to see often, but of course, due to Coinbox's nature, any any set could be the one that you know you play an unlikely bracket opponent. And Wrath making it look very possible to make this upset. I mean, there you see another catch on the platform, and that's one of the things with Corn is that once they get used to you swinging on a landing, this is kind of an issue with a lot of the Fire Emblem characters. You have to resort to just landing, you know, air dodging and then drifting. And if you land on that platform, Sonic is one of those characters that can burst perfectly into that range and land a really strong back air and just close out sets and that having that uh, not only move to do but also the ability to position yourself with all the speed of sonic to cover those platforms with back air is so important in closing out uh games versus uh you know a player like sonic or Spar uh, spargo sorry who i mean has made so many comebacks yeah it's worth kind of actually going to see if Spargo is able to avoid the reversed 3-0 too. Like, this is not a player that you typically think won't have that extra adaptation. Usually, Spargo incredibly intelligent and understands what needs to happen when he's getting turned around on. So I'm, I'm really curious to see if we're going to see a little bit of flair right here. We do get the Nair back air, and that is one thing in this character's kit that makes this matchup tolerable. You get consistent kill confirms at mid to high percentages, and now all of a sudden, you don't need to press. Now it's... Fargo that can go ahead and hold back and wait for Rat to rush in. Yeah, I mean, well said, like, uh, being able to kind of mode switch where you've been on the back pedal for the last two games and now you're oh the one my with the God. lead. Commentator's curse. That's going to be Rat closing out that edge guard with a back air. Now the seats and the tables have turned back into a situation where Rath might be the one driving again. Very true, all the momentum in the world after that interception. What lead indeed. Trying to go ahead and use the uppy to get at a disadvantage, and this is what you have to dodge. That perfect neutral air dodge gets Rat at a disadvantage for a split second, but we are right back in the blender. These up airs are just chewing Rat's stock away. Able to get some grace uh, landing on that platform, and still Spargo continues on with this pressure. The forward air connects, and now you get a fourth throw on the ledge, and this can be a big ledge trap opportunity. We saw the last stock being taken on the ledge, but able to get through it now, Wrath, with an opportunity. The 
Side B is going to be a really good option at covering those spin dashes at that mid range that a lot of characters can't really punish. The forward air comes through on the down tilt. So close here, even though Wrath, you know, down 50%, could definitely find a way to close out a stock right now versus wow. Spargo, but Spargo covering the air dodge with a forward smash. Very well done. So accurate with that needle forward smash, man, especially the sweet spot. And now it's Spargo's game. Kind of set the close here. Gets the counter on the spin dash. He's reading every single drift pattern that Wrath has. Wrath finds a backer, though. Oh, my goodness. And we have a last stock sitch. I can't believe how good Wrath is at making these little, tiny adjustments mid-set. Like, I, I, two or three times in a row now, we've seen Spargo try to pull away, and then Wrath catches something off stage. Oh. Are we going to see it again? Have to DI down to grab that ledge. That was going to be terrifying if Spargo was caught out with that a jump. This oh, that's it. Reversal. No double jump. It's over. Oh, Rath my drop. God. The Reverse? Three. Oh. What? It was almost too easy. <sighs> wow. There you Not go. Not only a reverse 3-0, but three stolen stocks in that game five. Every single time, it was Rat adapting to what Spargo was doing off stage and giving no opportunity to recover. <sighs> wow. I'm sure. I mean. What a way to start this top eight. You thought the, the jelly bean tacos are crazy, but Raph just beat Spargo, sending Spargo to the loser side in a reverse 3-0 Sonic versus Corrin. Oh my goodness. What what a shocker. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I still feel like I'm not ready for this block and we're already here. I think uh, are we gonna try to get the bus Spargo? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the bus Spargo. I'm gonna see if Sonic Shiny Mark are okay with playing off stream, just for the sake of time. And because, all right, yeah, Shiny Mark says it's fine. All right, so we're gonna have Sonic Shiny Mark actually off stream, and we're gonna do something a little different and do losers quarters because we almost never see Spargo to buzz. So press one for Spargo versus the buzz coming on right now. Let's get it. Something a little different. Oh, for sure. All it's, two great competitors. I'm yeah. curious now, though, what character does DeBuzz go here? Because we, we've seen him play against Spargo a couple times offline, but the online mix-up looks like the Rose has been the pick for tonight. Do you think we're going to stick with that? Oh, uh, it could be. could be. It's definitely interesting because Spargo's repertoire of characters, I think when you think about it a little bit, you're like, wait a minute, Spar all of Spargo's characters probably do pretty well into Rosa, but the buzz is so crafty that we could definitely be seeing uh, a combination of that uh, Rosa, maybe some of that Steve. I mean, he's definitely made it this far in the bracket, so I'm not sure if we're going to be getting the Steve right now, but we could be seeing the Olimar, the Min Min, or the um, Rosa. I'm not sure, actually. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm coming in a little bit. Uh, lack of knowledge here, but I I'm not sure what DeBuzz has been playing in bracket thus far. If anyone in chat has been watching the DeBuzz stream, uh, what what has been what what characters have has DeBuzz been playing today? Uh, the that buzz, are warm? yeah, he's been he's been going a variety of, of characters like okay, um, but I feel like he's he's been sticking to Rosa. I've seen some Min Min more often too, but uh, not too much Steve. But I could be wrong. Oh shoot, Steve is banned this tournament, right? Exactly, Steve is banned. Okay. Okay, cool. Not, uh, as a matter of fact, not Steve. Um, well, thank you for reminding me, chat. But um, looks like looks like Rosa, according to uh, what what he's been playing the rest of the bracket. But it's the Buzz, one of the most crafty players ever. Uh, so we'll see what the Buzz is going to be able to pull out here. Well, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm I'm one Wrath Sonic's grands away from uh, letting letting the Steves free. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like at this point. But then it, well, the funniest part was Wrath Sonics was Grands when Steve was legal. So no. it's just, there's a confusing side effect here. When the Steves are free, they beat all the other people that could beat the Sonics. <laughs> and then the Sonics prosper. It's, it's very bizarre. It's very bizarre. It's, it's, it's confusing to even think about. But uh, here we are. So the Buzz Spargo. You, sh you should make a food chain video where you make the food chain of coin box top eights. Like, what characters can take out the apex predator that is Sonic? And then Steve is like the invasive species the that no one chain. likes. <laughs> like, like, a, like a food chain, like it's just crazy with all 70 characters. Who's at, who's at the very bottom of the food chain? Who's like, uh, who's like... Ganondorf, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ganondorf, okay. Probably Jigglypuff. And then you got... <laughs> That'd be crazy.
But looks like we're going to be getting uh, the Min Min from Debuzz. I'm a big fan of Min Min. I know it sounds weird, but I actually really like watching Min Min play. Shout out to uh, Justice and Peckham, um, two of my favorite players to watch. Uh, I feel like Min Min, you never know what to expect. Like, um, it's one of those characters that is known for being really, really good at, you know, controlling the distance, but also having like a kind of uh, surprising aggressive edge to them. So as we're seeing now, Debuzz with a rush down, kind of running at Spargo, but finally gets punished and oh, no punish on that high limit cross slash, but still some control for Debuzz here. I'm digging the reverse nares too from Spargo. Just one of those where as long as Debuzz does not hit an aggressive button, that's gonna catch and then immediately lead into back air if it's a weak hit. But that spot dodge into forward smash, great recognition right there from Spargo that Debuzz is likely gonna be trying to go ahead and get that slow and very delayed grab out there, get that empowered dragon laser and a little bit of momentum going. Yeah, and uh, so far, I mean, Spargo playing really, really well around um, Min Min's disadvantage state. It's really important that you don't get too swingy when you get in the face of Min Min because you're not looking to call out um, them, you know, being close, but you're looking to call them out for whatever option they go for when you're near them. Oh my goodness, Spargo going for the uh, suicide upbeat. I can't believe it. It actually working out. Doesn't get the spike hitbox, but the buzz not ready to tech that. Crazy stuff from Spargo saying, hey, my stock, uh, I'll, I'll trade it gladly. I talked to Pink Fresh about this character a couple times, and he mentioned that one of the biggest frustrating things about Min Min is that the character just feels like it's got an off switch when you're off stage. If you have lingering hitboxes, there's literally nothing Min Min can do sometimes. And we've already kind of seen that right now. Now we're having to fade away to dodge those projectiles, trying for the trump, but instead, just the down tilt to actually catch the miss tech. I'm digging it. Now we have limit, we have up air, trying to land desperately as the buzz, still trying to seize the first stock of the set right here, given that Spargo cashed that one in for free. Yeah, well, it's through been, back. yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, it's it's been absolutely just a, a terror uh, for Debuzz, uh, Spargo's uh, advantage stage, just holding, not only juggling, but also covering these uh, landings and offstage play so well, tries to go for a dash or a, a down tilt there, gets punished with an up smash. I mean, what do you do? It's just so smothering. Yep. It's crazy stuff from Spargo. I mean, you just, you're just... You're just constantly on the back foot as the buzz here. Uh, the buzz, you know, started off the game uh, with like a really, really aggressive play style, getting the ram ram, going for a lot of these nares and trying to be the one smothering Spargo. But once Spargo got some control, it became real difficult. It feels as though this is an interesting character choice too from Spargo because we've seen primarily Corn the whole evening. Now we're tossing in a little bit more of the cloud, and this is a character that doesn't really line up particularly well for Debuzz. Like, do you really want to go ahead and go Rosa and just get Luma smacked away by back air after back air, or do you want to go Min Min, and then if Cloud ever gets in, you're just instantly dead off stage? It, it feels as though character matchup-wise, this perhaps is a matchup that Debuzz is going to struggle with a wee bit. But, I mean, we've seen tons of extra characters from Debuzz. We've seen tons of that craftiness that you've been talking about, PJ. So I wouldn't be surprised if Debuzz has one or two more tricks up his sleeves. Looks like the yeah, buzz. Uh, uh, go for it. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, the buzz is one of the is one of the trickiest players to really uh, nail down. Like no matter what, I feel like the buzz uh, has an answer in his brain. It's just a matter of if he can execute it that given day. What were you gonna say, Hbox? Oh no, um, I was. Gonna, I thought the buzz didn't uh, pick the character in the start D, but now second amendment on uh, FD as well. Uh, I'm surprised the struggle left it open, but I guess he was pretty confident in fighting him here. Yeah, I think what what I saw game one was it was actually Spargo the one that was kind of bullying the buzzes disadvantage state in terms of getting juggled. So Spargo is saying, you know what? I know this is a, it's kind of like baiting, right? Where it's like, I know Min Min players want to go FD, but I've been juggling so well. I'm going to leave FD open and kind of lean on that advantage state. Like, okay, I trust myself to just juggle you forever. And so far, I mean, it's been working out, but the buzz uh, having a much closer game as well. So kind of a catch-22 here for Spargo. Goes for the Nair to catch the up. He doesn't find the connection as the buzz now has a little bit of pressure on Spargo off stage. No two-frame attempt, but goes off with a nice. double Nair, and that's going to be Spargo's stock. Very, very crafty. Instead of going for a second two-frame, just running off and going for the Ram Ram Nair. I like that a lot. Can, can you can you perfect parry the entire cross slash on limit break? Uh, oh, you should be able to. I've never seen anybody be able to do that, but you can return to shield after a parry, and then you can drop that again. So you do have a little bit of invuln during there. I think the smartest thing to do is you can actually drop shield to get the parry off for the last hit. So if you're if you're really if you want a party, that's what you're going for if you're trying to be optimal. But good God, if you mess that one up, then you're taking a ton of damage and looking a little bit foolish. 
Oh, trying for that forward air. Aggressive offstage is Fargo, too. Trying to show the buzz that he's not the only one to go ahead and get stocks early offstage, but instead that one misses, and that gives the buzz a couple chances to swing back and get full stage control yet again. Uh, real quick, any mods uh, in the chat as well as HBox? Um, there's a technical yeah. difficulty. Which, yeah, you see it? Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah guys, guys, make sure you... Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll put it in the chat. Okay, great. Um... Sorry to, to interrupt there, but... All right, yeah. All right, so Minmin full stage control does manage to get that stock as well. No resources left for Spargo. Not nearly enough limit to be able to charge that one up. So instead, now we have a little bit of a lead for the buzz, but the question is really, what can you make of it? This is the problem with Final D is without those platforms to get kind of any mix-ups, it is so hard to get out of the corner against Cloud. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I mean, up smash instead. Yeah, a character that that already struggles in disadvantage. Today. Spargo, as well, just adding that extra edge of being one of the most smothering players in Smash Ultimate, and another stock falling to being stuck in the corner versus Spargo. This is, I mean, a nightmare for Min Min players. I'm sure the buzz keeping it this close. I mean, might be a part of the stage, but I think also just a part of what makes the buzz so special, and it's that craftiness we've been talking about. Ooh, that's a big landing catch. The limit or the blade beam's not able to catch the high recovery, which is good for the buzz, but Spargo with the center stage control and the lack of out of shield options to cover that full hop forward air makes it difficult for the buzz to get any sort of space while Spargo is freely swinging with that sword. Nice backer to cover the jump from ledge. The blade beam finally connecting, and we're going to see Spargo going for a trump situation. The backer comes through, and I like to, I mean, Spargo being up a stock, or not up a stock, sorry, having control of the ledge, and just saying, you know what, I'm not even going to go off stage and risk getting reversal. I'm just going to sit here and eventually find the stock. I mean, it's very important that uh, you don't get too antsy for the kill, and Spargo's going to be very good at finding it in the most safe way possible, hopefully, here. I'm really interested in the, the commitment to Ram Ram too. It's covering jumps, but here's the problem. Spargo is, was at 85%. If you're not trying to swing out with that megawatt, you're never gonna kill with that Ram Ram. You have to go ahead and seize control and then keep it. But the problem was DeBuzz is always one hit away from losing the stock and losing the game. And all Spargo needed was that one good read with the dash attack and that'll seal the deal. Yeah, exactly. So do, now, do, you, do you stay here? What do you think, Scabs? I mean, if Final D's open and I'm min min, I'm going Final D every time. That character just so good on that stage. Is there no is there no yeah, point sure. in going Rosa? I can't Good remember question. if the buzz has gone Rosa in this matchup particularly frequently. It is not great for Rosa. Like the character just it struggles to recover. No hitbox on that up beat. It's go. relatively vulnerable and floaty. Oh, all right. Looks like we are going for Rosa oh, though. So no. we're gonna try. <laughs> we got trolled. <laughs> <laughs> The program trolled me. I don't know why. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think a big part of that, like, like you were saying, like, uh, Scabs was saying, sorry, it, it's, it's like, it's really diff It's just a difficult matchup for Rosa. But I also think that stages have a lot to do with it. Like, maybe on a certain stage, Rosa might have a chance. But I think Spargo leaving FD open just tempts the min min so well uh, that it's like, why wouldn't you go min min FD? But it's still rough. I mean. I don't remember the last time that Spargo played like a top level minman, but he seems to be very, very practiced in this matchup. For sure, piloting the character very effectively. Now we're trying to go ahead and see if DeBuzz can fight out of corner. That's really been the matchup so far, is that DeBuzz gets back to stage, gets stuck in corner, and then either kills Spargo immediately with full stage control or loses full stage control and then struggles. Right there, finally, stock one going to Buzz's way. Now, can Spargo use the pin bowl? Thank you, Ryan, once again. This man's been dropping tons of members all day. Thank you, Ryan, for those YouTube members. Our yeah, I mean, <laughs> shout out to Ryan. Um, no, exactly, Scabs. It's like, you know, you're, you're in the corner so much because but what's difficult is, is Spargo is just so solid at juggling Min Min that you're forced, you're forced to land in the corner or try to, you know, find a way back to the ledge where it's a little bit of a safe space. But it's exactly that. Is, it's the buzz getting out of the corner and also holding that stage control. It's just so important. I'm digging that jump away, though, from the buzz. That was really tricky. Yeah. Just using as much invuln as possible to get around that limit cross slash setup. You know that Spargo was tossing out as many hitboxes as possible in that corner pressure spot. Yo, can can someone in chat try right now? Do me do do a test. Can you can you guys try opening an arena? I think, crazily enough, there is a, a very 
large outage right now of oh no nintendo arena hosting abilities no one can host an arena mine is the only one that's open which means if i shut down this arena coin box is over tonight so i'm gonna be very careful i think i can host but i can't join other arenas which means what does this mean this is a what a dilemma a conundrum in fact what do you got going on tomorrow hbox <laughs> what do, how, i've never seen this before uh can someone yeah i can't close the arena okay can someone and the worst part is my switch uh, every once in a while just for no reason turns off um oh. if it comes down to the worst of it we'd split the prize five ways but like i don't want to do that um can someone look up if there's an outage on nintendo's part that's very very weird all right we got to talk about how blessed you are though if you're the only person that can play smash ultimate online right now you're either incredibly blessed or cursed one of the two that's right hbox production baby <laughs> so we have some people in chat able to make arenas maybe it's a regional thing do yeah. something with your switch it <laughs> it is a regional thing from what I understand. Okay. Okay, the buzz on the board though. The board. Okay. Yeah, we were yeah, talking we about it. Yeah, we, we we were talking about like, oh, I'm gonna see the Rosa switch, but you know, sometimes if you give uh Min Min FD twice, you know, they're just gonna go back and they're gonna run it back and it actually works out in his favor. The buzz doing a lot of right things. I think what Scabs was talking about, and I think focusing on very rightfully so, was how was the buzz getting out of the corner and these small like little drift back jumps, situations where it seems very telegraphed on where you're gonna try to get back to the stage. Um the buzz was making really, really good mix ups. Um good good find there uh from Scabs. I mean one of my favorite co-casters. I, I love when somebody's just wa like so intently looking at something that I'm just not paying attention to, and it just makes it so much deeper. Thanks, thanks for catching that. I have people oh, in chat. Thank you so much, PJ. I have people in chat saying I keep fighting Japanese tags in one v one tourney from my region. So that's a kind of an interesting ass glitch there. Apparently, they're <laughs> they're being placed in other regions now. That's kind of yo same. Oh my god. This is bizarre. There's a you. Hey, if you want to, if you want to play Smashmate Junior for a little bit, I'd go online right now, because uh, on Wednesday the servers get region unlocked. Is this true? Is that a thing? Wow. That always happens Wednesday night. I didn't really see. I would have never known that because we do coin box Wednesday nights. It's worldwide Wednesdays. It's a thing. That's such an insane thing, and I also wouldn't know because I'm always, <laughs> I'm always watching Coin Box. That's crazy. Worldwide Wednesdays is a great name. I mean, oh. I got to talk to somebody in Nintendo to figure out who made that choice. Just yeah, like, yeah. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do region lock for every single night, but every now and then, as a treat, you can fight people from a million miles away with all the ping in the world. Yeah, you can't fight know, people right? in Latin America, but Japan, no problem. <laughs> 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 all right. Yo, the buzz actually kind of smoother. Drunk by 9 a.m. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll drink to that, sir. Okay, my drink is next to my switch. I'm afraid of even getting near my. You, you ever like poke the switch by accident with your finger? Just bump it, and the entire game crashes, and then off, you go offline. It's so sensitive. So I'm being careful. Yeah, that doc is uh, holding on with. Uh prayers and thoughts because they I mean you gotta hope you gotta hope that thing's not gonna disconnect on accident i've definitely done that in bracket matches before and just blame the monitor <laughs> actually so, uh, somebody switched during a tournament match oh my god guys the monitor went black do you guys want to change setups to prevent that from happening again totally not me by the way i remember somebody put a plastic cup down and it undocked the switch <laughs> and i was like that's so unfortunate dude who's the second best cloud Oh, good question. Is there even a second cloud? That would be my man, Enhanced PV. Thank you very much. Enhanced? Is it really Enhanced PV? I, I genuinely don't know. I think that there's a few folks in uh, in Japan that are PR'd with cloud, but I mean, I'm, I'm biased. Enhanced is the man. I know he's good, but damn. You would think like, the character, the main that the rank two in the world uses would be more prevalent, right? It's kind of crazy. Like, there's tons of Steve's, tons of Sonic's, tons of 
Game and watches, but yeah. oh, N Nico is up there. Yeah, good point. Nico, not not oh, yeah, Nico from Cali, but Nico from Texas. Yeah. Oh, Edge smooth. guard from the buzz. Hold on, are we getting a game five? I'd love the it. The making the comeback here. You will have oh. to see that. All the buzz needs is just a few moments to actually play neutral, but Spargo doing a really good job of jumping away, using those platforms to get some verticality, and more importantly, to get some limit. <gasps> I feel like once we get limit cross slash or oh limit, oh my god, we're gonna get it. The what? neutral air will catch the buzz as deep off stage as Min Min can go. Wow, dude, he's actually doing game five. Spargo to buzz. Jeez, I, I was gonna say like. It's really important that Spargo is camping the platforms to get limit because limit enables like that one extra mix up so that the two frame isn't so easy so that you can't just run off and ram ram there. But unfortunately, Spargo is just unable to get that limit charge and that causes the buzz just be able to run off with a ram ram there, clean stuff. And uh, that's just sometimes how it goes as Min Min. Like you're expecting those two frames to be the uh, end or, you know, those high percent situations, but sometimes you just run off. Uh, with Cloud Force solo recovery and catch it twice. That was Hold gonna be up, game five. I just realized, did we not see Spargo get reverse 3 0 by Wrath? Yep. Are we gonna see that again? Twice in the same coin box? Oh, two different characters. It, it could happen, dude. It might just be the buzz this time. It, it might be. I mean, this would be an insane way to... I know, I know commentators say that a lot, but it would be an insane way to start this coin box top eight. A double reverse... 3-0 on Spargo, but Spargo is going to do his best to write that out of the history books now with almost full limit, 28%, and just holding this ledge, as we were talking about in game number two, the biggest thing that can be a problem for the buzz in this matchup is getting out of the corner versus Spargo, and unfortunately there gets a little bit of space to get back to center, but instead opting to go for a reversal, and that's going to cause a big... A big uh, opportunity for Spargo to continue this ledge trap, but man, it's been so back and forth on this ledge, but it's been Spargo with the percent lead so far. Real talk, what we've been getting here is that Spargo, when he commits to back air, the buzz can't do a dang thing. The problem only pops up when Spargo tries to go ahead and break up that pattern and get a kill. And really, two or three times in a row, the buzz has guessed correctly and gotten an opportunity to get back to center stage. But I mean, eventually that back air is actually just going to kill. So give it another 20, 30% or so, and we may not need to see any kind of a pattern break. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's also, it's like so much uh, mental tax to like, like be ready to just catch, like, I, I don't know what I'm trying, oh, what I'm trying to say is Spargo is like, yeah, it's so, it's easy to say like, you know, you have to just punish the back airs, like obviously it can't be that good, but it's Spargo, like his timing mix up is going to be absolutely insane on that corner. Um, I, I'm flabbergasted right now by, um, what's going on here. I mean, yeah. Spargo's been playing this. It's, it's such a different uh, game than game number four. Yeah. Actually, really good at giving the character. Thank you, Ryan, too, for the five dollars. But Spargo, it's just one of the gods of holding onto the stock as long as the game physically lets him. It's just like it doesn't matter how. Oh, okay. Minman has that grapple. Thank God for the grabs, eh? I, mean, I don't mind him. I'm, I'm a buff player. <laughs> That's true. You can, you can tether all you want. But Spargo figuring it out, saying I'm not gonna get reverse throw twice. Hopefully. Even finding extra credit on the top there too. The buzz cannot find this kill. Yeah, there's also yeah, I mean, no music on the stage, so there's definitely some interesting mishaps happening on the current state of affairs for online Smash Bros. Okay. Yeah, big big juggle start there. Gets the double up till landing with that four there. So safe versus Min Min. The four there comes through, tries to catch a double jump. The buzz, even though, you know, burning both of the arms saying, oh, it's okay, I'm just going to recover low and continue yep, there it is. Uh, to be safe here. And that's so important to not and potentially come back here. The side B from Spargo going off with a crazy edge guard. We haven't seen Spargo going for those, but since, you know, with the three stock to one lead, but now... We might see a more calculated approach from Spargo on this bed trap. Once again, these backers coming through the spot dodge after the roll get up just doesn't matter as Spargo just covers it beautifully. There's two two gimps against the best sorty user in the world. Two quick gimps. I mean it, it's not it's good definitely luck. not out of the realm, but yeah, I know. Good luck, but also it's not out of the realm of possibility, especially with Min Min. 
For sure, sure, but I mean, if anybody's trying to put money on that, I, I got five that I can go ahead and put down <laughs> for sure. Now we got to buzz, trying to get back to stage. That getup attack, phenomenal use of an underutilized option. Definitely a little bit of a risky spot right there, catching the miss tech two on the plat. And now it is hit box city, carrying Wait. Spargo all the way off stage. I mean, H box, oh! you might have spoke that into being, but no. Imagine oh, losing to ramen update. noodles, dude. No. Oof. But Spargo gets the closure. Very, very nice. To move on to top four. Well done from Spargo to stop the double reverse 3-0 and move on into loser side. As um, now we're getting, we're going to be getting, uh, I, I, are we jumping back to the winner side now is what I'm assuming? Yeah, so we're actually going to end up watching Shining Mark versus Sonics after all. And uh, I'm not sure if Skiff is here, but I'm going to have Skiff host uh, the other room. Well, I guess, yeah, after this is done. It's going to take a little longer than usual because of the issues we were having. But uh, it is what it is, so we'll see what we can do. Yeah, at least we got enough folks online in the coin box crew to keep these matches running. Shout outs to the folks that are in the Whoa. scenes of making this happen. Broke by nine. You know what? Drinking a hand, guys. Cheers to that, my friends. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Drunk by 9 a.m., keeping my midnight oil going. Right. Uh, Isaiah, thank you for the $2 super chat. Um, all right. Sonics versus Shiny Mark. It's become another online classic. Put some D9s in the chat for Drunk by 9 a.m. Um, and yeah, basically as soon as they lose this, as soon as this is done, we'll do winners finals and then run quarters in tandem at the same time, hop to loser semis, same as usual. But that was a great set between the buzz and the buzz and, the uh, and the Spargo. That was actually really fun to watch. Yeah. I'm really glad we were able to get that one. Uh, unfortunately, um, I mean, how could, how could you prepare for that? Like what a random outage to happen on a Wednesday night, but. Nonetheless, we're going to be moving out of the bracket back to uh, Shiny Mark versus Sonics. I was just in Guatemala, so maybe I could give Shiny Mark a little bit of a power up here. Maybe you can. Drunk by 9 a.m. Five more tier twos. Another 10 subs, pretty much. Thank you so much, man. Wow. Subs are flying. Shout out to that. Sonics and Shiny Mark. Let's get it. Gentlemen, take it away. I'm going to use the bathroom really quick. Yeah, um, this is one of those matches that we uh, see quite often here at Coinbox and uh, one that has kind of a little bit of controversy steeped in it with Shiny Mark uh, really implementing the campier play style. But I, I really like the way that Shiny Mark is kind of moving uh, with the character. Like, it's it's easy to be like, oh, it's it's like lame or whatever. But I think it's cool to see like the absolute limits. Thank you to Buzz for the raid. The Buzz, that's uh, the raid, Absolute huh? limits of these characters. Yeah, in addition, like, there are some play styles that you just have to go ahead and pull out against certain characters. Like, Sonic is a character that can go ahead and move with the best of them. The, the dash speed is just absolutely phenomenal. And then also he can play incredibly mix-up heavy with those spin dash cancels. So do you really want to run at that? Is, that? is that what you want Shiny Mark to do? Or do you want to go ahead and have this character use his great movement options with that up B and then use that projectile, which Sonic lacks, to go ahead and try to force approaches? Like, you, you got to go ahead and feel for the players. Like, you know that they're doing what they need to go ahead and get that paycheck. Because with $3,000 on the line, I mean, I'm doing whatever it takes to go ahead and get that dub. Yeah, exactly. And one of the things that um, Shiny Mark does is it goes for that stall. And it's a really, really smart option. I mean, it forces you to always be on your toes on, um, you know, what ledge you're going to have to ledge trap Shiny Mark on. As I say, that's... Sonic's hitting a big forward smash, but you know, see there, you commit to another forward smash thinking, okay, Shiny Mark might get, you know, a little antsy, just trying to get back to the ledge, but you're ending up on the other side of the stage. So, man, it's rough to catch this mouse. Agree. Yeah, even for a character like uh, Sonic. It is relatively low risk to toss out those forward smashes, though, given the fact that, like, Uppy does so little damage. And you can usually go ahead and try to extend your hitbox right there and catch either the ledge or an aggressive attempt to catch you with that Uppy with something like even an up smash, too. If you got those disjoints, you can toss that out and try to just beat out that relatively small hitbox. But, oh, no, a little bit of a buffer issue off stage for Sonics. Looks like that neutral beat caught Sonics trying to go ahead and hit an up B, but instead just spin dashes down to the depths. Yeah, and unfortunately, it caught, cost, uh, sorry, it caught the double jump as well, so you couldn't even double jump out of the move to cancel it. That's so unfortunate. 
some of those situations are absolutely crucial in this set, and we're going to see Shiny Mark at his best attempt to run away with it. Gets a down throw here, and that's going to be double up air, back air, big damage so far, especially if, you know, that, time, uh, that timer uh, kind of starts ticking down. Um, any percent is good percent for Shiny Mark here on this one stock lead. Scrambling for the center stage here and really utilizing the shield really, really well. And knowing sometimes it's good to jump away and start throwing out those T jolts, but it's also equally as good to stand your ground in center stage and pull up that shield and kind of wait to see what Sonic is going to do on shield. And wow, you, at, at any moment where you're like, can Pikachu make it back from there? Shiny Mark definitely has a has an angle in his uh, tool belt to get, get back to the ledge because I can't believe he lived that. For sure, yeah, this character, the answer is always yes, Pikachu can make it back because this easily top five recovery in the game in my book. Like the upbeat just gives you so many permutations of those angles and how can you cover them all? Yeah, so right. I mean, even for a character like Sonic, it's just, it's just impossible. No, exactly. It's like now you're underneath the stage, you stall the thunder, and then you have to take a 50-50. Is he going to go left? Is he going to go right? There's there's no tell right there. And look at that. Using the upbeat, but we are seeing that there is a little bit of lag at the very tail end of it. So if Sonic can go ahead and, like, DI down and then be ready in a spot with either, like, say, a down tilt or a forward smash, you can get punishes. But uh, the problem is you have to guess right. <laughs> and so many opportunities for Shiny Mark to go ahead and force you to guess wrong and then get a hard punish afterwards if you try to overcommit. Yeah, I mean, okay, Shiny Mark so far has been absolutely elusive this last knock. Just cannot, uh, Sonic cannot get a meaningful hit, finally getting a backer there. But from coast to coast at 152, it's not going to be enough. And yeah, the thing about that stall that's really good is that um, at higher percent, you get led, less ledge invincibility, but the longer you're off stage, the more you get. So you're able to stall really long off stage and then just grab the ledge and still be unto frameable. So, so important. Dog, we are four minutes in, and this Pikachu has not lost a stock yet. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> this is just insane survivability. Finally, after we pass the four-minute mark, Shiny Mark's first stock is gone. Just showing the survivability of this Pikachu if you just don't allow yourself to be in areas where your opponent can toss out those hefty hitboxes. No back airs, no forward smashes, nothing connecting at kill percent. Now, Shiny Mark has the opportunity to press. We've got advantage. We've got a huge, healthy stock and percent lead. Yeah, and it's important here for Shiny Mario, like, okay, I'm taking some damage, but it's important to not give those scared air dodges or, or going for those really, really panicky options because Sonic, that's when Sonic is able to get those really big punishes that, you know, end True. up getting you gimped. Even as a character like Pikachu, everyone gets forward smash at 60 on the ledge by Sonic, and that's going to be your stock. Yeah, that's a really good point, PJ. Like, the panic options are so difficult to not toss out occasionally. It's one yeah. of those things where people don't really realize that a lot of these characters, when they're playing defensively and they're not hitting buttons, it's kind of fun to hit buttons in this game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. It takes a real, like, iron will to play super defensively and never overextend. But, I mean, in the Battle of the Wills, it kind of feels like Sonic is starting to pull away right here. That lead that we talked about, the 100 or so percent that Shiny Mark had in the back pocket has started to evaporate. Like, we're at the point now where a forward smash with solid rage may very well kill Pikachu. But as soon as I talk about that rage, Sonic gets it stripped away with that great confirm there with the forward tilt at the end. I'm not sure if that was a DI mix-up, but because if you go for the drag down down smash there, I think it sends to the left. But uh, mm -hmm. Shiny Bar opting for the forward tilt there, just, you know, I think it's also, if it wasn't a DI mix-up, just a, a really smart option. Good stuff from Shiny Mark getting the best punish he could out of that situation. As uh, you see Sonic absolutely running at full pace to Shiny Mark, knowing that, you know, if you can continue to smother, there's not a lot of time for Shiny Mark to reversal. And now it's one minute left. And this could be, this is a timeout situation with only a 10% lead for Shiny Mark. So we get down to the 50 second mark. The forward air comes through 4% only on those two hits of forward air. And Sonic playing safe here. Obviously, you don't want to get reversal because that big combo potential from Pikachu could definitely just be the end of the stock or end of the game, sorry, as we now have a bit of a bigger lead for Shiny Mark, but still, I mean, you got a lot to do if you're Sonic here. I know 20% doesn't seem like a lot, but if you're literally never getting hit, it can be a mountain to climb. Agreed. I mean, this is, I hope you like oh. coin flips because we're in for a series of 50-50s and whoever guesses right might be walking away with it. Only 0.5% now separates these two players. One T jolt starts to widen the gap right here. And now Shiny Mark, absolutely no desire to interact. But we guess right. Three times in a row there, Shiny Mark went to the left and Sonic finally oh. caught on. 
Sonic had a lead for a while, but the T Jolt came through and I was able to shift it back. Now Sonic, the one running away with it. Can Shiny Mark get the downer? No, he does not. He goes for it all there, and that's going to be Sonic with a timeout. It is so difficult to play that win condition versus Sonic's, and that's going to be Sonic's taking game number one. Oh my goodness. It literally came down to the last neutral interaction. That last panic option we were talking about. Mm -hmm. I was talking about how it can kill you, but it could literally just shift it by 10%, and that's the game. Oh my god. Literally 10%. That's all it was. It was one single hit separated these two from victory and defeat. And at the very end, Sonic hit him up with that little taunt, letting Shiny Mark know that you're too slow. Because that was not about character speed that caught it up. That was the mental speed right there. Sonic's had a game plan, stuck with it, and managed to, in the pivotal moment, prove that he's just a little bit more clutch. Exactly. And Shiny Mark had a lead going into that last minute mark, but. Sorry, uh, Sonics was able to just make that come back in a major way. Back to small battlefield here. But that's going to be, uh, it's going to be game number one in the books, man. We waited so long for the set to happen and immediately <laughs> game one is a timeout situation. Oh my goodness. Listen, we tried to ice the players out, so they had to return the favor to us. Am I right? Yeah, exactly. It's funny because you're what I I, uh, I say this a lot whenever I talk about and especially after commenting with you, but you're one of the people that I think embodies like the suit and tie commentary in Smash Ultimate. Like I don't that's a that's a compliment by the way. I don't mean to be mean. I don't know if you would take it that way anyway. But um, like I want to see how long it takes to break your will because <laughs> this because this will break your will. Like no matter how good of a commentator you are, if you have to commentate enough of these timeouts, it becomes really difficult to be a suit and tie. Um, I, I feel like you took one set to break two of these happen. Me and Jet, I think oh, no. I, got, I, I got broken. Like, like I'll, I'll admit, Jet, Jet was hanging on. Jet's the goat, B bigger man than me because I, I gave up. Like, I had to. It was like it was Sonic, Sonic's two Nesses, Wrath, and Shiny Mark. It was awful. That sounds like a fun topic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think the worst set that I ever had to do during quarantine, I, I did a set with, um, it was Rob Joker, and it was a Grand Finals Game 10 reset, and it went an hour and 10 minutes. An hour? An hour and 10 minutes. They, they did like two, they had three Game 5 sets that night, because Winner's Finals is also those two. It was like MJ and, uh, oh God, I can't remember the Joker's name. But yeah, it, it, I've, I've been in some rough sets online for sure, but uh, we'll have to see right here if Shiny Mark can go ahead and make sure that this one goes to the wire too. Yeah, I mean... The thing is that Shiny Mark milks a lot of the clock in literally everything that Pikachu does. If you're recovering, it's like taking four seconds. Comboing, it's taking four seconds. Everything is taking so much time, but in a blink of an eye, Sonic's able to close it out with that back here. And all that lead melts away now as Sonic's has a big lead here and a big initiative can continue to put on this percent. And uh, now you're going to be seeing Shiny Mark in a completely different mode now, having to take, take charge here and try to close out the stock. Agreed, and we talked a little bit about how that up has just an absolute ton of mix-up potential, but Sonic just kind of knows. Oh, no! Oh, we talk about the mix-up. That's definitely one you want back right there, the angle ever so slightly off, and now Shiny Mark, this, uh, this tiny deficit is starting to spiral out of control. Big dash attack from Shiny Mark to make this a one-stock to two situation. This is such... This might be one of the biggest... Um, challenges in Smash Ultimate is making this comeback versus Sonic's. Like, how do you come back to Socks and One here? We're going to have to see Shiny Mark pull out something absolutely crazy to make this comeback. And now you're seeing, uh, so far, Sonic's just not giving up, not even taking an, a hit while doing 51% to Shiny Mark's last stock. I mean, if he's got the switch in hand, then it might be time to pull out that lag switch because that might be the only way where you're getting back here cleanly. All of a sudden, all right, it's Wi Fi time and wireless time. Ice gets the downer into dash attack. I mean, any percent is good to start, but it's it might be one of those situations of a little too little too late because it's just going to be an absolute. I mean, I don't know how to make this come back. I, I'm not a competitor. Like, I'm not that good at this game, but this is one of those situations that it's just like, I would give up. I don't know how, how they do it. I really don't. Yeah, they're like, there are some players that have made comebacks like this. Like, I, I mean, my, my biggest one is my inspiration is, um, do you know Mike Hayes? Yeah, Mike Hayes, yeah. yeah. Old melee player. He used to just shout at people when he was down. Like oh, yeah. He would grab him, the chain grab him or wobble him with ice times. He would just scream. 
So that's that's what we need to do here. We need to have Shiny Mark perhaps rely on some out of game interactions to go ahead and try to lead into an in game victory. Yeah, I, I had a friend who had a hamster that would uh, eat her her wires. Time oh, to put no. the, time to put the hamster on the Ethernet. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> try, like try, you got you got to hope for some sort of some sort of animal or something to make this go because it's rough like i don't i don't mean to discredit shiny mark at all like no i i love shiny mark he's my my favorite player to watch right now but dude this is impossible what do you yeah do? it's just sonic sonic and advantage state like it's not about a player thing like sonics is a great player but this is also just what the character does the character is designed to work with a lead and make these comebacks incredibly difficult and you know sonic's game plan he understands this character front to back this is not something that is new to him He's been in this situation before, and that it just can make it super, super difficult. You have to play beyond just like winning one or two interactions in a row. You have to win for a solid two and a half minutes, and that's all the time you really got. It's it's easy to be like, oh, you know, okay, the one, two, three, not enough to close it. It's easy to be like, oh, it's one interaction at a time, but when you're down such a big deficit, you're also thinking about like, after I take this stock i gotta like really think about it and i like you have to oh i have to still you know take the last stock and i still have to win neutral like 15 times it's just so difficult and unfortunately uh I, not unfortunately for sonics of course but uh unfortunately for shiny mark uh, that's going to be sonics closing it out uh that game and the unfortunate sds on shiny mark's side just put the nail in the coffin it's crazy to see like when it's two stock to one and being like it's impossible i know it's it sounds like i'm discrediting shiny mark but it really is just me watching so much of sonics it demoralizes me and i'm just watching you know what i mean so shiny I mean, the Sonics, he, he has a crazy game plan for this you call it two stocks to one but really it feels like two players to one because in addition to having to beat sonics you have to beat the timer and we were at two minutes right there that is going to be one where do you really think that you can enough neutral interactions into two minutes to beat sonic <laughs> that's that's a tall order for any player yeah exactly as we get a little bit of a scenery change here onto fd for shiny mark but um i think the platforms are kind of becoming a little bit of a nuisance uh in the t-jolt game so what you saw in small battlefield is a lot of times pikachu players want to put a t-jolt on the ground but from the corner that big platform makes it difficult at times to like drift in with that t-jolt but now with no platform it's going to be easy for shiny mark to set up those really long range t-jolts in addition we already saw a couple of those nair loops those can lead to huge damage only 40 percent or so on the first one but uh good god i've seen pikachu players do filthy things on final b with nair Offstage opportunity, but we're going full commitment with the side B, and betting incorrectly means all of a sudden you've given up full advantage to Sonics. Now, stuck in the corner here is Shiny Mark, but does manage to make it out. Great shield at the end of that right there, recognizing that defensive options were in play. Missed tech, but can't get the jab lock. Unfortunate situation that Shiny Mark just barely missed out on. Yep, beat to the other side of the stage. Shiny Mark still keeping it safe here. Gets the rising air to punish that lag towards the ledge. You gotta respect Shiny Mark on the ledge there. And um, yeah, so I, I, I'm thinking about this now. Like one of the um, big weakness. Okay, the forward smash comes through. That's a big tide change. Once again, Shiny Mark having a big lead, but Sonic makes one call out and that's gonna be literally the stock. And now we're, we're at three stocks to two. I don't even know what I was gonna say, but man. Now you got a I'm, big amount to climb. Occasionally, you just guess right. And to be honest, I don't call those guesses too frequently. Like, it feels as though Sonic is so consistent in hitting those kinds of reads that it 100% is not a guess. This man is not out here saying, I'm just going to go ahead and believe for some reason that Shiny Mark goes left or right. It's entirely about that Sonic is actually a god at pattern recognition. And it's the smallest things, your jump angles, your up the angles, which side of the stage you're going to go on when you're underneath the platform, if you can get a read there. It feels as though Sonic's watches the game at an incredible level. Yeah, I mean, well said, Sonic's just being one of those players that makes those reads look like scheduled scheduled work for him, and now getting a two-stock to one situation once again for Shiny Mark. I do think that on this stage, it's a little bit more likely of a comeback scenario, but Sonic's is playing jump rope with these T-Jolts and just not taking any excess damage. And even when he does, it's literally just one straight hit, and takes a lot of stray hits and there might not even be enough time to get enough stray hits to 
make this comeback happen, but Shiny Mark's gonna just try to play safe, continue the game plan knowing, hey, I still have four minutes on the clock. Maybe Sonics will be the one to lose the patience, but so far, I mean, even if you're taking three hits, three single hits and Sonics is getting one, it just means so much more because you have that stock lead, especially as the time dwindles down. Yeah, it feels like the game plan was here, but the execution just unfortunately wasn't. And now Sonics is able to just jump around these T-Jolts and really like, you're getting three to four percentage from when each one of these hits. At, at what point is it like, it's just not worth it? Given the time that we have left, maybe you can't actually rely on those projectiles to win neutral for you. Maybe you have to start taking bigger bets. Yeah, exactly. And those bigger bets, I mean, definitely are what is called for, but is what exactly Sonics is looking for. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so rough where it's like, you can't... Um, you can't force yourself into the now it's time to take risk too early because Sonic is going to be ready for that. So like, you know, trying to be um, unpredictable is exactly what's predictable in these situations, which just adds another layer to the difficulty that is this endgame for Sonic. It is just one of those situations where it's like, what do you do here? True, Mark. prime analysis as always, PJ. But now, again, these lingering hitboxes trapping Shiny Mark in the corner are giving Sonics more opportunities to reset the situation and try for another early killing blow. Retreating back with the spin dash here, and now Shiny Mark fighting for every millimeter of stage. And if you guess wrong, you just get carried right back off stage and right back to the corner. Rich for the landing there. I like the pull-up shield from Shiny Mark, knowing that Sonics was going to land with a button. Gets the footstool on the shield now, and just continuing to be elusive. Doesn't need to be this crafty with this big of a lead, but just saying, yeah, I'm not going to give it to you. Like, I can, st I can still time you out from this position. Um, that might be what we're seeing. The dash attack coming through for Shiny Mark, not even close to killing at 105%. Even then, he yields coming through, trying to find a landing there. Really anything from Shiny Mark. Oh, right. that dash attack, that's a little bit optimistic right there, and that should do. The back throw gives Sonics the 3-0 victory over Shiny Mark with a dominant two-stock to finish the set. That's going to be a 3-0 for the favor of Sonics. Congratulations. Moving on into winner's finals as we move now into Wrath versus Sonics. All right. How do you feel about that matchup, Scabs? Uh, the, the, the Sonic Ditto matchup? <laughs> yeah, Sonic Ditto matchup. I think that that is... N no other matchup in the game does stock one tend to determine this the game this yeah. hard. I yeah. feel like it's one of those where you can go ahead and have all the, your mix-ups in the world. Don't save them for game three. Don't save them for stock three. Mm -hmm. You need them immediately because the, the second that your opponent gets that lead, there is no desire to walk forward. Yeah. Um, there's this meme in, in the melee scene that eventually melee is going to be so optimized that the only thing that you can win is rock, paper, scissors. Where it's like, all the foxes are so cracked that whoever wins rock, paper, scissors and gets poor priority immediately wins. The rock, paper, scissors is the first stock because whoever loses the first stock, you might as well just not because making that comeback in that matchup is just absolutely impossible. Um, of course, anything is possible, but for like... I man, hats off to these players, man, because I don't know how you look look up the hill that is, look up the boulder that is Sonic's versus uh, Sonic's up a stock against you and say I'm gonna push it up that hill because it just seems it seems impossible. A Sisyphean task for sure. Yeah, one must imagine Smash players to be happy. <laughs> you know, uh, these two meeting in grands is becoming more of a staple. The more the more we uh, the more these two play. And and uh, it's just I don't know. It, it really makes you wonder about where the meta currently stands, at least online. Yeah, it's a good point. I mean, you know, obviously this game is nowhere near being solved, but you're seeing uh, Spargo, for example, really pushing the innovation of switching to a new character for this character. And even then, it's sometimes not enough. I don't have that playing Sora. Out of sheer curiosity, do you think that part of this is because that Sonic gets better online compared to other characters? Like, is it that, for instance, just that additional input delay makes Sonic significantly better and perhaps, like, bumps him up a couple spots on the tier list? It could be the delay makes him hard. He's the fastest character, so the delay makes it hard to catch. 
It's like trying to swat a mosquito when you're wearing weights on your arms. Great analogy. Thank you. Yeah. You so, need you need as much like quickness and you need as much precision as possible. And Wi-Fi makes it very difficult to do those two things. Tough. Yeah. Well, Wrath going Sora here, opting for the bit of a gamble as he has been doing, but I respect it. Bless you, Wrath. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely giving us a little bit of diversity right there. I mean, to say like, oh, thank goodness we're watching Sora Sonic is crazy. <laughs> oh god, like, I just realized that. <laughs> like, it's not any better, yo. Like, yeah, this is also one of those matchups. Like, <laughs> it's so funny. This, this that coin box truly is is a great experience. Man, if this was another Sonic did, I was about to tell Xbox, maybe we got it. We need another jelly bean taco analysis. Cause this is the you couldn't pay me. Actually, you could pay me. Dude. I literally, that literally is what happened. So. There it is. <laughs> maybe, maybe you're right. I was going to ask you, um, do you think it, the taco would be good with a hot sauce jelly bean? Is there, There's hot sauce jelly beans? Yeah, there's like spicy jelly beans. Uh, there's a bean boozled fiery five. It's habanero, Carolina Reaper, jalapeno, sriracha, and cayenne. Wow, that's kind of cursed. Yeah, it's, I can't imagine it, dude. So something, this is super off topic, but um, you know jelly beans have no flavor, right? It's like all aroma. Really? What? Like, like if you eat a jelly bean and plug your nose, you can't taste the flavor. Bullshit. We got to test that out. I, I don't believe you there. So I was wondering how the, the spicy ones work. I'm serious. Just like. Maybe the sour ones have that extra sugar on it so that you get something. But what the fuck? I don't know. I, I guess yeah, yeah. It's an aroma thing. No, it's, that's not bait. I, dude, I'm like, dude, I love jelly beans. <laughs> you can turn it. Yeah. Oh, my God. You can't taste it. Yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no inherent flavor. Was that with every, just, wait, wait, is that with every food? Not with every food. Some food, like if it's something is salty or sweet, and it's distinct, you can taste it. But I mean, obviously, but jelly beans is a hundred percent just odor. Like there's just no flavor in it. Wow, that's kind of bizarre. Yeah, it just tastes like, uh, like sugar. Like, it, like vague sugar. <laughs> yeah, you have sugar, no yeah. flavor until you actually smell. Wow, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say. I wonder if they actually put like flavor in the actual in the spicy jelly beans to make just it pure taste. capsaicin. <laughs> it's just cap. Yeah, it's, it's just the amount of capsaicin they put for a jelly bean. Oh, that's true. Yeah, when I was little, I had to drink. Uh, what was that? Oh, homie stock. What? Nice. <laughs> I think Sonic was trying to edge guard with homing attack, and Wrath just went as low as possible to just wait. The did homing did, did he just blast him? Did he just juke him? I think that that's what happened. I think I, that might have been a juke. Like, actually. Yeah. Prevent that. That's so smart by That was actually by insane. Giant brain. Wow. That homing attack is, is like a fake move. That's, that's not a real move. That's so unfortunate. I think it's really funny, and I hope that that develops as like an efficient strategy where it's like, what's the fa what's like the farthest you can go away from the stage without SDing so that Sonic gets punished for homing attacking? That's so funny. Any, I mean, any way to close out a stock versus Sonics, uh, it's an interesting gamble to, uh, you know, trade a stock and force this to be a two-stock situation, but, you know, Wrath, you made it this far for a reason, and that's why I'm here, because I don't see the, the calculus as well as him, because that's a crazy gamble to go for, and so far, Sonics with a little bit, or a big lead here, but a big thunder is going to connect for Wrath. I, I really don't know how this, how Sora is supposed to hit Sonic. I've, I've been trying to think about it, and I, it's just, it seems to me that if Sonic just runs away the entire time, can he really get hit by Sora? It feels like we're having Wrath do that puzzle for us in real time, BJ. Yeah, exactly. This is, this is a struggle. Sonic is sitting in the corner saying, like, I, yeah, I dare you, come over here. You're the floatiest, one of the floatiest characters in the game. The second that you try to jump or double jump, I'm immediately on the other side of the stage. Good luck. It's like, you know, the stages of grief. My acceptance is just, wait, Sonic could just not get hit. Like, that's the acceptance for me in a lot of these matchups. Because it's like, if, it, like, right now, Sonic's just playing the game and he's, like, you know, holding in and he's trying to close out these stocks in an efficient manner. But I wonder if it went down to one of those situations where Sonic's was like, I don't want to play the game anymore. Does Sora have any counterplay? Because I feel like a lot of these situations is coming down to Wrath reversaling Sonic's. But nonetheless, I mean, I'm, I'm all here for this gameplay uh, for sure. But. 
you know, stuck on the ledge here is Wrath. 186% of back though surely will do it. And the meaningful hit the narrow out of shield does come through. Even like pressuring Sonic when you finally do close in, like what do you really do? Uh, it seems rough to me. It, it feels like Sora players. Sora. Yeah, like I don't know. It's rough. It feels like Sora is unironically too slow in this matchup. Yeah, yeah exactly. Too floaty. Like, I mean, what do you do? The, the second that you try to commit to an air to air, then Sonic is just gone, or he can get underneath you, and we don't really have any quick hitboxes to hit directly underneath Sora. That down air does have a ton of startup. So at that point, it's like you can toss out a fireball, toss out a thunder every now and then, but uh, you can't really spam that against Onyx because he's quick enough to actually just brush you down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's one of the saving graces of this matchup is like the Nair is super active and you can like really, you, like it's, you're so floaty that with one short hop, you can really vary, uh, create a lot of variations of when you actually swing with a hitbox. Uh, but in order to get that hit, you need to be close enough to hit Sonic. And once again, I asked, like, does Sonic really need to go in after you get a couple hits? Uh, if it ever does come down to that timeout esque scenario, I wonder what we'll see here. But Wrath, I mean, as I keep talking about how this seems impossible for me, making this a last stock situation, as Sonic gets a big. Open up there, but no follow-up. Tries to go for a grab on the platform. I like the mix-up, but yeah, this is exactly what I was worried about, where it's like, how do you hit Sonic here? Yeah, I mean, even the out-of-shield options have been relatively lackluster for Wrath. It feels as though anytime Sora wants to go ahead and get something quick, like an up the out-of-shield, it's a huge risk, because if Sonic just gets the heck out of dodge and leaves, then you're vulnerable. Even if you try to toss out the side B as a mix-up afterwards, Sonic is quick enough to actually just track you down. And right now, all we are seeing is safe shield pressure. Look at that, the back air and then to the immediate retreat, shield again on the side B. Like, has Wrath gotten any grabs yet? <laughs> it feels as though Sora is never in a position to actually threaten Sonic's shield. Even there, I mean, you slightly miss time when you swing with an air and you just go underneath uh, the the spin dash. I mean, what do you do here? So far, Sonic's really hasn't been hit and uh, hasn't been punished. Uh, Wrath needs to figure out some sort of answer to this uh, spin dash on shield, though, because it is looking to be potentially what puts the nail in the coffin for this entire set, and we're only on game one. Yeah, this is this is one of those where all of the commentators are fooled and are struggling and are starting to theorize. And now, Wrath, we need you to show us something. Please, all of us are here to learn. <laughs> You're the teacher right now. we got to find some little lesson if you want to stay competitive here in this matchup. Oh, untechable, so that will do. Yeah, you can play offstage as much as you want, but eventually you're going to be at a spot where that back air will just force those untechable situations. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be uh, that's going to be Sonic's. I mean, as much as I was saying this looks impossible, it was a last stock situation, so good stuff from Wrath. I mean, definitely a couple adaptations. A lot of times, I really try my best to be like. Uh, to give analysis like oh what do you think what do i think wrath is going to do to mix up and try to like find a way to hit sonics but it's really like i'm at a loss for words this is on wrath now like i i have no idea this is rough so it's you're putting me in an awkward situation here pj because you're the smart one between the two of us i'm gonna need you to go ahead and step your game up a little bit <laughs> Dude, i need to buy a i need to buy a metify lesson or something I, I've, I've literally lost like i i hate i hate being in this situation because there's so many times where it's like like dude the casters don't know what they're talking about. i have no idea what i'm talking about right now this is Guys, crazy what if there was a character a very strange one that said it's a guaranteed win versus Sonic, and let's say you're like a Genesis, and it's like Grand Finals. You could be a world champion, but you have to give up one of your fingers to do it. Which finger would it be? That's that's the real question here. Because for me, it's probably my left pinky, I think. Or left. Yeah, left pinky, I think. Would be the one I use the least. Sure. Yeah, left pinky. Well, let me see. I need to hold a controller. Because... Left pinky. Actually, yeah. You can. The left pinky. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, the right pinky, maybe? No, I, I didn't. You, you don't realize how much you use the pinkies until you, like, grab something, you know? Yeah, it, it's it's more support. I mean, if you grab a cup and you lift your pinky up, yeah, it's probably the left pinky for sure. I'm yeah. going to use that prize pool first, though. Yeah, true. True. <laughs> that's true. I, I can Google how much a prosthetic costs right here, but if this is this is going to be one of those where it's like, I got to rely on my insurance to help me out? Maybe not. Maybe not the move. Is middle finger even needed? 
Come on. I, I can think of a very good use for it, PJ. Yeah. Facts, I, homie. Facts. I don't know where you. I don't know where you live, but if you drive, yes, it is. We need more more love and less hate in the world. <laughs> 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 Okay. People that don't want to see Van are like, I I'll lose my thumb. I want my <laughs> opponent. <laughs> it's Whoa! Like maybe, oh, no. Oh, we can attack again. What it, the it hell? Sucks. In between Wrath and the Blast Zone, two times in a row, his own move has betrayed him. Does manage to get that forward smash, but good God, the monkey's paw curled right there for a split second. That's that's the only two stocks that Sonic has lost has been to his own homing attack. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, was it? Oh, no, it was last stock. So, yeah, Wrath did take one stock, but uh, two of the three stocks taken this set so far has been a homing attack mishap. That's hilarious. Sonics is more effective at killing Sonics than Wrath is currently, but there's still plenty more Smash to be played. We'll have to see if that, that trend continues. And, uh, yeah, but very even game so far. Uh, once again, Wrath, like, really just punishing a lot of what Sonic is going for in terms of aggression and knowing, like, I, something that I, I can appreciate is Wrath is, knows, like, I don't have a punish here. Like, I cannot swing and hit Sonic, so I will not. Sometimes the best option is to do nothing and slightly position yourself in a different way and, like, kind of trick Sonic into going for the same option, but you change, like, your variable and hopefully a different equation or different um, outcome comes out. But uh, so far... Sonics uh, with a pretty big lead here. The Forge Mask covers the ledge, uh, the re-grab. Uh, even though, even only at 109%, the Legend Invincibility is going to run out a little bit faster, and that's going to be Sonics with a lead once again. Freight Catch, one thing that I will say is that Sora has excellent air-to-air -air potential versus Sonic. Uh, so if it comes to that air-to-air -air game, uh, where you're either using jump as a way to get out of scrambles or jumping out of your spin dash moves, that's something that uh, Sora is going to be good at, is, you know, big Nair that is relatively floaty. Very true. It, it feels as though he's got a great air-to-air -air game unless Sonic is the one that gets the hit first because the disadvantage in the air, oh my god, it just feels yeah. miserable. In addition, oh, oh my god, that was sick. Nice. With the immediate back air, that is so nasty. I think that uh, the up B traded with the Nair, it immediately ending the end lag and then realizing we're both going to get popped up, instant back air, clean stuff from Sonic's great conversion. You love to see that. This is going to be Sonic's up 2-0 in the set. I love I love situations like that where you put out a move that is like a combo starter and it trades and then uh, you get a kill for it. That's so sick. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, we got to get the confetti ready right here because if there's ever an opportunity to celebrate a single Sora win, it's going to be right now. If Wrath wants to continue, continue, excuse me, this winner's bracket run, we got to see at least one dub with Sora, I think, before trying to go ahead and swap off. But well, who remembers? I feel like the game plan's generally there. Who remembers when I predicted this? Three years ago. <laughs> three and a half years ago. Who remembers this? Oh, no. <sighs> three, Must have been a good time. One, Did you bring that curse onto us? Perhaps. Uh, we, we, we can see. We can see. <laughs> for it. All right, we're back on Town and City. <gasps> oh, no. Wait, he, finally. He, the he did it to him. They're, they're homing yeah. on each other. <laughs> Damn! That sound weird. They're home. <laughs> yeah, I was I was pausing for a moment there. Homing, attacking <laughs> on each. They're homing. They're. There was a plan. They're, they're there. kissing the homies. Good night. All right. Yeah. You leave them alone. <laughs> what I'm saying is, when you have a move that auto aims like that, you can take full advantage of it. This game is is so silly. What a silly what a silly interaction. Um. Not to be a Debbie Downer here, but this is very rough. I mean, you know, unfortunately losing your stock at zero now, uh, forced to play down a stock versus Sonics. I mean, you've been, uh, Wrath has been on the receiving end, actually, of, of these uh, unfortunate uh, stock losses. But now it's just like, what do you do here? Uh, pray. I, I think this is definitely one of those spots where you, you, you ask for a higher power to intervene. Really, I mean, if we're, if we're really breaking this down, what we need to see is like some kind of projectile game plan, perhaps. Like, we haven't seen a lot of thunder being used to try to force approaches. Part of that's because that spin dash does have a little bit of hinball on startup, and Sonic has been able to dash through it a couple times. But if there are a couple tools that you can use in your kit as or to try to compel Sonic to take a step forward, but when you're down two stocks now with only 58%, like it's haymaker time. 
yeah. Um, I think one of the things that's a little bit tragic about Sora, I think fire is so good in this matchup, but you can only use it one time, and then you're on thunder, which I think is absolutely useless. Uh, and then you're on blizzard, which is okay. So you're like a third of the time, or most of the time, on a move that is super laggy. Sonic can literally just run run through it and avoid it. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, what, like, you can't use the projectile. So even though that is an option where it's like fire is really good at kind of stuffing out Sonic, you're not always on fire, which is just so unfortunate. Definitely an oddity of this character's tool set where you really have to deal with that cycle through. I mean, we are at percents where you could start to see like some oddities. Like this character does have some neutral air and forward air confirms that can get you a smash attack. And I'm swinging for those if I'm Wrath every single time. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're not winning neutral a lot, you better make sure that when you do, it just kills Fire Aga here now for Wrath as a back throw comes through. He's going to be able to kill on the small side. Blast zone, that is Town and City. And JV3. the same Blast Zone is the end of that. Yeah, Sonic's with 3-0 over the Wrath, Sonic, uh, Wrath Sora. I'm sorry. Good stuff uh, from Sonic's remaining consistent here and moving on into Grand Finals. Yep. All right. What I'm going to do now is try to hop into Beast Mode Paul versus Shiny Mark uh, because they're in the middle of a set. So I think it might have been a lag test. Let me check. Oh, wait. I closed the arena. Oh, no. You... Um, Dare we risk it? Because as it stands, there's no matches left. Because Sonic's 3 0'd Wrath. And due to this arena dilemma that we've had. Uh, <laughs> so it looks like Beast Mode Paul is lag testing Shiny Mark. Or Mark is lag testing it. Hmm. So the alternative is I, I'm fairly certain you still have that quesadilla left, don't you? And do you have a few more of those jelly beans? I, I inhaled that <laughs> quesadilla. It, it is gone. Okay. But what I could do is. is uh, Maybe I thug finals someone while we wait. Hmm. All right, who we got in bracket? So we did have a phenomenal losers bracket run that I want to talk about too for send. I got, got to give props to that run right there. Send had a good run. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Powering on through. Powering through. I am. Um... Sometimes I, I make this joke when I'm on comms, like they should have a like a subway surfers phone for commentators, like you know, especially like the the newer one, like me. I, I'm the one. I'm the zoomer that can't pay attention sometimes. It'd be this would be a great opportunity to have the subway surfers up, just like you know, you know, not doing anything, just you know, swiping. Did anyone actually play subway surfers? I know, like I feel like that's a. A, f a phone game that you had on your parents' phones. I don't know if anyone relates. To Subway this. Surfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was like, oh, can I bar? Do you have games on your phone? And they always had Subway Surfers or Jetpack Joyride. Those uh, those came in handy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> dude, Jetpack Joyride. I mean, I could play that for hours. That's um, one of the greatest games ever. Yeah. Yeah, greatest mobile games of all time. Uh, thank you, E1 Mystic. It uh, looks like we're actually able to hop into their set. So here we go, uh, nice. game three of Beast Mode Paul going Hero versus Shiny Mark going um, Pikachu. If I tell, if I have one more person tell me that Shiny Mark isn't Mexican, I think I'm just going to throw a brick through the window. I think I'm going to jump out of my window and, and hope to God it all ends. Because I know it's been, it's been two years, two, it's been two years of you guys telling me he's not Mexican. I know. He's not. It takes the information from Star GG, and on there it says he's Mexican when he's not, due to a stupid glitch. I I can't take it. I can't, PJ, I can't take it. I can't take it. Dude, I know, dude. For, um, I, can't take I, I always it. said I was. I'm not good enough to play this game. There's two things I could have went into: toing and production, and I ran to toing. I cannot stand doing production for this game. Uh, running a stream is one of the hardest things in this game for sure. It is rough. True, which is why you got to give shout-outs to the folks that are doing it. I mean, you got a good team here, HBox, that have basically been putting on this show for quite a bit of time. Nothing you can do about Smash.gg, though. Yeah, it's one of those 
those forces that is just always ever so present in the Smash scene. Um, so we did have a lag check between Beast Mode Paul and Shiny Mark uh, before this game, so uh, we might be seeing some a little bit of spaghetti uh, from that, but nonetheless, I mean, keeping it very close. One of those characters heroes is where it's like, yeah, like a slow character that, uh, you know, doesn't have the greatest frame data, but has some pretty decent rage. It's like, on paper, it doesn't seem so interesting, but uh, with the usage of those Infinity Stones, as I like to call them, that bounce and accelerado and those power-ups uh, makes it so that it's really, really tricky um, to kind of pin down the character, but Shiny Mark able to do that there with that forward air to cover the high recovery. Um, yeah, bounce is such a solid option, especially when you're contending in neutral versus a character that's so willing to just throw out T-Jolts like, um, uh, like Shiny Mark is. And we kind of just saw the big problem in the matchup for Shiny Mark, which is going to be, it's like, yeah, you're going to dominate neutral. You're going to be able to win off stage. You can intercept the character. You can play really, really well in this matchup. But God help you if you ever get hit. Like once this character gets powered up, uh, you die very quickly. It was just like a last little hitbox of the back air and then finish Shiny Mark's stock at around 100%. We are getting a good combo right here from Pikachu, but yeah, 43%, solid bit of damage, but yeah, the damage differential clearly in Hero's favor. Only need maybe two or three more interactions before Pikachu is at kill percent. I would, I would say Paul here is definitely the dark horse, given the fact that the usual suspect for, the, for these online tournaments being Sonic's Wrath, and you got Spargo, they're the ones right now uh, waiting in the top three. So, Shiny Mark, of course, would be the fourth person to be there. But if Paul does it with Hero, it's definitely something you don't see almost ever in a coin box. Yeah, it's good to see, uh, you know, Beastball Paul uh, continuing to represent his region well and uh, getting a lot of great wins as well uh, with this hero, a character that uh, I really, really like. I, I used to play hero a lot online, and it's good to see, like, a resurgence of hero uh, post-COVID. Um, really, really great stuff from all of those hero players. Shout out Sparkle, one of my favorite players as well. And this news comes through, putting people, be uh, putting people to sleep even in the air. But uh, Shiny Mark with that insane match is able to live that one. And now with this power up, and looked to get any hit really to close out this stock literally just one hit but when you're a character with slower moves and slower aerials it just becomes so hard because shiny mark and pikachu is just gonna be so difficult to just hit with a you know a kill move randomly it's, it's cool to True. think that there's just this, this this 18 year old central floridian kid is just casually the best hero player in the world now officially uh just one of those funny things to consider yeah. gets the fair too okay he's up on game three at 145% yeah. of rage. It, hero with rage is terrifying. Hero with rage, potentially a crit. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm here for the for the nonsense. I'm here to go ahead and see if this character can just land that one massive blow to end Shiny Mark's stock a little bit early. Just, just a little bit. 18, 19%, that's plenty. Another bang comes through. Good normal getup from Shiny Mark and punishes the Jap appropriately after rolling behind with a dash attack and now... Crackle Slash comes through, just trying to find a move. And that's a big mana loss as the Kaboom gets canceled out by that T-Jolt. But still Shiny Mark in this game. With the Accelerado, though, for Beast Mode Paul, this is going to be a great opportunity to try to close in and catch the Wrath. But Shiny Mark actually just stalling there with the Thunder is just saying, I'm willing to just hold this spot where... It's funny enough, like, that's kind of where top platform in Battlefield is. That could be a really big struggle for uh, Shiny Mark. Not Shiny Mark, sorry, Hero to hit. Uh, so kind of smart there. Another Accelerado for Beast Mode Paul, though. This could be big. And now the Reflect is off, so offstage <gasps> interaction. Oh. And no MP left. That was a miss. MP didn't charge it. Uh -oh. Yeah, what a strange interaction. Damn. Womp womp. A bit of an unfortunate way to find yourself in a game deficit, but... Uh, I mean, it feels like Beast Mode Paul had the right game plan there. Like, Shiny Mark is going to win neutral. Shiny Mark's going to make it difficult to recover. That's just part and parcel playing against Pikachu. But we talked about how difficult it can be when you're feeling like you need to press and you need to hit those strong hitboxes occasionally. It didn't really feel like Beast Mode Paul was struggling that much. Like, he, he was getting stocks off relatively early. So props to him for finding the clutch blows that he needed to make keep that one even. Just got to clean it up a little bit in those do-or-die situations. Yeah, one of, uh, one of the biggest things... Oh, also, big shot is Beast Mode Paul. Seed 40 of the tournament, by the way. Uh, I just Dang. noticed that that's a crazy huge uh, run from Beast Mode Paul. I was going to say one of the biggest things is that... Um, 
uh, you know, Beast Mode Paul being a, a big time grinder and just continuing to push this character makes it so that, uh, you know, like you were saying, where on paper it should be really difficult for Hero to hit those big haymakers uh, that his aerials can be. Um, because he grinds and plays so much, it's really good at catching people in their movement. Uh, one of the underrated things of Beast Mode Paul's um, skill set, I think, is that no matter how fast you are, he's going to find a way to close out those stocks, and he's going to be confident about it as well. Damn, I just... So, PJ Goose to Brian me. I almost beat Beast Mode Paul today. I was one hit away. It was game three last stock. Damn. Oh, did, damn. Did that Kaboom also just, like, linger through all of Shiny Mark's invuln? Shiny Mark was sticking on ledge the entire time. I thought that, like, yeah, it's a brilliant idea. Just go ahead and use your invulnerability to deal with that. The projectile lasted so long that Shiny Mark still got hit by it. Absolute nuts how good that projectile is. Yeah, Kaboom. <laughs> Kaboom is a killer. And that town smashes as well for this side of Shiny Mark, 129%. And, oof. Great tempo uh, switch there. Instead of going for another spell or just canceling the spell, Shiny Mark thought, okay, menu is up. It's time to go and push up and close in some distance, but that um, sizzle is going to be able to close out that stock. Great stuff from Beast Mode, Paul. A little, you know, spell usage uh, is just a big it, a big tempo difference, and it makes it just that much more difficult to really punish Beast Mode, Paul, for pulling the spells. Awesome off stage Ooh. though and trying for that thunder and then also this is what I love of watching Paul every now and then he'll get the opportunity to go for a haymaker and he never misses out right there like that was one where you didn't have a huge window to try to punish that option off stage and these people Paul's like I'm just gonna dash attack it I sure do hope it hits because good god does Pikachu die early managed aggression I think is the best way to describe his play style yeah, I always talk about that, where, like, uh, anyone can just throw out kill moves at any moment, but having that killer instinct to switch and, and switch your mode so quickly is one of those skills that just be makes you so much more difficult to really pin down as a player. Oh, my God, deep if you quarter, hit that wow. deep fair. Mark, looking for that down B, probably. Did me to roll back up from Beast Mode. Paul is going to be putting him back into center stage. So important on Hollow Bastion here, but the forwarder catches the jump once again. That forwarder has been stuffing out Beast Mode. Paul very consistently there, not using the double jump there, knowing that once you burn the double jump, it becomes scary to land. But when you get put, when Zoom puts you on that middle platform, it just uh, makes you a prime target for that shield pressure from Shiny Mark. And fortunately, Beast Mode Paul not taking too much damage from that situation, but still. A big hill to climb, but as Scaps has been saying, it just takes one hit for Beast Mode Paul, and Pikachu dies really early. Okay. As you speak it, PJ, Beast Mode Paul makes it so. At 152, we got a little bit of rage to play with, but the high recovery actually bait now Shiny Mark to be a little over aggressive in the corner. Now just trying to land literally one hit, because 6 MP, you're not doing too much with that. Yeah, one of the more interesting and unique mechanics I think that gets underlooked is that mana uh, resource bar. It's like, you know, it incentivizes Hero, a character that isn't the greatest at boxing, to force them to say, okay, now you can't just play your projectiles and spells. Now it's time to get some hits. But with this Accelerado, one of the greatest usage of your last pieces of mana is, you know, buffing your speed so that you can get those extra hits to get a little bit more. And 17% looking for a zoom there, didn't quite find it. But the dash attack covers the roll once again. As we now get to a last stock situation, Beast Mode Paul potentially... Oh, game five! Oh. Wow, Beast Mode Paul about to sneak in the top four like that. Insane shield break. I'm shocked. <laughs> I was, was not that... ready for that. He, he, was so that was he, trust me. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was an oomph flame slash shield break. Yep. Literally one hit. <laughs> like, Shiny Mark's shield was perfectly full. Gone. If I'm not mistaken, that move is really fast too. Um, the the flame slash. I'm not. Let me actually check it. But it it's uh, one of those faster options where it's like uh, a lot of times you shield right in front of hero. I didn't see what the rest of the menu said, but it makes a lot of sense to just hold shield in front of hero because it's like, well, what can they really do about it? They're stuck in their menu for a while. None of their moves are really that scary, except for that one. That one will just break your shield with a quickness and that's going to be a game five situation from beast mode paul seed 40 in the tournament now in top eight and looking to move on to play smargo what an insane run for beast mode paul thanks a kick now beast mode ball just has to finish it up like right here this is always a potential what could be option but i mean given how clutch he's been playing so far i don't want to see what this what could have been i want to talk about what was i want to see this incredible run continue to potentially a grand finals placement 
Yeah, well said. I mean, I'm 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 on the beast mode, Paul Train for sure. But uh, Shiny Mark's gonna be looking to deal with my beast mode, Paul Train, as with a big uh, percent lead can definitely just start going into a very slow playstyle, which I don't think is what we've been seeing from Shiny Mark so far. I feel like Shiny Mark is opting to smother beast mode, Paul, and stopping him because of the option of pulling spells like Accelerado, which makes the matchup go from I can camp forever to now he's in my face instantly. So it's one of those things where beast mode, Paul can from across the stage, change the tempo just by getting an Accelerado. And we have one right here. Shiny Mark taking a moment to slow things down, and that might actually also be something that Shiny Mark can do, is try to just time out these buffs. Accelerado does have a time limit on it. Bounce has a time limit on it. So, yeah, occasionally don't feel the need to pressure this character when they have those buffs. Just let them go ahead and flail wild a little bit and stick with your defensive options in those spots. Yeah, exactly. A sizzle attempt from Beast Mode. Paul comes through. No mana, though. And at Shiny Mark, you're just looking to uh, not only close out a stock, but really just not get hit. Because if you don't give that mana uh, bar, you'll eventually win that neutral with that T-Jolt. And uh, I think, is there a certain limit number of bounces you can get in a stock? I, I think that's a myth, right? I I'm not sure. But if Shiny Mark is playing towards that, I mean, that could be a good option. I don't know if that's true. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. oh, okay. A little bit of lag right there. It looked like as our feed froze, but uh, oh, no. And it's frozen again off stage. Hero no! is so susceptible to that too. You're pulling out menu rapidly, looking for zoom, and then a lag spike knocks you down. That oh, has got to be the worst possible outcome for Beast Mode Paul. Yeah, and I mean, it's unfortunate. It's it, it's hard enough as it is to menu that quickly when you're off stage, but yeah, you yeah, know to those, have that extra lag. You know those servers have been crazy tonight. Yeah, we're having all sorts sure. of issues. People having people couldn't even couldn't even open their own rooms for a bit. So they're at the mercy not only of Heroes RNG, but I guess of Nintendo's too. And I don't know who's the crueler mistress right there. It feels like Nintendo been throwing us a couple curveballs all evening long, but hopefully Beast Mode Paul gets a couple good top decks here as a little bit of karmic justice, as uh, we might need that given how defensive Shiny Mark has started to play. Yeah, Beast Mode Paul holding on to this psych up. Literally any of the aerials, I think, uh, or any of the forward air back here will just close it out here, or close out the stock, I mean. So. You know, looking for that, not not looking to burn your psych up on a weaker move, but unfortunately that spike is going to end the psych up for Shiny Mark. And oh, the up smash attempt. What a small hitbox on that up smash, and that's going to be Shiny Mark actually coming out on top of that situation. So unfortunate. Beast Mode Paul having all the right reads, but not quite the right move for it, or quite not the right spacing. Remember, he he for a hero of once in a while, one critical means uh, even game. Yeah, it's true. Lest we forget. Simply get black. Oh? <laughs> Choose to kill them at zero. Or you just go for the Hocus Pocus. Screw it. That, that would do too. To get star power and just <laughs> run at them. I had somebody get giant on me with Hocus Pocus, and I was very, very unhappy when I died in one hit. Yeah, so, it's, it's, it's very humbling, isn't it? Exactly. It's like, GG, I have to shake your hand there. You outplayed me. What can I say? Yeah, with the bounce online and uh, as background shield actually giving a lot of mana tries to uh, react to that upbeat with the turnaround neutral being unfortunately not finding quite the timing for it but i like that attempt i mean like scabs was saying um controlled aggression is something that oh. baseball paul's really good at and he went for that haymaker there gotta respect that especially when you're down two socks to one. Oh my god oh, oh he landed it oh my god last stock <laughs> it's all it's, 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 it's all spells if the spells Ring the bells. This could be it. But he needs the right spells. He's getting zoom barely. Almost gets red. And what do you do? Okay, still a rattle. Oh! Grab misses. That's a big drop for it? Shiny Mark, but the Nair connects. Doesn't get the drag down though because it's a rising one. Not ready to hit that fastball timing. 142% Accelerado is gone for Beast Mode Paul. The uppy out of shield, 7%. I wonder if a crit F smash will kill now. We're about to find out potentially as Beast Mode Paul is just looking for any hit falling out of the forward air. That's one more instance where Beast Mode Paul gets a little bit of luck here. The that whack was there. He just chose bounce. not to pull it out. But bounce instead. So we're trying to play Psych a little bit of neutral safe. Oh, imagine. Psych. Shield break. Shield break. Shield break. Any area will shield break here with both power up spells online. The drag down doesn't get the up smash. Gets an up tilt instead. What a big miss. Input. Shiny mark. Knowing oh! shield. The flame smash comes through. That's 45%. As Oomph ran out as well. Now. 
The small paw with a big haymaker. The dash stack doesn't connect. Shiny Mark just trying to find a way to not choke this away. The whack comes through and jumps oh! right over it. One less instance of chance and another four. They're not connecting. What is going on? It is so close. As oh. Beast just needs one hit, but that is the nair into the up smash, and that's going to be oh. Shiny Mark moving on. Edge of your seat. What a last stock situation. Wow. Damn. Ooh. Listen, we all might have been hyping up Beast Mode, Paul. We all wanted that narrative gameplay right there where Seed 40 upset Seed 3, but you have to give props to Shiny Mark not cracking under pressure. Also, reverse three stock. That can literally kill you in one hit. Crazy hey. stuff. Oof. How about heart beating? Yeah, that was close. Wow, wow, wow. Good stuff from Beast Mode, Paul, though. I mean, you know, obviously wanting to make a deeper run, but making a really big run. Shout out to Beast Mode Paul. Once again, Seed 40, making it all the way to top eight of Coin Box as we move on now into a familiar matchup, the four horsemen of Coin Box, it seems, and Shiny Mark Spargo, the winner playing Wrath and the winner battling Sonic. So we got a long night here still as we get into top four of Coin Box number 89. Yeah, we were on pace to end early and then we had a little bit of a hiccup, but uh, we'll end... Uh... Well, and by 11 p.m. if you're on, you know, West Coast or whatever. <laughs> I am East Coast, and I have work tomorrow morning. <laughs> well, you got work right now, homie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm sitting here with a Red Bull, and I had that, that vodka across the room starting to sing to me. We make, we make sure the castles get paid for top eight. We know, we, we know it's a long <laughs> We know it's the long haul. Have you watched The Office, Scabs? I have, yeah. You, you know when... um at the dinner party where Jim tries to make like an excuse that his house is flooded. And the Pab's like, you're not gonna leave this dinner party all by itself. Uh, that's me right now. You're not leaving me here, man. You're so <laughs> <laughs> We've got the rest of top four to do, dude. Don't abandon me yet. We're not even close to being done yet. Exactly. This is gonna be a long top four and I'm very excited for it. No matter what variation, which way, whoever's in winners finals and grand finals, uh, this is some of the hottest Smash Ultimate uh, gameplay. And you can get it here every Wednesday, uh, except for the doubles and the Smash 4-1 um, at Coinbox. Uh, make sure you register because this is a great way to grind. Big shout outs to Coinbase, of course, and Team Liquid for putting this show on. And thank you, Hbox, for uh, not only uh, you know, hosting the stream, but also playing in it, as well as um, finding out how to make orange chicken with jelly beans and tacos. Big oh, shout out to Hbox, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Great Smash can you play in a couple culinary delights this evening. Well, yeah. we, we, we got all sorts of flavors in the online world. Kind of what happens when you we, we go from the online world being a, uh, a necessity to more of a, uh, a choice. Because now it's just like, you know, it is the best way to play people. And, and as I say that, I think Spargo is going with the familiar Game & Watch. I'm going to go ahead and give him the right alt, too, because we already know what color he's going. I'm going to see if this is actually the strat he's going to use. Um, so, PJ, I need your help here. I'm colorblind. What is that? I've, I've heard other people call it different things. But I that's trust cyan. you. Cyan. The color? Cyan? Yeah, it's cyan, right? Um... Let me, it, is it, cy, it, it's either cyan or teal. I've heard teal. Oh, it might be teal because it's a little darker. But if you Google, uh, if you Google cyan, it's like a very, oh, it's it's teal. Yeah, it's teal. This is a teal, teal game and watch. But if if you're the homie that's at the setup and you're like, it's actually teal, no one wants to be that guy. So everyone <laughs> just says cyan. Like, like, come on, man, you know, <laughs> we're, just, we're all friends here. Um, no, and, teal. And, and more, more goes, oh, but actually, it's royal teal. Aquamarine. Dude, that would have been crazy if you hit that. Um, <laughs> let me let me see. I have a color, shades of teal here. Um, let me see. I do this for you. Oh, it, it, it kind of looks like tropical teal or um, light sea green. Light, it's light sea green. So light this is light sea, sea green. green Game & Watch. LSG Game & Watch. Um, once again, if I catch you at an event with me and you're like, it's actually like sea <laughs> <up>. green. <laughs> Hold up, chat's got the answer. Ray's see? air fryer says it's Baja Blast, and I can't unsee it now. <laughs> oh, true. Blast. Okay, I, I like that. Yeah, Baja Blast game and watch. There you go. That's perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> it's a. Uh, you ever heard of the color sea foam green? I have. Yeah. 
Sea foam green is a nice color. It's not quite that one, but it's 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 similar. So uh, here, hold on. Yeah, I, I am I am colorblind, so opening up like a box of Crayola crayons as a kid was a traumatic experience for me. Oh damn, that's a lot of green. <laughs> so it's not quite as dark, but it's like the it's like getting there. Uh, you can you can like saturate it. What if I actually? Let me use power technology. Can I saturate this? Filters, add color correction. Can I make it? Hold on. Do I have the perfect eye for this? Ready? No, I don't. Wait. Wait. We're getting there. We're, it's, it's tough. I'm not, I'm not, you know, gifted like that. <laughs> dude, you know those people that like, yeah, I was going to see, I think we're talking about the same oh, thing. Oh, dude, the guy, the guy, like, he's like, he's like a... Like the the Chinese vendor, and he like he looks at something. He'll look at something for like ten seconds, and he'll mix colors by hand and do it with like a paint knife, right? And he'll just like, and then it'll blend in perfectly, dude. That's so sick. How do you find that talent out? That's that's a crazy thing. Like you just like one day you're like, what color is that? And then you're like, oh, I know. And then you just start throwing crayons together. And it's like, oh wow, how'd you get that? And like how do you, how do you find that talent? That's insane. Well, regardless, <laughs> getting into this, uh, Spargo actually playing the um, black color uh, alt here, oh, he but I think specifically black. for scabs. So shout out to uh, Spargo for that. Gotta love it. What do you see uh, that color of Game & Watch as? So it's it's not that I only see gray. Like, it's, it's a misconception for color blindness. I, it's, it's just hue differentiation is difficult. So oh, okay. you, you, you put like brown and like red next to each other and I'll have trouble with that. Oh, okay. Or you do red and green next to each other, and I'll have trouble with that. That's why, like, literally reaching into a box of Crayola crayons, I would every single time guess wrong at least twice. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Oh, well, nonetheless, Spargo making it easy on your life here. And uh, funny, I mean, the meme image went around on Twitter where it was like Spargo or Shiny Mark beating Meister and then losing to Spargo's Game & Watch. Spargo really pushing the meta of just picking up a counter pick for every single player he plays. I'm so here for it. If we get to see the Corn for the Sonic and the Game & Watch for the Pikachu, I'm all for it. Seeing Spargo um, pilot all of these characters has been an absolute delight. Also, shout out to MK Leo doing that as well with the Rob, trying to mix it in there as well. And what's kind of messed up about it too is that like Cloud doesn't feel particularly bad in a lot of those matchups. Like the characters like at worst like minus one on a lot of those. But Spargo's not here trying to go ahead and deal with any kind of disadvantage. Spargo's out here to win. And the skill is certainly there. So why not go ahead and maximize your advantage by picking up as many characters as possible, tossing your opponents a couple curveballs in a few sets. Yeah, exactly. And, and, you know, being Spargo, Spargo is going to be one of those players that uh, seems to have that cloud in the back pocket as well as the, the Aegis. So it's like, if it doesn't work out game one, you can just switch around it as well. And having that um, be an option is just so important. And I think this is kind of like the testing grounds for Spargo where it's not, you know, a major tournament, but it's still, you know, pretty high stakes. People are really trying to play their heart out. So, you know. It's definitely a good good way to do that. And if you're looking for a way to, to test where your improvement is going, I mean, definitely sign up for these coin boxes because it is an absolutely amazing way to get some practice. Big shout outs once again for having this tournament every week. Agreed. We are, however, seeing the weakness of Game & Watch, not just necessarily in this matchup, but in every matchup. This is a character that kills off of stray hits, and if you're facing a character with high mobility like Pikachu, how do you actually pin him down? does finally manage to land the back air there, but whenever your opponent's living to 160 or so with a light-ish character like Pikachu, you're struggling a wee bit right there. I'm loving this pasta in chat, by the way. <laughs> I've noticed that. This is some fresh, hot pasta. It sounds like the people want to see Steve Hbox. Maybe we should, you know... Let him back in. Open the door. I don't even know who said it, but I can just imagine some, I don't know, this is some guy, like, playing on the first time. So, I'm an image player. Not amazing, but you guys are. Why ban Steve? I totally get it. You ever see that, like, the, it's, I think it's a Russian hockey guy, he's like, Why you have to be mad? It, it's it's only game. <laughs> it's like a well, Vichkin, That's it? what it reminds me of. <laughs> it's only <totally> game. <laughs> it's so good. Went for the downbeat. It's only a game. Fucking bars. It really is only a game. Yeah, here we go. 88% on Sparta. This is a 
talk about hills and boulders and mountains a lot, but really it's a, it's a pretty monumental task to make this comeback. But a great way to start that is with that down smash two frame to cover that up B back to the ledge. And I don't know if we're going to see a nine hammer, but we might see those hammers come in handy and definitely going to need to pull out all of his tools to make this comeback. But that drag down there, down smash is going to close out the set. Not the set, sorry. The game for Shiny Mark. Oh boy! Don't tell me I'm losing it already. What happened to me? Holy <laughs> uh, I think we need that. We need the Spargo Cloud ASAP. Yeah, I need the Spargo GB Piranha right Plant, dude. <clears throat> oh, Spargo Plant's great. <laughs> Spargo Plant, I like it. Mm -hmm. He unironically like has is very good with that character. Like I, I've seen him do it like two or three times in bracket again at like mid levels and pools and like and. He, Every single time I'm sitting there like, he, why does he know the tech? Why does he know how to utilize like Batui traps? He is staying <laughs> game of watch. Dude, I, it's, Piranha Plant is so cool. Like, I, I, I know like that's that's a hot take, but I think the character feels really cool to play uh, when it's working like completely. Like you get like Patui hitting Patui into another move. It just feels so good. I don't know. I like that character a lot. Definitely an interesting one, but the problem is that too many characters in the stat in the cast turn just turn the character off. Like Falco oh, yeah. Pro might be unwinnable. It's rough. Shout out to uh, is it Lucky the Piranha Plant player that is uh, doing really well? Uh, we we used to have a Piranha Plant pretty active in SoCal. Shiar Ash, that was really really good. Uh, I'd love to see the Piranha Plant. Oh, also Send has a Piranha Plant that's hype. Yeah, so. But not seeing it here, though, as we see Spargo with a lead, actually, with this Game & Watch. Um, I don't... So this is like a bad matchup for Pikachu, right? I I remember hearing that. I, I can't remember if it's Ness that's a bad matchup. I think it's this matchup, yeah. Oh, man. Why is this matchup bad? Nice conversion for Shiny Mark. Do we, do we know why this matchup is bad? So uh, there's a couple things. Like, Pikachu generally doesn't like disjoints, and Game & Watch does have a couple of them that make it difficult to punish as well. So you can just go ahead and just mash on that down smash, and what does Pikachu actually do? You can bucket t -Jol so that you have just another option in your tool mm -hmm. chest to go ahead and deal a ton of damage. And then, really, that back air, like, how do you actually recover against back air and an air? Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, it's so active that it's able to cover, like, so many of those angles, especially if you're going to ledge. I, I can definitely see that, yeah. Do you like the theory? You know my tier list where I said there's the five god tier characters? Like, I think, like, if you use any of those five god tier characters against any of the ones not in the god tier, it's almost certainly a losing matchup. Like, most of the time. It's one of the reasons like, I, I put them separate. Like, when you think about every character's worst matchup, it's going to be one of Steve or Sonic or Game Watch or Rob. Or maybe Aegis in some cases, right? Which is kind of interesting. And then there's a square of parity among those five characters where they can kind of beat each other. So it's kind of pretty interesting. Ah, okay. okay. I mean, no, I, I, I definitely see that, uh, too, where there's just a separate tier of, of, of character, for sure. Yeah. It just meta-defining. These are one of those things where if your character has a bad matchup against all five of those, well, you're, you're going to be struggling. Yep. Or you might just be a low tier. <laughs> yeah, chat's saying it's an even matchup. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember. That's why I was asking, but yeah. Um... I, thanks, guys, for the help because I I completely forgot. Sometimes I sometimes I just remember, but then sometimes I'm just like I have no idea. And this is definitely not the plot for me to start coming up with it here. As uh, Spargo needs to start coming up with it as well as he's down two stocks to one versus Shiny Mark, 34%. Nice backer to cover the high drift from Shiny Mark, but a upy back to the ledge and a reversal forward air from the ledge is so crushing as Shiny Mark just needs one hit to just put the pedal to the gas and not let up. And now a very very rough comeback. For Spargo. Now we've got the neutral air into the up B as well, so solid damage. And this is exactly what Game & Watch wants to be doing. You want to go ahead and open your opponent up with just one of those aerials and then force them to do unsafe options on your shield so that you can up B and then continue to keep that pressure going. But the problem really has been is that Shiny Mark using the mobility of this character to weave in and out around Game & Watch's threat zone. And then the edge trapping has just been so phenomenal. As soon as I mention that, Shiny Mark obliges, shows us just what Pikachu can do when Game & Watch is immovable underneath the edge. Uh, it might be time to uh, pull out the sword. Hmm. Also, uh, PJ, you, so you talked about how chat said that this might be even. I know that Shiny Mark puts it at even, but I don't think that Shiny Mark says that Pikachu loses matchups. Like, I think I've seen the matchup chart uh, one or two times, and Shiny Mark just says this character doesn't lose matchups, really. But I think, like, Esam and a couple other Pikachus have said, like, slight loss. 
Like it isn't. This isn't like a 7:30 or anything like that. This isn't like a yeah. dominant victory. But Game Watch definitely has the tools to hang around in the matchup. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, one of the things that uh, I really appreciate about uh, the Smash community, especially the people watching these streams, is uh, there's so many knowledgeable people, uh, and it's makes my life as a commentator easier that these people are like just so willing to share the information because otherwise it would be a absolute nightmare to figure out all these matchups <clears throat> i mean we we've seen already in just this top eight alone quite a few different matchups and uh, another a matchup i'm definitely more familiar with is spargo sporting the cloud versus shiny mark and the pikachu let's do it true you got the, your wish hbox good call out right there what was my wish the, the, the cloud, cloud right, right you're right you're right yeah, and uh, so far, looking pretty good for Spargo as he's up 91% uh, on Shiny Mark, but Shiny Mark needing only one opening, but the up B is going to swat away any attempt to get an extended string to usher Spargo off stage as he's right back into center stage and looking to close out this stock. Up Smash gets the weak hitbox, but now with the limit online, is going to be able to actually go from coast to coast in time to continue the ledge trap no matter where Shiny Mark goes, but... Yeah, Shiny Mark looking to just kind of wait out this limit, and that should be an uppy out of shield. No, good mix up. Uh, I think the drift made it so that couldn't really punish that with the uppy. The backer comes through from Spargo though, and now yeah, Shiny Mark somehow holding on to this stock. Absolutely impressive stuff. Still living 138%. Wow. Shiny Mark is going through a gauntlet in the corner. Spargo hitting every single back air known to man. But Shiny Mark has been staying strong, staying defensive, not trying to overcommit in these positions. I am so impressed with just the presence of mind to hold on to your options and not overextend in these spots. But you can dodge 100 shots, doesn't matter. Spargo got 101 back airs that he could toss out in the corner. Yeah, that's why Face uh, signed him, man. He just, he just got it like that. 51% now on Spargo as the pressure just seems so much. I mean, a character that well, we talk about being so difficult to hit and pin down, Spargo is just forcing Shiny Mark in shield. And with the safeness of these aerials, I mean, how do you really punish out a shield here? As we were saying, Shiny Mark uh, on occasion getting those big punishes, but even then, like, Spargo is so willing to just swing out and check the trueness of those punishes. So difficult when Spargo gets going. But dropping shield, the last hit of that cross slash right there, a little tech we talked about a little bit earlier in bracket, gets a solid punish out of it, but not lasting particularly long. And yeah, really the problem in the matchup though is that Shiny Mark has to play a little bit more grounded than Pikachu typically likes, because if you try to jump around Cloud, you're gonna eat an aerial or worse, the limit cross slash very nearly claiming the stock and extending this lead, almost a full stock for Spargo, but no limit off stage is where Pikachu makes their money. And yeah, no recovery handy for Spargo's Cloud. Yeah, nice coverage there. Um, overall, I think uh, it's easy to kind of like get too swingy when you have a cloud off stage. But Shiny Mark's flowcharts have been so good off stage, especially now while he's honing that craft in um, yeah, here at Coinbox, where he doesn't even need to go off stage and risk getting reversed by Spargo. He just knew like, oh, you fast fell there. I'm just gonna stay on stage and collect my free stock for that. The up you though, oh, weird interaction, grabbing the ledge but still having that big last hitbox, and that's gonna be a um, a big damage swing for Spargo, but still, like, Shiny Mark's in it and definitely can close out the stock with any opening interaction to down tilt, no tech chase, but still no pressure. Like, even when you get a little bit of a tech chase, if you roll back to center, it's just back airs on back airs and back airs. This is rough. I'm just losing it, dude. <laughs> Shiny Mark just standing there trying his damnedest to take a single step forward, and Spargo continues to chop away at that shield with back air after back air. Like, Pikachu what do you looks... actually do yeah. in that spot of Pikachu? Pikachu looks so scared. When... <laughs> please! <laughs> it's cowering. It has to stop eventually. Is he got a PP yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, please. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu, you struggle, and it ain't very effective right now. Yeah, it's rough <laughs> when those backers come through for Spargo. I, I just think of that Sonic suite. It's like anyone, anyone can give me uh, cloud experience. Just need you to back air a bunch. It's like that's just kind of what Shiny Mark needs right now is to figure out a way to punish that. But that's gonna be a great punish on that roll in with that drag down there into up smash. And now even stock situation once again. <clears throat> So now, finally, perhaps an opportunity for Shiny Mark to try to go and get one of those early percent combos and drag Spargo off stage. But look at the presence of mind right there. Spargo disengaged, went to edge, and tried to go ahead and get a little bit of limit just to prevent that from happening. We want to understand what the wind condition of Shiny Mark's Pikachu is, and it is precisely this. But now we have a limit. 
available. So Spargo manages to keep it too, not even having to expend it off stage. But even if Shiny Mark did manage to intercept the double jump, we still have that additional tool to make sure that Spargo doesn't get the stock taken away so early. Yeah, I like that a little optimization from Shiny Mark knowing, seeing that Spargo, instead of trying to DI behind on the Nair Loops, DI'd in front and actually got a grab for it. Unfortunately, uh, didn't quite get the up air bridges you want to see to close out the game, but uh, still little optimizations in that punish. Uh, exactly what you need to close out this 3-0 versus Spargo because one game could be the end. We've seen a lot of game three or game five, sorry, reverse 3 is my bad. So Shiny Mark just looking to end this set here. The up smash comes through. No... Strong hitbox though, and now the limit slowly coming online. Good tech chase, but no drag down up air there. It's gonna be Spargo with the limit. It's so scary. That Ooh. back air very nearly killed. Shiny Mark though DI'd perfectly right into the corner. Dash attack not gonna do it. So you know the vibes. <laughs> a couple back hairs in the back pocket right there for Shiny Mark, bailing out a disadvantage, going all the way across stage and trying to time that limit out. Phenomenal counterplay from Shiny Mark in a clutch situation. Oh. Up tilt, still not going to do it. Okay, has to re-grab there. And Shiny Mark knowing that you can re-grab instead of land on stage because Spargo is too far away to dash attack. These little things are so important in the defensive game. It's so difficult to keep your wits about you, but Shiny Mark is going to do just that. The down throw, not quite enough percent to go for the up throw but now it might be the opportunity not enough to kill 150 percent the next one surely will do it though the side beyond shield oh and the not like hard. that oh wow. my not like that God. barely staying alive in this tournament dude that was such a long game too 41 seconds left on the clock by the way oh my goodness I think that was the first time that shiny mark gave up the role in those situations like time and time again shiny mark can continued to just hold shield and take the back airs on his chin but in the most pivotal situation he gave up the roll and Spargo was able to chase it down those forward airs are so disjointed that it's really easy to go ahead and just short hop forward and wait out that in bowl why does cloud have a mag magneto on his shoulder Three, that is a good question huh anyway <laughs> or magnetron <laughs> which, <laughs> which one is it Magneto is the, 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 the screws. The, Magneto's the pro Professor X. No, 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 no. I'm like, sorry, not Magneto. I meant Mag. Um. Magneton. <laughs> Magneton. I'm sorry. The, the Pokemon. Did I say Magneto? <laughs> you I'm said tired. Magneto. No, no. I meant the, else? the the you know the magnet Pokemon with the fucking. <laughs> it said Magneto. Yeah. The, the... Chat must have been like, "What are you?" T <laughs> What's it called? Magnemite? No. Um. Magnetron. Yeah. yeah Magnetron. <laughs> So, yeah. Oh my God. Put a gun catch to my head. I would have said that. Yeah, it's Magneto, yeah. the Pokemon, and I would have died on the spot. <laughs> Crazy. Yep. Magnemite's the single, and then the triple with the evolutions, like Magneton, I think it is. <laughs> Cheeto. Yeah. <It's> <laughs> man, this has been a long block and a long stream for you, Hbox. Eight hours in, man. Um, it was a close last game, but Spargo uh, immediately making this not so close as we are now at three socks to two with a big, with some big extra credit for Spargo and closing that stock out with a quickness now with the side B to cover the roll once again. The rolls are finally being called out by Spargo and now kind of a bad spot to be in once Spargo starts getting some reads on you. It, it feels like Oops, sorry, it feels ahead. like Spargo's the uh, the type of player where if you open the door, you might as well just go ahead and let him in. Like one game is all this dude needs. He wins once against you, and then yeah. it just feels like the adaptation and the momentum is always there. Spargo never loses three one. He only wins three two. It's, it's yeah. the down low. And uh, you know, with, with the download being there, I mean, it's it's like. You know, fortunately, you just need one more game for uh, on the side of Shiny Mark. You, if you get lucky or if you just figure out a way to do it. But once Spargo gets that adaptation, it becomes really, really difficult. Probably one of the best uh, adapters in Smash Ultimate or in Smash history, maybe. Super, super solid. Getting the forward air into the side B for big damage here. And we have limit as well so pikachu has to be really careful in the corner here with cloud a little bit of rage it's, it's basically one straight hit into a reed and you're dead but finally waiting that out right there shiny mark stuck in the corner yet again forward tilt has a great opportunity here oh but my can't get God. the track down back air oh, he gets reversal for it. i mean spargo is just playing absolutely lights out just 
not giving Shiny Mark any opportunities. Gets the grab, the up throw for Jungle State, and covers in there with a dash attack. A three stock from a last stock, 41 seconds left situation to a three stock. Once again, download complete. That is clutch. That's the top player difference. So I, I, what, I think we know what's, what's going to happen. So what do we think is going to be the X factor for Shiny Mark here in game five? Like what change needs to be made to the game plan here to be able to stem the tide that is Spargo's cloud? The strategy that I would do if I was uh, Shiny Mark is bribe Spargo $200 to go game watch game five and then uh, everyone wins. But he's not going to do that because Spargo knows he can win this whole tournament. He can win that $1,200 first place prize as he has done many times. It's a matter of results. It's a matter of rinse and repeating. And that was a, what, a three stock? JV3? Last game? Yeah, yeah it, was it was a, a rough one. No, it was, it was just a three stock. I mean, um, the, the biggest difference maker, I think, is like... Uh, Spargo catching onto Shiny Mark's disadvantage shade, and that that is less so a you know, char uh, yeah, it's less so a character matchup, but a player matchup where Spargo kind of gets in Shiny Mark's head and starts really understanding the defensive options, and he's playing a really good character for doing that. I mean, we saw like the last game, uh, the first stock being taken with a high limit side B to cover like a cross stage uh, escape attempt for Shiny Mark. So overall, it's like. Can you mix up your defensive game enough? Because I do think that Shiny Mark will win enough neutral to contend. We did see that uh, game number three where it came down to the wire because Shiny Mark was just not getting called out, but losing because he did. So, you know, you got to keep that disadvantage state fresh. And it's hard, especially when you're game five, but it's time to wow. pull out the stops. And we brought smashing. That's like four in a row. All of a sudden, Spargo had one move on his mind and he committed to the bit and we'll let it be known. It works sometimes. Sometimes it does. When you have a read on someone's air dodge habit, I mean, that's going to be uh, that a, just a big punish. I, I can't believe he literally just up smashed four times. Ridiculous. It is slightly suboptimal, though. He really needed to toss out that fifth one after Shiny Mark had died. Just to be like, just in case you forgot, this is the move I killed you. <laughs> the best taunts are, are, are doing the move you just killed them with. Oh yeah, 100%. As a Mario main, I up smash like four times in a row after I kill somebody with up smash. <laughs> just always tilting with that little voice clip. Does that stale? Uh, it only stales if, if you, you hit, uh, hit something. So if okay. you hit your opponent or a shield or a block or something. Oh, there you go. Alright. Oh, this is a big back air. Let's oh, see what the... Is. He saves the yeah. jump because he's a top player. Incredible. I would have panicked. Chat. I mean, yeah, yeah, me too. We I all would have panicked. 100%. Oh, oh, the air dodge didn't hit the edge, so an awkward spot, and now Still. Shiny Mark actually got the trump, but couldn't get anything out of it. That's stunning right there. Yeah. Usually Pikachu with the trump, when you have no inbound at ledge, you, you might as well just go ahead and give him that stock. It, it's honestly slow, clever there, where uh, Spargo had an opportunity to get limit, but knowing that Shiny Mark has spent a lot of time off stage, waited to get another hit off of a ledge trap to then get the limit, because he knew, like, there's no point in getting the limit now because Shiny Mark's just going to wait off stage for it. And uh, those, those little optimizations of when Spargo actually decides to get that last bit of limit, still important versus a player like Shiny Mark, who's so good at timing it out. That's a great observation, PJ. Like that's you, we, you got to kind of recognize like what limit gives you, as well as the disadvantages it gives you too, because wow. it does increase your gravity, makes you a little bit more prone to Pikachu's combos. Yep. It's like Shiny Mark is a little bit more prone to Spargo's up smashes this game five. It looks like, as that seems to be the recipe for success oh! right here. And the drag down, we we're going a little bit cheeky all of a sudden. That would have killed most characters apart from like seven of them, and Pikachu was one of those seven, I think. It's, it's honestly so smart because a lot of times when you're uh, close to getting limit, uh, when cloud players get limit and are recovering high low, just opt to air dodge a nice drag down, uh, narrow to down. So they'll opt to air dodge. So Shiny Mark, I think, was positioning for that opportunity, but Spargo, knowing that he was going to position, just went for it immediately. Oh man, game five, last stock. It's another one of these. I don't know how many we're going to see in a single night, but Spargo laying it on with a quick 60. Another 24. Cross slash. I would not stay near the ledge. Stay center stage if you want to win. Shiny Mark's win condition is getting the Swordsman off the stage and letting gravity take him down. Oh! Did I curse it? Oh my god. The air dodge came through. Didn't want to burn limit. Once again, I was talking about that and 
Good stuff for Spargo to hold that limit now with the speed able to contend, but that limit cross slash is going to get punished. No drag down. You see the up tilt came through, but not quite the right number of hitboxes. The back air oh. comes out, catches the air dodge. Oh, again. Crazy he didn't up be there. Just held on to his resources. Back throw comes through. Oh, my God. Can he close it again? How many attempts? That's the grab. Spargo praying for the limit of smash. He tripped. That could have been so oh. huge for Shiny Mark. He wasn't ready for it. Bro. Comes oh, that. my God. He's so clutch. He just lets the up smash rip nine times out of ten. That wouldn't have worked, but Spargo had the perfect option in game five. I don't even know that we saw him use up smash that much in any of his games tonight. Just something in that perfect moment that he understands, I've got a game plan. It's time to execute. Bro, yeah, I feel like so many other posts would have folded. And it's time for the top three. Can Spargo win the coin box again? Gonna be fighting Wrath now. Back to back we go. I mean, damn, dude. I I I I'm, I agree with that I can literally name not a single other player who would have had the the wherewithal to go for that up smash there. It's just so I don't know, man. Kids built the play smash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw the second dash immediately up smash, and that was that last game. All five, all three stocks uh, were taken with up smash. Clean stuff. And now the reward you get for being an incredibly clutch player. You have to win nine games against Sonic. Nine. Across three sets. Potentially play 15. Potentially, fifth. Potentially, yeah. That's the most you might play. Yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, make sure you're hydrating. It's a great time to get some water and buckle up because we're in top three, so there's still a lot more Smash Ultimate to be played. Um... Yeah, and if, if you're enjoying enjoying the content, make sure to drop uh, a Twitch sub. You get a lot of great emotes. Uh, you get some ad-free viewing. And if you didn't know, you could link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and get one free monthly subscription. No better place to spend it than the home of Coinbox every Wednesday. Shout out to Team Liquid and Coinbase and the wonderful team uh, behind the scenes that are making this happen. Rickles and Skiff dealing with the bracket stuff. Hbox, of course, not only playing in the tournament, commentating, hosting, but also running the stream. And uh, thank you, Scabs, for joining me tonight for Top 8. This has been a pretty long Top 8 uh, with all the crazy stuff. But, um, yeah, it's exciting to have you here. It's exciting, man. <laughs> I mean, this has been a hell of a block, PJ. It is always a pleasure anytime we get a chance to cast together. Happy that we got a chance to do so again. I had a blast at the coin box IRL. So when, uh, when I got called back to run it back with you, no hesitation whatsoever. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, we got to run it back this year, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, it's, it was a really fun thing to do last time. And I was looking back, I'm just like, damn, this was, this was a good thing to do. And we can probably have a lot more, uh, I don't know, variants and side events, things to do. I was reading today that people really are pitching for that um, event happening where every state sends two players, and it's called like the Smash Senate or whatever. <coughs> or the yeah. Senate. Yeah. And then we just kind of have like a, a civil war of sorts it'll be really really cool somebody had a like a little twist on that one which was every state sends five players two top players two two tours and a commentator and a common 50 comment <laughs> bro we're gonna it's gonna be the, the yapalachian trail man people are gonna be just <laughs> yapping oh my god it's like listen if you want to go ahead and commentate the coin box first you gotta win the bracket we need to you know <laughs> we need to have a setup that's 50 casters at the same time on a mic I mean, oh, no. I, Discord voice chat is the best way to do it, but <laughs> you know how funny that would be? What's that game where you like can only say one word and then it keeps going down? Telephone? No, 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 not, not, is it telephone where it's like you, you try to tell a story, but you can only say one word at a time and like everyone just goes down the line. That'd be a crazy way to commentate, like 50 people and we're just trying to like figure out what we're trying to say. It would go nowhere. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Alternatively, <laughs> if the commentators commentate their own matches. I've only seen one player do that successfully. That was Let It Rain, who won a Xanadu that he was commentating his own grand finals match. If That's ev insane. If every person, every state brings two two and tours, that means there's going to be 100 two and tours. That means it's going to be... <laughs> the ultimate like, mid-off. At least 22 people who go two and two in the two and tour bracket. So... <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, shouts to the two and tours, man. That's... I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally a two and tour. 
in CFL. I'm literally a two and two. So. But yeah. I was gonna say I'm a two and two, but like no, nah. I'm like a two and two on a good day. On a good day. It feels great though. Yeah, it feels great though. Uh, I mean, I top aided a SoCal local like two oh. months ago, still holding on to that is. one, you know. Riding that high. Yeah, riding the high for I sure. Love Sonic. In case everyone's curious as to where these players are located, we have the technology. Just leak their IPs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boom. You just pull it up on Google Maps. <laughs> it'd be crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's uh, Baja, California, all the way to Georgia. According to this, this, is, this is where Fargo, according to his account, is Baja, California. I'm not too sure if that's accurate. I thought it was it's, it's either T Tijuana or Baja, but it's not that big of a difference. It's pretty much yeah, the same. Same, same difference. Maybe one ping or two more, but nonetheless, we're getting into the run back of winners semifinals between uh, Wrath and Spargo. The core is still coming out here, not going for the uh, Cloud or the Aegis for this matchup. Just sticking with it here. And what we saw in that winner's match was that while the blueprint was certainly working when Spargo had the opportunity to play neutral and to get an advantage, Wrath just was sniping stocks left and right the second Spargo stepped foot off stage. So I will have to see if Spargo is able to go ahead and get a little bit of a better mix in disadvantage or if Wrath is going to continue with his winning ways. Yeah, it looked really good for Spargo in the beginning of the set, but as much as we talk about Spargo's adaptation, I think Wrath was the one who had a big uh, change of pace and was able to get that reverse 3-0, of course. So we might uh, see a little bit more of that. We might uh, be seeing a little bit more back and forth, but nonetheless, it's exciting to see this matchup. Matchup you don't see all that often, but uh, we're seeing a lot here at Coinbox. And is, there. is it just me also, or has the, the not, not necessarily the novelty of Corn started to wear off, but has its success started to decline? If I recall correctly, didn't Sonics uh, end up winning Coinbox IRL uh, over this Corn? And then a few of the matches recently also have been seeming to go either Wrath or Sonics' way. So perhaps it's like a little bit of an adaptation between these two? No, yeah, definitely for sure. I think uh, for a while, I, I remember when uh, we... Uh, I remember when I started commentating with Nerf and we were talking about like, wow, Korn seems to be like the perfect character for dealing with Sonic. But uh, as they say that, uh, the Sonic players obviously took it to heart because they just started grinding this matchup and now are very, very solid. Uh, you know, even seeing Sonics on his Twitter, like labbing some kills. And uh, I think uh, what you said, uh, nice back air, by the way, of course, if Caster have to say it. Um, I think you saying the novelty boring off is act exactly what it is. Is, is Korn is like a novelty character in this in this meta. Certainly, like the matchup might be solid for Corrin, but really, like you're gonna get, there's so many characters in this dang game that you're gonna get a couple matches out of just sheer unfamiliarity given how uncommon the character is. Yeah, and I mean, Spargo is like the master of swords, so it makes sense to me that it found so much success early on. And I like that even though, you know, losing, saying, you know, I'm committed to making this character work in this matchup, I'm going to continue to play it. Uh, it's only a waste of time, you know, if you stop uh, trying to win with it. Agreed. So th take that lesson to heart, y'all. It's only a waste of time if you stop, so keep betting. <laughs> eventually, eventually that lottery ticket will win. <laughs> the return's so good, $2 for $50 million. <laughs> so, Forget so it. far here, it's been all Spargo this game. Wrath starting to go ahead and chip away at the lead, trying to secure this stock. Problem is that at 92% with Corn with full rage, yeah, you have to be on point with your punishes. That pin is a quick tool. But Spargo goes for a little something special off stage, misses that tech, and that will do that stock. Tries to go for that uh, reverse forward smash, uh, turn around forward smash on the ledge. But the back air covers, was it three backers that closed out the set? Regardless, good stuff from Spargo with the core. And once again, taking game number one in this set, uh, we might be seeing a game five. We'll see. Um, I believe in Wrath's ability to make this uh, turn around, but uh, one of the factors that you don't think about is, you know, obviously as you're watching the stream, there's always something happening on the stream, but as casters, we're always talking, but the players, it's on them to keep themselves warm, especially waiting for so long. Um, and Wrath has been waiting, uh, he waited for the outcome of Beast Mode, Paul Shiny Mark, and also um, a Spargo Shiny Mark, which was game five with like a timeout situation almost. So, um, you know, it might take Wrath time to warm up here, or it might just be Spargo, uh, is just going to run away with it. So we'll see. 
Regardless, it's exciting. I love Corrin. Uh, I remember when um, Cosmos put off Corrin at one tournament, and uh, it actually worked. After, it, it worked, and I was like, oh, that's so hype. Uh, I always thought this character was super cool in this game. So many frame traps. Definitely, and like the last Smash Con, getting to see a couple corns make those really deep runs was super impressive. Just showing the world that this character, it isn't just novelty, this character's got some tools and you're gonna need to respect them for sure. Yeah, Shattuck is one of the most inspirational players in Smash. Shoutouts to uh, Shattuck, of course, Agreed. pushing the meta here in the States. Alongside to Sonic, or Spargo, sorry. Shout out to Shattuck and Dadic too for being just the supporting parent, help, helping out and always being in the crowd and in Twitch chat cheering them on. Yeah, for sure. Shout out to the parents supporting uh, supporting the esports dream, man. It's so sick. Agreed. So now we are kind of in a familiar spot right there where that spring set up perfectly for that back air. It just feels as though if Spargo can get the angle properly to clank with those um, wings on the upbeat so that they eliminate that spring, then the recovery is relatively easy. If the angle just ever so slightly off and the spring hits the center mass, you're kind of usually just dead. Rat doesn't miss those too frequently. Yeah, exactly. And I remember in the first uh, watch through of, of this matchup, we were like, how do you punish that recovery on Corrin? Um, and in a lot of situations, it's not possible. But uh, in that situation for Wrath, like using that spring, I think, is a big key to making it uh, be punishable. And you saw there like the spring it knocked him away enough so that he had to go for one of those ones that linger a little bit before they uh, homing, attack? Homing, attack homing attack again. Yet again. <laughs> We gotta get a tally, you H-Box, on one of these. We gotta keep track throughout the night how many Sonics throw themselves into the blast zone. Oh, tone. not again, dude. Of course. Of course. That was the only time it happened. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Spargo host. For some reason, I, I legitimately need to replace my Switch. I think it's a defective one. This has now been happening once, once per coin box. It does it. Um, we're gonna, just gonna run it back 125 to 0%. Nah, it's not in the power settings. It just, I mean, it might be, but... Uh, you, sleep mode is one thing, but it is an OLED. That's the thing. And I never understand why it does that. I'm just gonna have them rehost. While we're waiting for the rehost, I gotta tell a story because this I have. This has happened to um, what's his name, Enhanced PV in my region, who had the same exact problem. OLED switch. Every now and then, it would just shut off. Yeah. So whenever he would enter in online tournaments, what he ended up doing was taking his OLED switch and putting it in the refrigerator. No and kidding. And that's how he would play his matches. <laughs> I wonder if it's from it being warm. If it does feel a little warm, but I'm not sure if it's. No, it, it, it's definitely the switch. Yeah, the switch uh, shut Spargo, off. Spargo, it, it it's not letting me. Oh god, hold on. Wrath, can you host? And now there's still the issue of of, of it not let people host. I'm gonna see if Wrath can host. If not, then I'll rehost. It's so weird. Lunar, I would not recommend you putting your OLED in the microwave, or I would recommend you doing so if you record it and then put it up online and pray that you get enough enough views to go ahead and buy a new one. Was it the iPhone? F this is before my time, but like the iPhone 4 or something that was like, you can microwave it and charge it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's <laughs> it has wireless charging. Yeah, yeah. Just microwave it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Wrath is able to host. Thank goodness. Cool. All right. Uh, I think it was one one twenty percent and zero. Literally starting to bend and crack apart from how much it heats up. Jeez, that's dangerous. I think it was a zero to one twenty five. Yeah, zero to one twenty five. Correct. All right, there we go. So we're gonna run it back. FD two stocks each. 120 to zero. Here we go. You guys remember? You guys remember when you can uh, hack into a phone? Oh, Spargo was 125.8. You, you could hack into a phone by using um, a whistle or like a, a noise, a certain frequency. <laughs> really? One of the craziest what? things. Yeah, I remember that. Didn't the guy get like put in prison for that nonsense? Yeah, but I, I think he then then they then he become a, a white hat hacker. Yes, I believe so. That I think that's what happened. So is basically, cool. like it was it was dealing with like the dial tone. So if you could mimic the dial tone or something like that, you could basically get transferred or you could like change 
where your call would go. So he used that to like mess with like government systems or nonsense like that. Yeah. Oh. And there was, I don't know, iPhones back then? If you change the clock to a certain time, you just bricked it. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember that. And there was the Wait. little tech hacks like that. There was like, it, zip bombs are hilarious. The like little file, when you open it, it's like 50 yottabytes of information. And then there was, there was an image, some GIF on, on Discord, that if you opened it, I think it was the guy from Wallace and Gromit, and if you opened it, it would literally just crash the Discord. Yeah, it no. was. So funny. Yeah, yeah those little t IT nubs that drive tech folks crazy because they didn't think to test that specifically. Yeah. I, I was actually, um I was doing IT back when the, the crypto craze started. And I swear to God, I want to say like a third of our of our clients just had crypto miners on their servers. Just like running in the background that some employee installed. Which, I mean, props to them. <laughs> that, that's that's impressive. But maybe don't do that. 125.8%. Gonna try not to steal everything. Uh, what is the stell order? Is it five or whatever? Yeah. Stale move cube? Could, yeah, stale. No, I was gonna say, yeah, what, what's the stale, stale move cube? Dude, imagine if you had to reset and you were playing Sheik and your opponent was like at 200. You're just there forever. Like, what, what do you go. do as Sheik getting the percent up? Anyway, luckily, uh, Sonic, a character that has no problem cracking on that percent, and we are back into the game immediately. Two socks yeah. also, peace now. Can we take a minute to appreciate how, how Rap got that to 125.7? That is impressive. 0.1% away from the target. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the, the, as I said, said, yeah, there is a 40 kilobyte, uh, you know, zip file. And when you open it, it downloads a petabyte to your computer. And the reason it's, it, the way it does that is because a dot zip file is just, uh, you know, you have, everything's a bunch of ones and zeros and it's very cool, right? In the simplest way, instead of literally writing a million ones and a million zeros, you just write a zip that says, hey, when you open this, then write a million ones and a million zeros. It's like compression. But let's say you have to write a million ones and a million zeros a million times. Well, instead of doing all that, it's that's an instruction. Hey, write the million ones and a million zeros and then repeat that a million times. That's, uh, it's not like exact, but like it's what compression kind of is. So you can like tweak with that and make it go absolutely crazy to the point where you can make a insanely stupidly sized large file that crashes your computer. It's pretty funny. How do you, you're an IT scabs you said? I used to be, yeah. How, do, how would I go about fixing that if I downloaded a petabyte? I don't, I have like three terabytes of data. How, how does that work? Uh, usually if your hard drive is completely full, it can't function. So it creates temporary files to just run. So if you fill up somebody's hard drive, there's really nothing you can do about it. You have to open it up, you pull it out of their computer, open it up as a flash drive using what's called a SATA sled. Uh, and then you can just start to delete files from there to, so that it can run again. But it, it is annoying as heck to do that. I... Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so... I, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> You know that if you pay if you pay for WinZip, it's actually a copy of Ultimate that was available since 1995. But no one ever paid for it, so we never we never knew. We could we could have, we could have had the game a while ago. Damn. Yeah, that's how you know no one paid for it. One to one. Yeah, with a little reset there, but uh, yeah, I mean Wrath was still had 125 percent of a lead, and uh, both of them going to the selection here, so. We might be seeing a little bit of a counter pick on the side of Spargo. We'll see. Could be just the stage, of course. I wonder if he's gonna go. Ready? Just take it to the corn. Nice. <sighs> I'm kind of curious about the stage counter picks too, because it feels as though the stages haven't played too much of a role in this matchup, except for that last one. Wrath just fell on on final. Like, it, no platforms to go ahead and reset to, no way to go ahead and mix up your momentum. And what do you actually do to land, given Korn's relatively lackluster disadvantage state? 
Yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously, uh, we talk a lot about like Ocorn having really good frame traps and really good juggling, but uh, when both characters have really good juggling, I really do think it comes down to who's faster, uh, who can position themselves, and who can get out of disadvantage using literally just their speed alone. And I think with Sonic being that character by a long margin versus Corrin, uh, is just going to do so much better versus FD. Crazy, he got an up air. Dude, you get so much damage off of a single pop up with Corrin. Really, it's such an, um, Corrin is such an elegant character to watch. Like, it, it just seems so, like, um, it flows so well together in the moves. Actually, speaking of inelegance right there, Spargo falling out of rats uh, up air, that's like the one thing that Sonic players hate the absolute most, and every now and then that move just decides not to function. Yeah, the multi-hits in this game, just sometimes. Some of them are, like, flawless, and other than, sometimes you get a Sonic up there. Hungerbox, did you use LimeWire, Bear Share, or Kazaa? Wait, was I, was I only supposed to use one? <laughs> I no, you ruined, my, my parents' computer was it was ruined, dude. Like, that's enough ruin. Like, no, no, no. It was bad. But Bear Share was goaded when it was there. Ruined. Oh, it was 750 ROMs plus NES emulator? Oh, this seems cool. And then uh, you open a .exe. I thought it was a cool game. It was not a cool game. Cool game. Then my parents got divorced. Yeah, it was good. Oh Jesus. Anyway, but yeah. So don't 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 download LimeWare or don't use LimeWare, kids. Pay for your streaming services. It's worth it in the end. Must add Hbox. It's all good. It's all good from experience. <laughs> After that story, I'll be taking the word for it, dude. Oh man. I can't help but see a vested interest here. Yeah. I just wanted to play my SNES games, man. And I did. Dude, it, did. Was, it was a great emulator. <laughs> you did that hand motion. I'm like, oh, it's real, dude. He's, he's, he, that computer was cooked. <laughs> Bro, the first time I used an emulator at my friend's house, I was like seven years old. And I was like, this is the coolest thing in the world. It was called SNES 9X. It's got this cool ass interface. I'm like, this feels like, like, you're, like, you're, like you're cheating. Like you're getting everything for free. And he's like, yeah, man. And that oh, well, the whole what? life chain. Oh, I, I that homing attack killed him again. That would have been crazy. If Nintendo's listening, good. We, we know the virtual console is just emulators anyway. I said it. I said it. <laughs> of course, you open every single game that you emulated, right? Right, Hbox? Every single one. Yep, that's I how it is. Pains, I painstakingly <laughs> opened the cartridges and used my electrical engineering know-how at seven years old to extract all the memory. I bought every cable to do so. Now, up air is going to extract Wrath out of the room. Spargo up 2-1. Flawless one transition as always. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I got to love when the players are listening to the stream and just give it to us like that. I mean, great, uh, great transition as we move into this game at number four with Spargo being up. Uh, Wrath had a little bit of a lead earlier on, but Spargo was just able to come back and basically take no damage on that last stock. I kind of made a realization just right now that um, at the end at the end of the games, when I give like a recap, I'm just TLDRing what happened in the game. I w I wonder if I wonder if people find that helpful. Um, I, I'm becoming self aware. This is how you know this is uh, late for me. I'm still a little jet lag from Guatemala. Guatemala is two hours ahead. Four scabs and Hbox three hours ahead. So it's um, what one a.m. right now for you guys. Shout out oh, to yeah. you guys. I'm I'm I am not. Uh... Not doing gym tonight. I'm just sleeping for 16 hours. That's what I'm gonna do. Seven hours from now, I have to read legislation. This is not gonna be fun. <laughs> but what has been fun is this block. I would not trade it whatsoever for the world. It's been a blast working with you, PJ. And I cannot wait to see what happens at the end of the bracket because despite the fact Spark was up a game, we're back on final D and we saw how dominant Wrath was last year. Yeah, um, I, okay, uh, up the attempt from Spargo there. I was going to say one of the um, patterns that Spargo goes into with the juggle state is uh, it's a lot of up airs, uh, forward air into up airs, up airs, up airs. And then you'll see when the up air whiffs on an air dodge and Wrath is now looking to shark underneath, uh, he'll land with a nair. And those little 
um, like that last hitbox and that last mix-up is so important in maintaining that advantage state because the Mantana, um, um, oh, I combined the words, advantage state doesn't end when they touch the ground. You can still continue to apply pressure there. That's a really, uh, that really shows like the strength of this character and especially Spargo piloting it where a lot of characters like will whiff a juggle move on Sonic and get nothing for it uh, or get punished for it. Uh, Korn is safe. Um, up throw there for Spargo is able to close it out. And the juggle state, uh, you know, not quite lethal. Uh, but definitely is going to rack on a lot of percent for kill kills. But now actually using the neutral air dodge to get back to stage. I'm digging that option. Also, Ben digging the way that Spargo's been mixing in these counters. This is kind of a call out for the spin dash in. It's had a little bit of mixed success, but it does force Wrath to choose properly when to go ahead and abuse that movement tool to get coast to coast on the stage. Yep, exactly. Great down tilt uses there, just checking Oh my goodness, he's hit four down tilts on Sonic. Oh, a little bit of a chunk there, but still we're back in it. And there's the four tilt. I like how unaffected the players are whenever there's a little bit of a mishap. They just they just accept the state of being, and they're like, we're just going to keep going through it. I mean, what else are you supposed to do, right? Just continue to play. Uh, Show us go and complain. That's what you got to do. It's true. I would just start pinging Skiff and Rickles big, like, <laughs> like crazy lit. <laughs> Actually, that's just a good thing to do in general. If you ever have any problems with Smash or Coinbox in general, you just at Skiff. He can because solve all problems. All problems solved. Well, you should, if someone should make like a fob that down on the D-pad pings Rickles and Skiff for a lag check, that'd be so, <laughs> that'd be so funny. I mean, there's a future, I don't know, like 50 years from now when, when eSports becomes so commonplace that it's just like, all right, you now have a, your proper bracket software integrated into our games, and I can actually see it being a thing. You know how, like, eventually, like, console started adding, like, Spotify support and Apple, whatever? Discord support, yeah. Yeah, it's like, it became slightly more personalized each time. Like, I think there's, like, a non-zero chance that could actually happen in, like, the future future, you know? Like, I'm talking, like, four generations, three or four generations on the line when they really accept, like, this as part of eSports. Or I'm there. I'm, I'm here for it. A customization option. Wow, that almost killed. Spargo might close it here. Damn, the knockback on that bite is crazy. Yeah, the Paralyzer is scary enough as it is, but that subsequent hit just gives you the punish on a Paralyzer. ZSS wishes that you could get a true punish like that off of a Paralyzer. Also, we got to talk briefly about that down tilt up air. Wow. Oh, that down tilt up air. That's the crazy. First one, the first one connected but didn't kill because Final D has tall ceilings. The second one finally secures that stock for Spargo. And wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know what our grand finals is? This must be. This needs to be studied. And you know what? I'll watch it a million times if I have to. Sonic Spargo Grands. You already know. Let's get him in here. And Spargo is on fire. Was that Rats Arena, though? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was. Oh. Here comes the awkward moment. Sparo can't host. Sonics can't host. <laughs> Wait. If I can't host, the coin box is over. Well, let's find out. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> I can host. No, I, I don't think that would do anything. Please. Okay. Can't let the arena code be seen. <sighs> oh, nice. We're good. But I'm worried because my switch might shut down. Because it's been finicky. Um, oh, this is the game we play. I guess we got to roll the dice just a little bit. So There's a lot of money on the line. So, you know, these two players anxious to figure out who's going to walk home with it. Can Skiff host? I just need anyone else to host and I'll just go into theirs. I also want to make sure... That if I if my switch dies, that their game doesn't get interrupted. You know what I mean? It makes sense. That's it. Uh, let me see if Sonic's can host. I I, I just I just don't want God for my my switch to poop out on a game for last at last stock. Cause then I feel like I'm. Yeah. yeah. What a no, unique set of challenges this game presents sometimes. It, it's such an insane thing. Like, um, as a. When, when, 
when I was younger, as a kid, I mean, I'm not that old, but um, when I was younger and I would watch YouTube videos of Smash, like Smash Ultimate was the first time that I've like really got into competitive gaming. And I used to think like, oh, it's just so like, you know, it's such a simple thing, like just hosting tournaments and like these things just kind of happen. But now that I'm like in the scene, dude, TOs and production go through so many challenges and it's crazy how many challenges are in this little switch. Like there's just so many weird things that can happen, especially with this OLED model. Uh, so yeah. All right. I mean, it, we have to worry about it's this. always been a challenge for these things, but I mean, between this time, it's kind of just like the, the technology is so compressed that every now and then it'll glitch out. But I mean, I don't know who had it worse. Folks have to wor worry about the switches overheating or like back in the day, happen to go ahead and just log, lug, excuse me, a CRT around to your venue. We still do it. True. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's funny, so like <clears throat> when I first got into the Smash scene, I would always ha I like offer to help set up. And it, most of the time I'd go to Smash Ultimate Locals and a lot of the TOs in SoCal have monitor sleeves or like, you know, gaming monitors that aren't so heavy. And I wouldn't mm -hmm. mind doing that. And then one time I went to Verdugo here in uh, Burbank and I said, do you need help setting up? And they looked at me, they're like, really? I'm like, yeah, they're like, can you help get the, the TVs out? I'm like, what do you mean TVs? And they're like the TVs for my trunk, and it was just massive CRTs. And I, I was, I never offered to help set up a mainline local again. I was like, I'm done with this. I'm pissed. Bro, I um, I just became friends with Spargo on my Switch, because apparently he's actually able to make arenas with friends. So nice, wonderful. There you go. Is that the best player you have friended? Huh? Is that the best player you have friended on your Switch? Definitely, right? I mean, who, I'm, I'm not friends with Aqua. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> who else would it be? <laughs> yeah, you're right. This feels nice. I don't, I, I never, I, yeah, I almost never use the friend feature because I don't have any friends. So this is nice. Very, very nice. What's the code? Hold on. Code. All right, Sonics and Spargo. There we go. So roughly how many times have we seen this in Grands? Uh, the ring. at least three, and I, I, I actually think this has been grand finals for this series. Uh, I, I want to say thirty times, between twenty and thirty times. That's what it feels like. Almost a third of all coin boxes then have come down to these two. That is incredible consistency. Is that confirmed? I'm going back through the uh, the PG stats list. I know it's incomplete, but I'm seeing quite a few. That's actually obscene. <coughs> Spargo from losers, Sonics and winners. Here we go. The, their record online and offline is 58 and 28 in favor of Spargo. 86 sets played from pro, for, from players at this level that are in like completely different regions. That's insane. They've played 86 sets. Mm -hmm. God, I mean, that's, that's gotta be one of the greatest rivalries of all time with any Smash game. Yeah, me and Mango have played just over a hundred, and that's in <laughs> Mango's entire oh. lifespan. I oh. believe that ZD and Dexter in my region played 250 sets. It's like obscene how frequently those two would go back and forth. Wasn't there a guy who like beat someone 147 times in a row and then finally oh broke the streak last year? That is that is a celebration right there immediately. I don't care if you don't win the event, just give that man the pop bonus. <laughs> I love like little quirky records like that, like little strange factoids. Like LeBron stats, yeah. Those are 140 143 to zero might be the greatest like win streak ever in esports on yep. somebody, like one person to another. That's crazy. It might be. <laughs> you ever see like uh like a documentary or like read up on like the worst blowout? Uh, defeats of all time in any sport. Yeah, there was like uh, I think it was like some Australian, like local team versus like the UK soccer's team, for some reason like in the like the 1960s or something. It was like 89 to zero in soccer. Uh, two so, two two zero Georgia Tech. Holy crap! Yeah, it was Georgia Tech v Cumberland College. There are so many stories to tell about that one. Yo, Sonics is. It was, uh, Sorry, I just realized. What the fuck? I wanted to, to say, 
he missed a back air and then he drifted into the startup of the uppy and did his uppy so that it traded and because he has a better recovery it won and he went above and it sent spargo just far enough away where he died what whoa that is dominance right there spargo was looking so good from the drop yeah speaking of it blowouts just... damn What was the 2222 story? Moth John, thanks for the 15 months. There it is. So, this was um, uh, Heisman, was the guy that was like coaching the team that went 222 points. He also coached their baseball team, and Cumberland apparently ran the score up on him on Georgia Tech's baseball team, and he held a grudge. He basically said, we're going to, like, Cumberland's football team had folded before this had happened, but they had a contract to play this game and he said you're gonna do this or we're gonna go ahead and sue so he forced them to like get a team together to play and he specifically ran up the score as much as he could to get revenge for that baseball game to the how point do you where, like, score 222 points um yeah the most points you can get in one instance of football is eight points at a time so it's like what? So C Cumberland completed like nine fumbles that they lost and six interceptions. <clears throat> like oh, it was, it was bad. Yeah, because yeah, it it it'd also have to be like dropped kickoffs and a lot of fumbles and interceptions. So it's like That's... also John Heisman. Like they named the Heisman Trophy after him because he's like the like the most important person at developing football. And Georgia again. Cumberland didn't really have a football team. So you have like the founder of modern football against this like random team of ragtags. Apparently some players like from Cumberland ran away and hid because they were just like, didn't want to play anymore, obviously. Right. Damn. So yeah, absolutely brutal beat up on that one. Like the Heisman just would not let, let them uh, get away with it. Speaking of a bit of a blowout there, we had it in game one, but now it is looking a lot more even as Spargo manages to get that stock there with the counter, and Sonic finally, perhaps, has to go ahead and take a deep breath here as Spargo seems to have gotten lead out of his shoes, starting to keep back up here. Sonic and Spargo yeah. have put in 25 coin box grands if you count resets. And what's what's the, you know what the record count is within coin box? Because that's pretty wild, yeah. It was quite a little between 20 and 30. Um... <laughs> That's a lot of sets here at Coinbox, wow. Quite a few. Okay, yeah. Oh, nice after call out on that landing there. <clears throat> Yeah, so something that I've, um, oh, I was going to say that I think game one was definitely like a recalibration because obviously he's been playing um, Korn versus Sonic, but he was playing Wrath uh, for most, I mean, played what, 10 games versus Wrath, so had to uh, kind of recalibrate and say, okay, I picked up this Korn for this player, but, you know, the character, it's easy to kind of not get into the mode quickly. So fortunately, a uh, quick game and... Um, I think HBox said it well, like, sometimes it's better to get three stock quickly, you know what I mean? Like, you just know, like, okay, everything I did was wrong, time to just completely switch it up. And so far, actually, it looks as though... Sonic's... Has Sonic's dropped a game this run? Like, looking he's, at it on my side, like, his he hasn't record... Dropped the, he hasn't dropped the... Oh my god! Is this a no-hitter? First he, ever? He hasn't dropped the game. Is this Coin Box's first ever no hitter? Seriously? Holy sh! Wait, this might be history. This might be historic. Yeah, this is stunning if Sonic is able to go ahead and finish this one off. But yeah, this is what a record. And, he, and this isn't like e easy people he's playing. He three out Wrath, Shiny Mark, DeBuzz, two out Anthony isn't cool and Druish. Like this is, these are some big names here. And Sonic showing that he's more than up to the task of taking home the dub. I just checked. He has. He hasn't dropped the game. What the hell? And doesn't look to do so so far. The forwarder comes through. He baits out the air dodge and gets the backer, lines it up perfectly. And we are potentially witnessing history happen with a Sonic's. Um, what what is even the exp what is the term? Yeah yeah no hit. We call it a no hitter. No hitter yeah, yeah no yeah. hitter. 
That's insane because a no hitter in in a bracket like this happens as often as a no hitter does in in baseball. It's just such a, a flawless victory to not even get scratched, to not drop a single game. Holy crap! And you're right, he beat. It was the buzz 2-0. Shiny Mark 3-0, Wrath 3-0, and now to put the cherry on the cake, if he wins, it's a Spargo 3-0, and it's the single best perfect run of all time in the history of Online Smash. Yeah, you're not you're not getting a perfect game against some kind of minor league team right here. This is this is a contender lineup for sure. Any go ahead and crew with Wrath, Shiny Mark, the Buzz, and Spargo on there is a threat to take just about any crew battle. And we're seeing one person run the gamut against every single one of them. What? Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> crazy yeah. that That's this never night happened. has transpired into this. Yeah, this is this is crazy. It's which is such a it's such a weird like it's, obviously we're saying it a lot, but it's such a significant thing for this uh, tournament. Like History literally being made. But you still have to tap it in right here. Spargo might be down, but trying to count this player out is 100% not the correct move. Dodging a couple of those interception attempts off stage and then immediately rolling away from the grab. So Spargo staying alive in these disadvantageous spots, finally getting that rapid jab to potentially get something started here. Because, yeah, we need a couple hits, at least something here. One string at the very minimum. Ooh, the spring should set up. Okay, no. Uh, Spargo taking the spring, but actually still positioning with an angle so that you can't just run off forward and hit the uh, blind spot of that up. Be clean stuff from Spargo. I like the uh, counterplay coming through. The pin comes through. Not quite enough to kill here. 165% of rage, though. The backer definitely would have done it, but didn't quite find the connection as now. Are we at down tilt up air percent, you think, PJ? 88? Uh, Yeah, I'd say so with all this rage. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make the call. Yeah, I do think it kills here, but I mean getting a getting a down tilt on a player this elusive is so difficult and in any moment You could lose that stock with a backer now definitely not without all of that rage online um, As uh, Sonic's looking to make the uh, to pitch a perfect night here So now the problem really becomes can you claim this stock you def desperately excuse me do not want to be down a stock and a half against sonics cannot allow too much extra credit to pile up but if you're trying to get a stray hit against a elusive sonic player let alone sonics himself uh that's gonna be a tough challenge for the best player in the world yeah it's just uh this is this is like the highest caliber of smash we can get really i mean but bes literally besides one other player like it is uh it's coming down to this and sonics is looking absolutely unhittable here the falling last uh frame of that up air able to close out that stock as a, it's not going to be so easy to make this flawless run number two in the world in spargo but sonics has made these crazy adaptations made these big strides in this matchup and now Looking to put that exclamation point and prove that maybe it's time to not play Horn versus me in bracket. Yeah, you had your fun, but now it's time for me to answer back. Yeah. So now stuck in the corner here is Sonics. We hadn't seen really a pin two frame hit yet tonight, I don't think. So perhaps trying to get something going here as a little bit of a mix up instead. Reversing the situation. Gets the nair through the platform. Sonics oh. actually gets intercepted with a back air. So now this is Spargo's first lead here in the game. And Let's what see. a lead it is. This we talk up the perfect game. We talk up the no oh. hitter. Dude, like I said, it, it's, it's so elusive. And like I'm telling you, I've obviously I've been here for every single coin box pretty much. I I to my memory. This has never been done before. Like, I, I think it would be a big deal if someone did. The big lose run happens. This could be it, though. And then that's it. It, it pretty much solidifies Spargo as the, or Sonics rather, as the as the greatest online player of all time. Well, let's just see what happens. Oh my. Falling up here into the down tilt too. These strings, a little bit of a build your own combo idea right there from Sonics free form to end the night. Is it really in the history of Lunchbox, Juicebox, and Coinbox? It's never been done. Holy sh I'm getting chills. I mean, this is uh, Sonic's... History is in his hands here if he can close out this game. 
You're seeing a lot of these uh, landing up airs just trying to mix up the timings uh, for Spargo when he does finally burst in, because a lot of times he's just going over the head of Spargo, but now he's choosing to land on it, falls out of the Paralyzer. That's not going to close it out there quite yet. Would have been a way to, I don't know if it would have killed, but it would definitely have been scary for Sonic as he's playing absolutely uh, as safe as he can be, because at any moment Spargo can close out a stock, take this game. Yeah, Cody did it in melee, but never in ultimate. <gasps> Go back here. Jump. He's off stage. Oh! Master recover low and great use of the up B of those springs just ever so slightly off right there. Not going to connect. Oh my god. No double jump. Oh, no, did have a double jump. It was Sonic's double jump. I saw the up air comes through to punish oh! that aggression down tilt. No up air because it's the inside inner hitbox. Back air, no. It doesn't true confirm it because the tech chase is on a platform. No tech working in Sparkle's favor. Too. Yeah, the get up attack exactly. Delayed. <laughs> Edge of your seats. It's crazy because it's 2 0 Sonics, but oh! everyone wants this to happen. Back throw? Will that do it center stage? No. I don't think so. Ooh. Not quite. Stuck in the corner yet again. The down That's tilt. It! That's it! The no A perfect game to oh! end the coin box. Holy shit! The no hitter. Uh, I'm I'm giving a standing ovation. To that, one. that is one of the hardest accomplishments in the history of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. To do it online. Wow. Consistent, flawless gameplay for hours at a time. There were so many opportunities to make one mistake. So many last stock, last hit situations. So many victories and so much grit coming out from Sonic. There is no superlative perfect enough to capture that run other than flawless. Flawless victory. Oh my God. I hope I got a results page. I, I, got, I got to post this right now. That's insane. History has been made. Gentlemen, I know it's been late. I'll let you guys sign off. Is there anything else you want to say? Scabs, go for it. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for the invite. It has been an absolute pleasure casting with you again, PJ, as always. And thank you, HBox, for everything that you're doing with this specific venue. You've been highlighting a ton of great commentators. I'm just so honored that you uh, that you invited me here. Thank you so much to everybody that stopped in, and that's it for me. See ya, man. And, uh, yeah, thank you uh, all so much for having me as well. Uh, thank you, HBox. Thank you for the team at Team Liquid uh, for giving me a top eight spot with Scabs, uh, who's quickly becoming one of my favorite people to commentate with. It's always a pleasure to commentate with Scabs, a real suit and tie commentator, as I like to say, and the real not broken, continuing uh, even in this deep bracket uh, at this late hour. Uh, thank you all so much in chat uh, for sticking around as always. Thank you for Team Liquid and Coinbase for making this happen. Thank you, HBox, Skiff, and Rickles, and all the wonderful people behind the scenes. Uh, it's always a blast. I'll be back. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys later. Thank you, HBox. I'll see you soon. See ya, man. Well, damn, guys. I mean, what more is there to say? A no-hitter is when you don't drop a single game. That's my definition. So you can, you can, you can, uh, you can win every set from winners. That's pretty common, right? Win from winners, that means no sets drop. But to not drop a single game? In multiple best of fives, it's basically as close to perfect as we can get it. Um, I can interview if he's around, but he's not live, so I, I have no idea if he's, if he's even around. So he, all right, chat. You want proof? Hold on, um, let me let me give you proof here. Let's do proof so we can see it. We can see it. I'm down to interview him if he's here. Um, because holy shit. All right, ready. Validation, everyone. Sonics 2-0, Ciroc Obama. <laughs> That's how you know you're starting a legendary run. 2-0, Ciroc Obama. <laughs> 2-0, Vern. 2-0, Akko. 2-0, Danny. Guys, these are, these are good players. Ready? Right 
2-0 Druish. All right. 2-0 Anthony isn't cool. 2-0 the buzz. The buzz. Three O Shiny Mark Sonic Pika. Three O Wrath Sonic Sora. And three O Spargo Sonic Corin. That's the no hitter. That's the no hitter. Guys, I've been hosting online tournaments since what summer twenty twenty? Since summer twenty twenty. Never been done. Ever. Crazy. So, waiting for the results to be set. Yeah, it's great. Woo! Everyone, press one if you enjoyed the stream. Thank you again, Ryan C, for the amazing uh, YouTube drops that were awesome. Thank you all for tuning in, as always. As Sonic completes the first ever ultimate no hitter. And it will be forever known as the number 89. What's up, Galaxy? Galaxy, I was telling everyone about your about your flexing yesterday. It was amazing. No no guys, no hitters have happened before across Smash Bros. Just never in an online ultimate tournament that I've hosted. Between juice box, lunch box, and coin box. According to everyone, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. It said this: if you're here, how, how, how do you check the information so quickly? There was a lot. There's been, there's been like 50 ultimate ones, and who knows how many other ones. But if, unless you have the, the data that's there, from memory, I trust you. Okay, uh, everyone, really quick, post an HBox whale. I've been live nine hours. I got two hours of sleep last night. I'm very, 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 very tired. See, it was any last minute love. Even last minute love would be you guys following the stream or clicking subscribe on YouTube. If you really want to go above and beyond, you got a prime sub in your pocket or a gift. That would help me out. The thing that would help me out the absolute most, more than any sub could, is if you create an account on Coinbase. Because more accounts we get made, the more time Coinbox will exist as a premier weekly series for Smash Bros. for years to come. So if you all do that for me, I will continue sitting here every Wednesday evening as I do to entertain you guys as much as I can until every beard hair in here is white. So if you can, you have a little bit, what, two minutes to do it. If you can make a Coinbase account, would be amazing and I'd appreciate it. Without further ado, I think that's it for the night. I'm waiting for the artist to oh, get back to me. Yeah. Espers, thank you. Uh, yeah, they are the reason every single tournament here happens every single week. Also, thank you to TSH for the new scoreboard. It was awesome. Am I going to the gym? Yeah, I'm going like four times a week. Uh, and then um, my body has already changed a bunch. 
I don't like post about it often because I'm waiting until it's like, it's like super duper changed, but uh, I'm very proud of my progress so far. But one day I'll post it. I think September. All right, guys. I'll post the video. Uh, you guys can read to it ready. And without further ado, I think that's going to be it. All right. Let me go ahead and... Uh, who am I rating? Who am I rating? Should I rate a baby? Is there a Discord to play against other Smash players here? Uh, if you want to play online for free in a ladder, the matchbox. GG. Um, who am I rating? All right, everyone, everyone, go retweet it. It's there. It's there. Big game to oh! end the coin. Stuck in the corner yet again. The down That's tilt. It! That no the no hitter! Perfect game to oh, end the coin box. Holy shit! The no hitter. Uh, I'm I'm giving a standing ovation. That, one. that is one of the hardest accomplishments in the history of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. So sick. The well, no hitter. Let me let you cook. What are you cooking? What are you cooking? Everyone hold. Hold. What is that? Proof. Hold on. Um, let, me, let me give you proof here. Oh, sh Let's do proof so uh, we can see it. We can see it. I'm down to interview him if he's here. Um, Because holy shit. Oh, uh, the proof of the no-hitter. All right, ready? Validation, everyone. Sonics 2-0, Ciroc Obama. <laughs> <laughs> it's still the funniest. I'm here being all serious. Can someone give me, how do I download this? Save it. Cause you lose like a download button, but I don't see it. <laughs> Rock Obama. Is it share? Maybe. I'll figure it out. But thank you for that. Uh, that has embed, copy to clipboard, and tweet tweet link. All right, I need to sleep. All right, let's write someone. I, I'm I legitimately just might pass out my carpet right here. All right. So uh, everyone retweet it. Okay. First person to, how do I even choose who to raid? First person to convince me to raid someone <laughs> gets to choose. <laughs> okay, void? All right, everyone's saying void. I was top Twitch gifter. Wait, 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 wait. Claude Master was. We're going with Void. I completely forgot. You are completely bad on that. Uh, Void is playing Tekken. All right. Oh, yeah. Little Avery, thank you again for what it is. Gonna watch some 
Tekken. And we can't, we can't finish tonight with a little bit of fun. So, uh... Void's going offline? Oh, shoot. Alright, unraid. We gotta raid someone. We gotta raid someone! We have to. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna raid Mewtwo King because Mewtwo King, uh, because Galaxy dropped 80 tier twos yesterday, and Claude Mash has it. What's his Twitter again? What's his Twitch? His URL? What is it? Is it MVG? Good night, everyone! Good shit, Sonics! <laughs>